I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. They crack it up at me in the street. What's so funny? Oh, the face. Because, like, it's hard to get. I, I'm trying to get my, my knees under the desk. Well, I can't do it. Good morning, jury makers. How are we all? Ah, oh, lovely to be with you. My name's Eleanor, and yes, you are waking up with jury maker. Gosh, it is so hot in this studio. I don't know how you, you girls manage it. I'm literally melting. I've been here in five minutes. Five minutes. Anyway, whew, it's also probably because the heat of today's show. You've got such unincredible. I literally, I know I've said this before, but today is truly historical because some of you might have actually spotted that incredible carved cameo. Now, we've never done cameos before on Jury Maker. Um, oh, no, correction, we have. They're very, very, very expensive, but nothing as historic as heirloom as today's opportunity. Now, we are, I was talking to Jake on, uh, what day was it, Tuesday? Tuesday afternoon when we came off air about this opportunity. And I know that Jake and Dave and a couple of other members from, uh, from the team, from the Gemporia team, took a trip uh, earlier on in the year across to Germany. Now, for those of you that, 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 that know about gemstone cutting, you will know that really Germany is really the global hub for faceting and carving. Um, the person that you're about to see, and I don't want to take too much of the information that Jake told me, um, because quite literally it's, it's, it's his baby, but this is so unbelievable. This gentleman that you're about to see, and we are going to show it again, uh, literally trained Glenn Lehrer. Um, if you've heard of Ida Oberstein, that is the global hub considered the finest um, cutting comes from that location. So, you know, yes, there are, there are carvers and cutters all around the world, of course, but none as qualified, as legendary as the Ida Oberstein uh, location in the world. And in particular, this individual, he has cut some of the most iconic um, pieces, historic pieces, works of art throughout his in entire career. And it is a huge, huge honour to be able to launch this to you today. Now, it is, a, it is a partnership launch, so this hasn't been on our sister channels as of yet. And uh, there is nothing in the UK, quite literally, there is nothing um, that that we could get our hands on, which is more exciting than this incredible carving. So take another little look. It's happening in the 11 o'clock hour today. They are works of art. They were literally only a limited, limited quantity ever carved. And they're all hand carved by this man. Take a little look. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the 
Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. To say that you get something, a commemorative piece for this year's Platinum Jubilee, be that crockery where there are literally thousands commissioned or coins where there are literally tens of thousands, uh, you know, uh, it, it pales into significance when you look at something like that, don't you think? It's happening at 11 o'clock today. Um, there were only, as you can imagine, only a, a minimal quantity ever carved. Um, so don't miss your opportunity to get hold of that work of art. Now, um, outside of that, we've also got an amazing lineup. We've got a beautiful Ethiopian opal coming up as your deal of the day. What um, lovely sterling silver kits with our lovely Claire McDonald, of course, all in your heart jump ring. So I'm very excited about that. Um, mega, mega deals. We've got the Royal Pearl being brought to you as well. Massive masterclasses. But we're going to start your Friday morning show with your inspiration. It's the Wall of Fame. Okay, starting us off this morning is Denise. Good morning to you, Denise Wilson. Oh, these are gorgeous. Perfect for summer. You're number 173. Morning all at JM Towers. This is my entry to the WAF this week, inspired by the lovely Susie. Um, I got all my old findings packs out, added a few glass beads and clasps from my stash, some preciosa bicones, shell pearls and rainbow qu uh, quartz, and voila! two bracelets. Uh, they were really fun to make. Left symmetry and colour matching at the door and threaded to my heart's content. I'm so happy how they've turned out. Good luck to all and that's from Dee in Doncaster. Dee, they are beautiful. Loving those colours. Um, number 174 is from Alison Powers. Alison, stunning. Again, look how summery that piece is. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame using uh, Auralite and rose gold plated 925 sterling silver findings, uh, all from Jewelry Maker, and a preserved orchid flower from my stash. Wow. I love the results of the colours and the Auralite complements the orchid beautifully. Alison, that is absolutely incredible. And I've never heard of that, preserving flowers. Maybe that's something we need to look into here at Jewelry Maker. How amazing. Number 175 is from Love lovely Fran. Good morning to you, Fran. Uh, morning, everyone. Had to make up for the two weeks that I didn't make anything jewellery-wise. Uh, jewelry I've uh, written on the, idea, uh, the item the details to make it easier. I hope this works. Couldn't think of anything better to make with the orange druzy, and although on bracelet memory wire, the white druzy pieces work as a necklet. Um, I hope you like, and best wishes to all. Here's to a joyous jubilee, everybody, and that's from lovely Fran. Fran, these are absolutely gorgeous and, and i'm impressed with your uh with your photograph number 176 is from sarah morning sarah oh yes now if you love jade carvings make sure you're with us tomorrow at nine o'clock because we've got some stunning carvings um with lovely susie of course i wanted to have a go at knotting i've never done it before so i created a marla necklace using jadeite kits i bought and jet rounds both eight millimeters i use freshwater pearls approximately 10 mil and oh nice addition chrysoprase faceted rondelles as the marker beads i finished with a few amethysts for a uh, center marker and dangles instead of a tassel well i love that sarah it's absolutely gorgeous i love the addition of chrysoprase Number 177 is from Hazel. Morning, Hazel. Oh, classy, classy jewellery. Um, this week, I'm sending you a picture of the rose quartz earrings and necklace I made using some rose gold plated sterling silver. I hope you like them. Good luck to all in the draw. We do, Hazel, and I'm hearing in my ear the very great Gatsby. Love it. Very 1920s. Loving that. Um, number 178 is from Gillian McKay. Good morning to you, Gillian. Uh, hi all uh, at Team JM. I hope you're all well. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a sterling silver 
aquamarine pendant. Good luck to everybody in the draw. Um, well, it looks like you've made a good few of them there, Gillian. That's absolutely beautiful. Loving that. Good luck to you. Number 179 is from Lorraine. Yes, Lorraine. Getting well and truly into the Jubilee vibes. Uh, hello, jewelry maker. Here's a little Jubilee set I made with Howlite Natural Red Jade. Wow. Um, and lapis lazuli. Stretchy bracelets and earring set. All components are from jewelry maker, of course. Time to celebrate, says Lorraine. Absolutely. And I, I bet you're going to get lots of compliments um, on, uh, on your beautiful makes. Number 180 is from Julia Tinsley. Hello, Julia. Hello, my lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, this is my Queen Elizabeth inspired necklace um, in readiness for the Jubilee. I hope you like it. Good luck to all. We love it, Julia. That's amazing. Um, yeah, a little bit like the one Alison uh, created, isn't it? Yeah. Or was it from the, was it from that kit? Might have been. Um, hi, all at JM. My entry today is a silver plated box chain. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Trevor. Absolutely. Did I say your name, Trevor? Sorry. Number 181 is from Trevor. I beg your pardon, Trevor. Um, Hi all at Joymaker, my entry today is a silver plated box style Byzantine bracelet uh, with five millimeter internal jump rings and a magnetic clasp, all from JM of course. Good luck to all the entries and best wishes to all from Trevor. My goodness me, you never ever cease to amaze me. You're all so super, super talented. Keep those makes coming in to the Wall of Fame and good luck in the draw this forthcoming, uh, this forthcoming Wednesday. Now, in four auctions time, we are going to do a clear out do deal, a lowest ever price tag on, on this turquoise. Really? Something you've never seen before, says Ross. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. What's that? There's a full 80 quantity going in and all 80 will sell out today, he says, very confidently. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He says, I'm telling you, 45 carats of turquoise rounds... We've never been under a certain price point and we're getting it way under that price point this morning. Ooh, yeah. I like the idea of this. Um, okay. Now, as I said, cracking show for you today. We've got some really beautiful princess cut stones coming up within this hour, which I need to quickly show you, actually, because they are amazing. Um, princess cut, pink, sapphire. Look at the quality of these. <gasps> some of those are flipped over. We're actually looking at the pavilion. Should we put them on pre-order? Um, shall we? I mean, those of you, I can see, yeah, Claire McDonald's just pulled this face at me. She just went like this. That look. That's the... Uh, <laughs> apparently, like an inquisitive hamster. Yeah, like a and then he said, then he said a meerkat. A bit, I think, yeah, go with a meerkat <laughs> rather than a hamster, Adam, I would say. I think uh, I prefer to be described as a meerkat than a hamster. Hamsters are cute. Yes, I know, but I'm not sure I'd want to be described <laughs> as one. They're beautiful and they're coming up on pre-order. You can get them now. Um, some of these have just flipped over, but you can see that amazing quality and, of course, that pop of colour. Genuine sapphire. Also coming up within this hour, you've got some really beautiful, round, brilliant cuts. Look at that. Garnet, amethyst. You've got citrine in there. Rose de France, Peridot, uh, what looks like a beautiful rubellite tourmaline. Um, you can pre-order on those. Don't forget, your deal of the day today is all the colours of um, Ethiopian opal, so they're going to absolutely fly. Last time we actually brought these colours, they were sellouts on, on and gone. Opportunity has got them in the lovely tangerine colour, vibrant green, uh, midnight blue, um, a fuchsia pink. Really beautiful, really, really beautiful. Now, OK, should we get cracking? Shall we? So we get cracking on what is going to be a stupendous Friday morning show. It really, really is. And I'm going to start at the show with lovely Una Kite. Yes, yes, yes. We love this gemstone. We adore it. And I do believe it should get more. It, it should have a higher price tag per carat because how visually beautiful it actually is. I mean, all those wonderful patterns and colours. We saw some Marla necklaces, a few, uh, you know, within the Wall of Fame, didn't we? Um, this is perfect, a perfect addition to those of you that love those long line knotted necklaces. I went to um, <coughs> a, excuse me, a Jubilee picnic at, at Willow School yesterday, which was very nice, you know, you throw a blanket on the floor and you get your sarnies out and there was a little bit of music and it was all good fun. Um, what did I wear? Marla necklace, of course. Marlon, I did wear other things, but yeah, you know, to accessorise, it was my Marla necklace. Um, because, and, and did get comments on it, because it's, 
<laughs> not just the mala. I would. I did have a pair of like like uh, what do they call them? Like harem trousers on as well. Just comfies, just real comfies. Uh, but my mala necklace, literally over the top. Four pounds and ninety nine pence only. Oh, oh, or is it? Oh, Ross is on form this morning. He's on form. Sixty seconds is about to appear. Eight to nine. How do I know? <laughs> just, just heard it. Sorry. Did I did I, did I spoil the element of surprise there? Apologies. Sorry. Right. Can we? We'll try that again, shall we? We can't crash up. No, only joking. We can't do that. Uh, two pounds and ninety nine pence for totally and utterly natural unakite. Um, come and say hello to us. I also, whilst you're all dialing through, through, I would like to say a very hello, uh, a very warm uh, and good morning to Margaret. Thank you for your letter, Margaret. I received it literally this morning. Um, I will be writing to you because um, you, if you, I hope you're watching right now because. Oh, you're only around the corner. I've just noticed that, Margaret. So maybe we can actually meet up for a coffee and something. Uh, I don't know if I should. Say. She's doing something for charity um, uh, for uh, for dementia, and I'd very much like to help you out on that one. So I hope you're actually watching right now. And um, the clock is still ticking. That means that that tells me that we are not stopping at two ninety nine. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you see where I'm coming from? Una Kite deserves a higher price tag because it's so beautiful. We're already at a brand new low at 2 dollars $1.79, frankly, is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. At uh, June, Dawn, Elaine, hello to you, Carol, Michaela, hello to you, Paula, Alison, Maureen, Natalie, Karen, hello to you, Mary, Cheryl, new customer, Margaret and Andrew. So lovely to be with you all uh, this morning. I hope you're well. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. And we've got Claire McDonald. Did you like that? Did you like that? who I'm very impressed with, mowed her lawn yesterday. Now, some of you might Weird. know, why are you impressed with that, Al? Um, <laughs> I'm impressed because it's a steep hill and it's, uh, how, how much? A third of an acre? Yes, third oh, of an acre. Third of an acre. Yeah. She did, she, she in, <laughs> what a woman, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is doing very well. Very, very well. Um, moving <laughs> on, let's do some beautiful uh, golden spot sunstone. What a woman. <laughs> yes, it is as posh as it sounds. <laughs> totally is. You've got her and John Scott just up the road, so you know it's posh. <laughs> you know it's posh. Um, I was like, Claire, yeah, can I pop, I pop around and see you soon? It's um, wooden <laughs> woman, don't you know? Wooden woman. <laughs> Oh, so funny. <laughs> Not sure they allow the riff, Raphael. <laughs> I have to turn up under the cover of darkness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the boot of the car. Can you bring your strimmer, in. though, Not when you come? Not these parts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very posh. I'm impressed though. Third of an acre. I don't fancy mowing a third of an acre. Or a bit achy today. I bet you are. You don't need to go to the gym. Two ninety nine <laughs> for natural gold spot sun sunstone. The golden spot, by the way, is in reference to the prominence of, of course, that wonderful phenomena effect that you find within this lovely gemstone. Um, beautiful flashes of adolescence that occur from tiny microscopic platelets that form naturally within this gem. Again, we've got the clock ticking away, haven't we? This is a vision for. Summer, a vision for summer. Now, I saw on, uh, don't quote me on this because I am no, um, what do you call people that specialise in things like sunrises and moon and things like that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. But anyway, but apparently yesterday was the first sunset at 9 pm in London. Oh, was it? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I was just like, oh, that's nice. Oh. Um, whatever. <laughs> Or just this year. One pound and 49 pence. Think of all the lovely textures that you could create from a strand like this. It's an absolute giveaway deal in lovely sunstone. It's boiling, isn't it, Claire? I'm glad it's it not It is really, me. really warm. Oh, and they've been, like, literally, the crew <clears throat> previously been sat in their fluffy pyjamas. I'd literally been a puddle on the floor if that was me. Um, check out, how many do I have of these then, Roscoe? 70 of these available. Come and say hello to us, text in the weekend. I sing this to my uh, to my five-year-old. Yes, it's Friday, isn't it? It is the weekend. When I pick Willow up from school this afternoon, I'll go, Willow, Willow. She's like, don't do it, mummy. Please don't do it. Don't do it, mummy. <laughs> it's the weekend. Stab party. <laughs> She's like, oh, no. 
Oh, poor Willow. I like to embarrass her. Yeah. yeah. That's our but job. It's obligatory, isn't it? Yeah. to embarrass a five year old. Um, and that has got to continue until the teenage years, hopefully. It just carries on, I yeah, think, good, yeah, good. into their 20s as well. I'm, 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 I'm all for being an embarrassing parent. Yeah. Right then, you haven't got long to wait for that beautiful turquoise. Um, we are taking this. Well, we're breaking a whole new barrier on turquoise. Isn't that exciting? So um, when are we doing that, Roscoe? When are we doing the turquoise? Two more auctions time. But prior to that, citrine, lovely sit. Oh, this strand is, oh, it's gorgeous. This would be amazing with your gold stone that's coming up and also amazing alongside your Ethiopian opal. Um, I know what I'm going to hear in my ear before I even say it, but it is. It's like liquid sunshine, um, but beautifully faceted. Oh, um, that's hear, a lovely isn't it? strand, isn't it? I put this with your gold, with your uh, gold-plated sterling silver spaces. Mm. Oh, that's a lovely strand. I love this it? one. It is like liquid sunshine, though, isn't it? Mm. Should be price on your screens right now. And considering you're getting, you know, it is that pure... When it comes to citrine, it is more of a golden yellow, isn't it? Um, mm. the, I, I'm often asked the question, what's the difference between citrine and lemon quartz? Because they're ultimately from the same gemstone family. Uh, basically, the more golden, the more orange and warmer the colours are, um, citrine. It's a bit like a difference between a pink sapphire and a ruby. Um, the more uh, lemon fresh, then obviously that's your lemon quartz. Now, we're taking it to a brand new low. How many do I have of these? Because I think they're going to fly out. 30. Oh, chucks. It's not going to be enough, is no. it? No, 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 no. Look at that colour and that clarity as well. That's amazing. <gasps> £4.99. And it's a long strand, Claire. You could literally just re-strand it with your spacer beads, put a nice clasp yeah. on the back and away you go. Oh, what about with something like, with like uh, South Sea Pearls? Yes, beautiful. I mean, it's lovely, like you could rosary links oh, in you yeah. as well. That's very, that, with that, um, all the shading that's on there. Um, it's, it's incredible. It's a classy strand, isn't it? Some might say it's posh enough for Wood and Wallen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Folks around Wood and Wallen would wear something like this. Yeah. They would, wouldn't Wooten, they? Wood and Wallen. I can imagine. Wood and Wallen. Sorry, Wooten I'm Wooten. saying it wrong. Saying it wrong. Wood and Wallen. Yeah, Wood and That's reminding me of Jumba years ago. Hell's Hearn. <laughs> I went to Hell's Hearn. Hell's, yeah, because Claire used to live in. Uh, Hales Hohen. <laughs> no, I've never lived in Hell. Hales Hohen. Hales Owen. Hales Owen. You went to Hales Hohen. Hales Hohen. Uh, good morning to you, Anne. Morning, Ellen Claire. My son is 31 and still spends most of the time with his head in his hands uh, when I'm with him. There you go, Anne. Ah, oh, well done, Anne. Yes. Yes. We have to embarrass them, don't we? Yes. We have to. I'm, I'm committed to this, so I'm going to be following your footsteps on that then, Anne. Yeah. Absolutely. And I succeed. Lovely, Anne. Um, have you seen Anne's new um, puppy dog? I know. <gasps> I know. Oh. She's so cute. That, so that citrine lovely. would look lovely with the, with the turquoise, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah. Turquoise is coming up literally next. And please, can you bring your puppy in? Yes. Please. Now, I'm going to show you gold-plated sterling silver, little pegs. And we were talking about these, Claire, the other day. At least I think it was you. Oh, these um, are lovely. I haven't seen these. These are gorgeous. Okay, it wasn't you. <laughs> no, what, but I mean, it, I do. I love pegs, but I've not seen those... Um, the star one. They, well, they, if you've got a full, fully drilled pearl, for example, and you want to turn it into a pendant, but you don't want just an exposed hole then literally just pop that at the bottom and it makes it part of the design doesn't it yes and yes, um, because if i yeah. turn them around sorry 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 totally my bad oh i need these well you get two that's a pound a pound each you could also sort of drill them into into your baroque pills you could, yeah i know <sighs> look gast flabbered claire's gast is well and truly flabbered it is they are precious they're gonna be gone well. aren't they now probably how many do we have of these available 20 uh it's not uh, it's not many is it i mean yeah because how many times have you like seen a really beautiful uh, fully drilled gemstone and you've wanted it to be a pendant um she came on the show yesterday Anne. Anne. <sighs> i thought we were friends Anne. well you're gonna have to bring her in again aren't you yeah because i'm not happy that i've missed out on the puppy I need to bring her in um right okay <laughs> um okay this is 
one of the ultimate clearances I think that you've ever seen actually on turquoise and even I don't know what Ross has taken it to but if he's promising a certain price point break then I know it's going to be absolutely special um fine quality genuine turquoise this with a citrine that you had a few moments mm. ago beautifully graduated of course with those lovely matrix patterns I know that you know some people would prefer turquoise not to have the patterns personally I do I, li I, I like to have it because it showcases the fact that it is that genuine gemstone oh, lovely. you still have that wonderful uh, um, robin egg blue that we refer to within the industry for premium quality now um how many do we have then ross let's get the housekeeping out of the way 80 that's right you did say 80 of these are available 45 carats four to eight millimeters in its graduation from the usa so more than likely don't quote me on this but more than likely from the state of arizona um which is known and widely published as producing some of the world's finest you know kingman Cochise, sleeping beauty um and it's all about that really beautiful robin egg blue now should we break a price barrier i don't even know what that price barrier is but i've got a feeling i've got a vibe I think I'm getting to know Ross well enough now that I can sense his next movement. He says, well, you know what? I have to stop off at certain price points, purely so, so he can make an explanation to Wayne. Oh, no, we tried it at this price. We know we did, Wayne. No, we're not stopping it. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Hi, Wayne. <laughs> Ross, Ross, you just totally threw me under the bus there. Ross, next time my boss is in the gallery with me, with you, please can you give me a little bit of a heads up before I literally say, well, I've got to do it just so we can get it past Wayne. Mm. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. It's not stopping you. We're going to break a price barrier. Happy birthday, by the way, Wayne. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you had the best day ever. It's not his birthday today, but it was, what, a couple of days ago, was it? I think it was on Wednesday. Were you 50? 50, Wayne. How old? Nearly, he says. <laughs> I don't think Wayne could ever look 50. No, I don't right. think he could act 50 no. either. Right, are you ready for this, says Ross? Because the next price point... The next price barrier that we're about to show you is not your final price. We are going lower. We have 80 opportunities, not even stopping. Seriously, I, I, and I, I've said this before. I, I had it explained to me by one of our gem investors. The reason why we don't, or rather, you do see turquoise in rounds, but it's a premium, right? It, yeah, it's, it's harder to get rounds because they are more expensive because they are what more wasteful. You think how it forms, it's literally a seam that trickles almost down the side of the mountain. Um, yeah, that's why they tend to be in your ovals or in your heshies. Um, not even stopping there. We need to see you on those phone lines. More people, says, uh, says Ross. 80 of these are available. Oh, he's, oh, mm. oh, here's Wayne chirping up in my ear saying, Elle, I can't even buy them at the price that, what, this price? What's on your screen right now? We, oh, okay, there we go. He says, I can't even buy him for what's on your screen right now. Okay, well, that says a lot then, Wayne. That's ridiculous, he says, they're huge. Yeah, no, totally, totally agree with you. Um, and yet I'm, I'm mildly anxious with the fact that we are going to break a price barrier then. Uh, Deborah Anjum, hello to you, Ayrshire. Hello, Maria. Hello to you, Angela, Joe, Janet, you've got yours. Carol, Sharon, Elaine, new customer, Claire, Maria, Cheryl, Maureen, June. I think I know what you're going to do. Yes. Before I look, uh, I crash the price. He says, "Take a little look at this." Yep. Natural turquoise, smooth rounds, eight point five millimeters, eighteen inch strand, two hundred and seventy four dollars. Oh, that's where you buy from. Oh, yes, you can see at the front at the top, Jaipur. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, everybody, I'm literally going to repeat word for word what Ross is saying to me. He goes, because this is, he goes, serious, Al. We need to emphasise how genuine and serious this is. We cannot buy turquoise full stop at what is on your screens. We cannot buy it. 
Wayne has just come back from Jaipur and didn't buy a single carrot of turquoise because it was too expensive. Um, that makes sense, Wayne. When I was over in Tucson, I spent time uh, with a, a wonderful gentleman who had a, um, a Sleeping Beauty turquoise uh, stand completely surrounded by, uh, by security. And I held one round. Granted, it was a big one. I don't know the carrot weight, but it was probably about, I don't know, 20 mil. And it was four figures. Four figures. The price of turquoise is astronomical right now and it always fluctuates, always goes up and down. You have the time that you see on your screens ticking away before we make that significant price drop. It already is significant. We can't physic and we can't say that if it's not if it's not true. Literally, we can't buy it for what's on your screens right now. We've just shown you one of our actual turquoise suppliers. Be quick. First come, first serve. Like many of you, I'd be multi-buying on this as well. I think I know what's going to happen. Oh, goodness me. Wayne. Naughty, he says. Are you in the hot seat? What are you doing? <laughs> Wayne sat himself down, made himself comfortable right now. He says, I wish I, I, I wish I wish I hadn't done on this auction. Fourteen ninety nine. Hello, Cardiff, Sharon, hello to you, Claire, Linda, Deborah, hello to you, Angela, Michaela, Maureen, Joe, uh, Maria's just got three, Julian, Somerset, hello to you, Argyle and Butte, Lynn, Carolyn, Birmingham, Lorraine, West Midlands, Margaret, Jane, Wendy, Alison, you're there as well. Um, as you can see, way over half the stock has gone. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, it's flying out the, uh, at the vault. It's turquoise, when, isn't it? When did, we, when did we start, and please don't think this is going to continue, but when did we start bringing genuine turquoise, not a turquoise colour stone, genuine turquoise at £15? I know, I know, in rounds. In well. rounds. Yeah. That's a really good point that you said. Yeah. In and, rounds. And turquoise is such a, it's such a brilliant gemstone, isn't it? Because you think, I'm thinking, we've got um, sterling silver uh, heart jump rings that it would go beautifully with but it'd also go beautifully with I think if you've got leather leather cord bracelets there it's a really clever stone isn't it that will go with absolutely everything so yeah really really it's great well there's 20 left and 30 of you with it in your baskets I mean look at that you could you could take a little bit of inspiration from our Anne and Sue look this nice, is the opal yeah. or one of the opals that's coming up at 10 o'clock today is your deal of the day I mean literally just recreate that that yeah. design yeah. how gorgeous would that be um, okay, again, I know we've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. Um, Wayne, can you buy us some more turquoise? Yeah, he says, yeah, I can, but not at that price. Definitely nowhere near that price tag. He came up empty-handed um, in the in terms of turquoise uh, from his recent Jaipur trip. Hello to you, Anne, Rachel, John. Hello to you, Maria, Jenny, Margaret, Birmingham, Lynn. Um, we're in all oh, the single figures. All oh, the single figures. So make sure you check out those baskets. And don't forget, you can shop ahead and pre- or Oh, my goodness, I've just seen the Queen. Oh... Not actually, but, li well, uh, yes, actually. This is the first time I've seen it. Oh, my goodness. Have you seen this, Claire? I haven't, no. Come over here. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be interrupting an auction, but, oh, my goodness. This is as close to swearing on air I think I've ever, I've ever been. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, stay where you are on those phone lines, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Um, coming 11 o'clock for the carving. Um, right, now we've just referenced them. Well, so um, as Claire has done that, we're going to show you how many we actually have available. They are genuine leather. It does come with sterling silver. These have been one of the most uh, popular um, of our slider bracelets. Uh, that we've had on our screens recently. Um, you get three of them as well. You can see the 925 uh, little charm that's also included. You could obviously stamp and personalise and embellish if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah, it's a leather version of your slider bracelets, which are all the rage at the moment. I know Pandora do them. I know that... Um, I know Monica Vanay to do your fabric ones. I'm not sure if they've done leather yet, but uh, very popular. Now, you're not just getting three of those. You're also getting six amazing, amazing uh, cultured pills. We're not even stopping at 29.99. That's the quantity that we have. They've been super popular. I think we bought like hundreds of these. We've got eight left. Genuine leather, pearl and sterling silver. 
11 pounds and 99 they're so pence. Good. Yeah, I've worked with these, they're brilliant. Absolutely I think brilliant. I did that show with you. Yes. They're yeah. really lovely, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, you can put anything anything in between, anything. Any of your gems, the turquoise, as you referenced earlier on, yeah, would be a lovely addition. They'd be great as well with the, again, the, the incredible jump rings that, you know, that are coming up. The heart-shaped jump, jump rings. That's right, yes. That have been worked on in wood and wool. And <laughs> They, they were worked in wooden rowing. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit like Ida Oberstein, isn't it? What a woman. Um, right then, uh, should we do... I can't believe this deal. I literally cannot believe this deal. I have to open it because the quality of this kunzai is ridiculous. Um, um, I've done one-of-a-kind uh, Larique pieces. I've actually brought Larique pieces to air. Um, and I'm going to say with this quality... Um, I've, yeah, this is unreal, Claire, honestly. Oh, my gosh. I uh, oh my gosh. This quality is ridiculous. <gasps> Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Adam. Oh my word. We're not even closing here already. Seriously, does that not look every inch the four figure piece of jewelry that it should be, that it would be? Have you ever seen Minas Jerris? That's natural as well. Completely natural. Uh, it should really be an assumption that Kunzai is normally undergoes a little bit of heat treatment to encourage those beautiful feminine pinks. 19.99, and I launched this to air, and I remember saying at that time, I've never seen a better deal on Kunzai than this. Oh, never, because it has the quality of pink that we all aspire to. Guess what? They've sold out. So sorry, Claire. I could see the love, the love hearts in Claire, your that's eyes. Incredible. You can also pre-order shop ahead on your gorgeous Madagascan sapphire. Um, but ah. Oh, another amazing parcel these are incredible last of stock burmy spinel totally and utterly natural oh my um, gosh real quality and we were all saying it these are actually the biggest solitaires that any of us have seen that's right sold straight away on that red one that's they're all natural that one there in fact, how do I choose because that's they're all amazing oh look. this parcel is ridiculous it's so good so, so, so good. Who launched this? this is, well, we, they took it far too low. Wow. Far too low. Wow. If you go onto the GIA website, so Gemological Institute of America, GIA, put colour factors of spinel, and you will see on there one of the, the, the most sought-after <gasps> colours are everything that you've got on your screens. You should be paying... You should be paying, I, uh, to be honest, yeah, three figures for one of those, I believe. I truly, truly believe that, especially the red. Especially the red. That's ridiculous. That is incredible. And, and frankly, I think they were far too low, yeah, sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Have I got what? Four leaf, yes, four leaf clovers. This is last of stock as well. Um, I launched these, these flew out the door. Very popular because you could have um, the Van Cleef and Arpel as inspiration. They could be four hearts. They could be the Tudor Rose. It could be maybe uh, sort of Celtic connections, whichever you wish. Now, and we said, yeah, the spaces, but the reason why I've actually shown them to you in this direction is because they're also like uh, like uh, um, connectors, aren't they? Yeah, um, they look now, so different, don't they? Just that slight angle looks yeah. like very, very different. Now, we had over 400 of these when we first launched them. They are precious metal, 925 sterling silver. We're down to the final 30, well, less than actually. Um, because you think about it, you could create swags and swathes with your mm. gemstones. Um, you could literally do something like a little bit Elsa Peretti, but also a little bit Van Cleef, where you actually take the chain and have it sort of dotted like a diamonds by the yard look. Um, 39.99 for well over a gram and a quarter of sterling silver. Um, little, uh, They're not just spaces, are they? They're actually... Great ways of of sort of connecting and angles drawing and direction, together. isn't it? Like you say, you, you've got you know, if you're thinking about maybe multi strands uh, or cords, you, you know, there's lots and lots of different directions you can use if you you know, when you look at it from the side. So yeah, very very clever. But you wouldn't see any of that from the front. No, no, because it'll all be tucked inside behind all yeah. that lovely sterling silver. Yeah. And um, we had over 400 of these. They have flown out the door. The final few. Um, again, don't be shy. Text in. Come and say hello to us. We've got some beautiful rose quartz coming up. Ooh. Amazing rose quartz. And those, those princess cut sapphires. Oh, wow. £10 for sterling silver. 
It is silly money, you're right, Ross. Yeah. Silly money. Silly, silly, silly. Silly money. Ah, he says nobody ever repeats it when he says that. Silly money. It is, though. That is far too low for precious metal, isn't it? That's, that's £2.50 each. £2.50. Morning, Neil and Linda. Hello to Lincolnshire, John, Wendy, Herefordshire. Hello to Pauline, London. Loads of multi-buyers on this one. I think we need to perhaps speak to our lovely uh, Caroline um, and uh, see if she can reorder these because they've been mm. very, very popular. We only launched them, I think, probably a few weeks ago. And yet, look, here we are probably selling them out today. Uh, morning, Shirley, Marion, Julie, Gabrielle. Uh, hello to Alison. L. Wayne can't be telling you and Ross off with the mischief he did yesterday. That, oh, really? He's in ah. bother with a silver ring from yesterday. Thank you for that ammunition, Alison. Yes. Thank you for that. Ooh. See, because he doesn't tell us these things. He kept that um, one quiet, didn't he? Yes. Hello to you, uh, Mariette. Hi there, looking lovely. Oh, the both of you. Looking forward to seeing Claire on Sunday. Oh, um, oh isn't lovely. that nice? Alan surprised me, booking a workshop. Mariette, so I did get your uh, voicemail. Thank you very much. But in uh, Fort and Wowen, I don't have very good reception, so I will. Um, can you message me your number and I'll, I'll call you back? Mm. Thank you. They still have pigeon carriers. And they do. Like <laughs> well, we have dash hand carriers, yeah. But, yeah. But yes, yeah, so I did get it. Thank you. And I will. I'll speak to you later. <gasps> She's in the country. Very much in the countryside. <laughs> um, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, oh, isn't that oh, nice? Can't oh, wait. Very excited yeah. about that workshop. Well done, everyone. Should we do some metre strands? Now, there's three. You've got your eight mil, six mil and and also your four millimetres. Um, they are very limited. I'm going to bring these gorgeous tea bars over. Look at this. Amazing, beautifully displayed by our wonderful Dan. Look at that. Look at all that. That, that. is very pretty, isn't it? I love that this. Color. <gasps> I've got a Marla um, in, uh, in beautiful rose quartz that our lovely Sue gave me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's more than oh. a metre, isn't it? How long have we said this is? <laughs> Ross has fluffed it already. <gasps> <laughs> he priced it. <laughs> Goodness me, Ross. Uh, it's so uncouth. <laughs> he said he priced it. Stop it. I'm hot enough already. I'm boiling out in here. Oh, don't make me giggle. Um, sorry, yeah, he priced it at one metre. <laughs> Stop fluffing. <laughs> he says not a minute goes by where he's not fluffing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just made a sound I've never heard. I've never heard you made that make that sound before, Ross. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 39.99 for gorgeous rose quartz. I mean, the sentiment, the feeling, the emotions of this gemstone has been around for literally centuries. It wasn't. It wasn't sort of you know in the 21st century where this was uh, considered to be the gemstone of love and friendship and uh, all of those lovely, uh, uh, beautiful emotions. It actually dates right the way back to sort of the Egyptians and Roman times. So um, it's always had that affiliation and I think it will always always be the case now if you are thinking about your beautiful Marlas well you're gonna get a lot um, out of this selection two meter lengths not one meter length 990 carats of perfect soft pink blossom uh, rose quartz and in 27 seconds we're taking it even lower I mean I'm just gonna layer all this together because look how gorgeous mm. does it get any more beautiful than this Claire Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? All of them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Does it get any more beautiful than no. that? No. I don't no, think it's so. It's such a gorgeous gemstone, isn't it? It's really lovely. Love it. And we don't see it that often anymore. No. I don't know why. We used to be able to do showcases of rose quartz. Yeah. I haven't had it in a very long time. Imagine this with your jadeite. Yeah, with your jadeite would be lovely. And maybe with the, uh, if you like all your pinks, maybe your pink opal as well. Nice. Could what about, what about pearls? Yeah, pearls, beautiful. Rose quartz and pearls would be lovely. Well, we're yeah. bringing you the other sizes, um, but right now for your two metre long length of your eight millimetres, under £20 for you all today. Again, well, 
I'm, I'm useless at the metric system, but how many 38 centimetre strands would you actually get in two metres? Generally, I'm useless, I and I can't work that question out. But um, there's a lot, isn't there? So for those of you that maybe do have a business or are thinking about gifts for your nearest and dearest, your family and friends, um, then absolutely, for sure, I think Rose Quartz is one of those that you should put in your catalogue because people recognise it, people um, have that affiliation, We're, we gravitate naturally towards your Rose Quartz gemstones. Um, very, very wearable as well. Hello to you, Mary. Hello to you, Virginia. Hello to you, Henrietta. Hello to you, Tish and Paul. Alison, new customer. Penny. Uh, hi, Neil and Linda. Jane. Hello to new customer. Patricia, Veronica, Wendy in New Jersey. Hi, Wendy. Hello to you, Claire and Tyne and Ware. Uh, Claire in Yorkshire as well. A wonderful, wonderful Friday morning to you all. It's lovely to have your company. We really do have one of the most historically exciting shows planned for you today. It is going to be absolutely incredible. We have the carving unlike anything that you have ever seen, ever, ever seen, coming up at 11 o'clock. We've got the most amazing kits with our Claire as well, our Claire, um, <laughs> in lovely uh, still, uh, heart jump rings, which are going to be absolutely oh, beautiful. Yes, yes. We've got Ethiopian opal, honestly, it's going to be so good. Well done. Okay, now always, always the case, when we start talking about your four mils and your six mils, um, they fly out, they absolutely fly out. And the availability is an indication of that as well. We have less than half the quantity that we actually did um, on the previous opportunity. They are, uh, listen, let's just say it, they're all going under 20 pounds. There we go. That's, this is two meters, not one meter, two. So this will work with your stretchies, your knotting, your rosary linking, your bubble style, your channel setting, yeah, it's a good size, isn't it? That if you um, you can just do a lot with it, and it will still it's not too big, or you just have it as a, like a simple strand, and it's you know it's, it's just enough, isn't it? It's a great. Size. And everybody loves rose quartz, don't they? Yeah, it's a lovely colour. It's a beautiful yeah, colour. Yeah, and the sentiment behind it, isn't it? Totally, totally. Things. <clears throat> seven of these remain so many of you there i'm not surprised because six millimeter oh they've gone they've actually sold out well done let's do the four mils next um i love a four mil it's always to be honest it tends to be my size of uh my preference just because you can build it up if you want and things mm -hmm. like your beady beads and yeah um you can also keep it maybe uh, a little bit more uh, or more dainty um in say sort of single stretchy bracelets Rose Quartz complements every single precious metal that actually is out there. And to be honest, every single gemstone, I think, that's out there because of its soft, natural hue. <laughs> you know, who's my favourite hue? Oh, Hugh Grant. Oh, look, look at Claire, straight on in there. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go with Jackman. Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah. I don't know many hues. Uh, oh, I... I I like Hugh, Hugh Dennis. Hugh Dennis. I do like Hugh Dennis. I don't know who Hugh Dennis is. The comedian. Okay. <laughs> Hugh Dennis. Yeah. I don't know who he is though. He I'm was in. Um, oh, what were they called? The one with all the children. Outnumbered, which is uh, very funny. Yes, yes, yes. I do know. Yeah, who he I is. think he. Yes, yeah, yes. he's nice. These are flown out, and I apologise for not talking nearly enough as, uh, about uh, about your uh, your four mils. Text in, who's your favourite hue? Who's your favourite hue? I don't know enough hues. I feel we need to rectify that. So if you're called Hugh, hi. Um, okay, let me just show you your early birds. They are coming up in one auction's time. Think about sort of your uh, um, your gemstone setting, be that into uh, into your pearls, be that into things like your milliput. And um, we spoke the other day about actually, Hugh Laurie, yes, absolutely. Oh yes, Hugh Laurie, Hugh Laurie. yeah. Um, we spoke about uh, using them, of course, in your gemstone setting mounts, of course. Ah, oh, Claire McDonald. That's that when you've got lots of colours like that, they work, they do work really, really well. Oh, my goodness me. They're coming up in one auction's time. Princess Cut Sapphire, available on pre-order, and then you have your multi-gems as well. So you can actually secure yours. I mean, that's awesome, Claire. Thank Absolutely you. awesome. Very Bulgari, I agree. Love it, love it, love it. One auction's time, but not yet. Not yet. Um, okay. Who, who, what other hue have we come up with? Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, character in, in, in what? The Revenant. Is that the one with the bear? Uh, oh, I've doesn't not he seen... hide in a bear? In the bear? Oh, in a deer. <laughs> in a horse. 
He's keeping warm. Okay, fair enough. Um, moving on. Moving on to, is it this? Oh, oh, crimp covers, crimp covers, crimp covers. Okie dokie. Um, no, have we got, I, I can't think of the last time I've seen, um, this is what you want with your, if you're going to make any stretchy bracelets, isn't it? With your... Um, to go over your little knots. Or any of the strands that we've had. So you could use, put your knots, hide yeah. the knots in these. Yeah. And also all your deal of the day strands that we've actually got coming out too. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. They are a necessity, aren't they? They so really are. So your crimp covers. Yeah. Um, we're still talking about hues at the moment. So hue, hue, hue. Um... <laughs> So I've just got the song in my head. Barley McGrew, Cuthbert Dib oh, yeah. Dibble Grub. Um, essential and absolute necessity. Yeah, your crimp covers do so much more than just cover a crimp, don't they? Yeah, they do. There's lots and lots of different uses there. I, I think they are. They're an absolute essential, aren't they, for lots of things? 9 99 Precious metal. Literally just coax them round, cradle them round ever so slightly. You don't need to be too heavy-handed. And the idea is that you turn this Pac-Man into a full circle. Um, so when you actually squeeze it round, there we go. You can see next to the gemstones, um, it creates a really beautiful, perfect bead. And hides any attachments of course it's about taking your jewelry to from something that's beautiful to something that looks uber professional 4.99 let's not forget these are sterling silver not your base metals um you get 30 of them within a pack and the fact that you have got um so many of you on the phone lines crying out for your crimp bead covers we need them don't we we do need them because it's one of those items. If you're, you've made a bracelet or a lovely necklace and then you've just got that exposed crimp or a knot and you're not quite, um, and you're not quite, you know, you wanted to, 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 you know, to put that cherry on the proverbial cake. This is the opportunity. Uh, hello to you, Julie. Uh, Hugh Bonville in Downton and Paddington. Oh, I know who you mean. He's got a lovely face, hasn't he? It's a really, really, um, yeah, that's a great, I think the, um, the crimp covers, yeah, so if you're looking there, you can see, so, and you can add it directly into chain, can't you? If retro, retrospectively, if you need to add spaces into, um, into pieces, that works really well. I use them on um, knots of elastic. Um, there's loads and loads of things you can use. Wire work as well, again, if you, you, know, yep. if you need to cover little mistakes, they're yep. very good. It all works, doesn't it? Right, yeah. are you ready for your early bird? Yes. I can tell you the quality of these sapphires are off the chart, literally off the chart. We're going to start with the sapphires, then we're going to bring you your mixed gemstones. How often do you get the opportunity to purchase a princess cut? And I think most people who know about gemstone buying will know that a princess cut, being the fact that it has over 70 facets, is one of the more expensive. But when it is executed perfectly, the joy, the beauty, the brilliance, the colour that you get is astounding. It's your early bird. I'm sorry, you just lost me for a moment in these sapphires. They're absolutely unbelievable. So different cuts will have different quantity, uh, quantities of facets. A uh, step cut has 17. A round brilliant cut has got 57 stroke 58 facets. A princess cut is actually one of the most of faceted calibrations that you can source. Um, and again, you experience much more brilliance. They are much more expensive, generally speaking, because of the, how labor intensive they are. Then, so to be able to purchase a full parcel like this, um, I find very, very exciting. Now, they are brand new. They've never been on your screens before. There are only 52 opportunities. Now, of course, when it comes to your colored gemstones, we talk about the carat weight, we talk about the, the clarity. Well, you wouldn't cut something into a princess cut if it didn't have amazing clarity. That's quite simple, end of story, because that's why you only ever see the finest quality diamonds in a princess cut. Same applies to your colored gemstones. You, uh, you wouldn't, ah, oh, see, look at this. You wouldn't cut, um, you wouldn't cut um, a, a heavily flawed sapphire into Princess Cut. I mean, take a little look at this. The quality of the colour is unbelievable. The quality of the clarity is unbelievable. The quality of the carrot weight is amazing. And of course, the biggest and most important of the C's right here, right now, is that 
cutting. Now, obviously, obviously, the fact that they are princess cut, let that be an indication of quality. Because you wouldn't find somebody embarking on the, one of the most challenging and most pricey and wasteful of cuts within the actual market if they were substandard. Every single one of these are beautifully vibrant chartreuse pinks. You know, and I'm, I'm kind of leaving out the fact that generally speaking, the, the more vibrant the pink in the sapphire world, the more valuable the pink is in the sapphire world. I really want to focus on the fact that these are princess, um, princess cut. I've got a friend who's got a princess cut engagement ring. Um, it is it, it it cost probably double the price that mine did because it is princess cut. And that's the difference. You pay a premium for it. And I tell you what, if you, I mean, if you can afford a princess cut, the beauty that you get is absolutely unbelievable. There are 50 of these available. That hot pink that ultimately we do source is the most desirable of your pink sapphires. It's all down to personal preference and the same as the blues. But princess cut in excess of 70 facets showcasing all of that really beautiful, beautiful brilliance, the quality of the color and the exceptional remarkable clarity. These will fly out the door because I'm just having that moment of realization when I, 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 I remember, I recall what we're taking this to today. They've never been on our screens before. And in terms of opportunities, Claire, what, what can I actually do with, with these stones? Can I use them in my gemstone setting? Yeah. Yes, yeah, you can, can't you? If you, you know, if, as well, and think about, um, uh, you know, when if you do maybe your milliput as well, if you wanted to um, have a go with that, maybe your silver clay. Oh yeah, um, that would look lovely. But yeah, I mean, we do a lot of settings, don't we? That um, that it could work with if you're happy and confident, and you could do. Um, you could do your own settings, I think. Didn't Hayley have some um, yeah, gravers in? You know, yeah. maybe have a, have a little go at something like that and, and maybe some, like, beaded work. Really beautiful. Um, you know, but, I mean, I mean they're, they're just stunning, aren't they? They are absolutely stunning. Maybe take, you know, take <coughs> them to a, um, you know, a fine jeweller's and, and come up with a design, something that, the colour, that vibrant. Listen, well, you've just said something that I, I was thinking. Listen, I'm, I, I'm not a silversmith. I'm not an amazing gemstone setter, but I can see, I recognise the quality of these mm, stones. Mm. So, yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Mm. I'd take them, put pen to paper and come up with a yeah, design, design and get somebody yeah. else to do it. Now, we're at 20 pounds per princess cut, which I have to say is unheard of. It's unheard of for a princess cut alone. Never mind all the other C's, which are equally as important, but really it's all about the quality of the cutting. And the, and the fact that they are princess cuts is an indication that they have to be fine quality stones. Well, look, we're under magnification. You should expect a few inclusions when it comes to sapphire. Um, very few gemstones are completely flawless. If they are flawless, then of course you pay the price point for it. But the the, the quality of this clarity uh, of this clarity and color is highlighted by the fact that these are princess. Now you will not believe just how low we're taking them. You have a pack of ten. Fifty-two of you will be successful, or less if you multiply. Straight away jewellers have got involved on this one. I'm not surprised. Wow. 49.99. That's five pound per princess cut solitaire. And we're still absolutely no way near. I buy this not knowing what I'm going to do with it, but knowing that I can't afford to miss this opportunity. Claire, have you ever worked with princess cut stones before? I haven't. I'm just, I'm just thinking about it though. Whether if you've got, say, you know, some of your, um, you know, when we drill and we insert gemstones into pearls, we usually do rounds, don't we? But I, I bet you, if with some of the, um, the drill bits that we've got now, some of the like the, the, the different burrs, <coughs> I bet you could shape. If it was a big enough pearl, and we've done some of those too, you could shape it so that you could get those angles and the corners in. I mean, can you imagine one of those in one of like our metallic pearls? So Amazing. you've got all the pinks in there and then, and then you've got that stone. Hiya, Joe. Would there be a chance of split pay or am I being cheeky? Joe, you would think that it would be a split pay opportunity, wouldn't you? But we are no way near a split pay price point today. Well done. You're about to get 10 princess cut amazing quality pink sapphires 
The phone lines are going to go nuts in the second show. I hope you're ready. £19.99. pence. Not one of them should be that price. Not one of them. Um, look at the quality of the colour. Let's go through the four C's, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. Carrot weight. Yes, you've got well over half a carrot. Have you got the quality of colour? Oh, my goodness, yes. It couldn't be any more vibrant than mm. what's on your screens. Have you got beautiful clarity? Yes. Yes. All right. There's a few little occasional... I, want, I don't want to say flaws because that comes across as a real negative. Let's just say characteristics that showcase that they are genuine gemstones. If you want to get genuine... If you want to get something that's completely flawless, that, you know, there's, was, there's not a single blemish, you, well, you're going to probably have to go to the imitation stones um, because most of your genuine gemstones will some, have some kind of characteristics. That's why we, we gravitate towards them. Do you have the quality of cut? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. These are impeccable quality. Not one of them should be at nineteen ninety nine, but you are actually getting a pack of ten. Penny, Pauline, Ayrshire, Karen, Janet, uh, Yorkshire, Joe. Well done, Joe. Hello to you, London, Melanie, Margaret, Deborah, Heather. Hello to you, Birmingham, Lynn. You customer, Susan, Penny. I've got people with it in the baskets. Just so you know, I have literally fifty two. That's it. No more. No less. Um, we don't get the opportunity to purchase Princess Cup very often. Like I said, it's very expensive. <coughs> and you don't have to take my word for it. Next time that you pass a, a luxury jewellers, um, have a little look, press your nose against the window, see if you can find a Princess Cup for less than four figures. See if you can, for kicks, you know, just for kicks. Half the stock's gone, says Ross. You don't want to sell half. Yeah, but they are Princess Cup. <coughs> I've got this really annoying tickle. That price is insulting to the sapphire, but I can live with that. Me too. We're not, we, we don't feel so terrible, Angela, do we, that we're going to lose sleep. We're going even lower, Angela, for princess cut sapphire as well, no less. Uh, this is my birthstone. If you're a September baby, then you absolutely must. You must, because that is, I agree with you, Angela, it is insulting to the quality of the sapphire, it's in quali uh, the quality of the, the clarity, the quality of the colour, the quality of the cut. It is, but we can live with that, can't we? <clears throat> Maybe if we just sell out, they'll feel a bit better about it. Just don't, don't show the sapphires the graphics, okay. <clears throat> Not even stopping oh, at 1999. Gosh. I don't. I generally don't know. Remember the last time I brought you a princess cut stone here at Jewelry Maker. Seventeen ninety nine is ridiculous. It is actually ridiculous. Not one of them should be at that price tag. Um, and I'm with Claire. You know, you might not have any. You might not have a Scooby Doo. What you're going to do with these as of yet? But it's about sourcing the opportunity, isn't it? Mm. Um, because that will come to you at some point in the in the future. Liz, Beverly, hello to you. Lynn, Heather, Heidi, Jane, Cardiff, Pauline's got three. Well done to you. Lancashire, Sandra, Brenda, I can see you on the phone lines. Leslie, I can see you there. Lillian, new customer, Hilda, Angela, Deborah, Birmingham, Northumberland, you're there. 52, that was it. That's all we had. Once they're gone, they're gone. I really like your idea, Claire, um, of taking a really lovely, big Baroque pearl mm. and having a go at sort of dremeling a little yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pure it in place. I think that would look lovely. <coughs> I'm just going to have a little sip of my tea because I've got this really tickly cough. I swear it's the air con. There's no pleasing me, is it? I'm too hot, too hot for the air con. I'm not coughing. <laughs> Uh, Seventeen ninety nine. Such a diva, Al. I know, I know, I know. Uh, well done, everybody. Now, we've got one more early bird to bring you. Please do stay where you are on those phone lines. Now, there's 48 of these. They have flown out, and that is because um, our lovely Claire... Um, she got rounds on them, didn't she? And she created oh, I love these. Like the, oh, Claire, they're I amazing. Just, I just think, I mean, uh, tube setting, I think if you've never done any gem setting before, it's such a great way, and there's lots of demos if you look on YouTube. Um, oh. You know, the jewelry maker YouTube, there's so many. It's such a great way. But when you've got all stones like that, so there's the same size, but all different colours, you know, it means that so you can do those, um, <coughs> you know, those wonderful designs that are, you know, multicoloured like that. I love them. Stacker rings are them. all the rage. Um, yeah, we were saying yeah. very Bulgari. It's also very Boodles. Now, look at the collection of the gemstones. <coughs> you've got here Rose de France, uh, Peridot, Garnet. Amethyst, Tanzanite, 
That's not even what you're paying today. Seriously, that's a carrot. That's it. This is it. This is it. Incredible. You know more than me right now. It's so good. Well, it's great at that price. Oh, I've just looked. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Do you know what they're going to? I haven't got a clue, but I, that, I think that's a, a brilliant price for. Have you got a Scooby Doo? I haven't got a Scooby Doo, no. <coughs> um, can I say something, Ross? Can I give a hint? You know an orange note, you're going to get change from it. Well. <laughs> oh, sorry, Claire. There, there, are, there are notes that are less uh, than the red ones. Claire deals in uh, coins. We're going to take these under £10 today. Again, that's amazing. That is that... amazing. All of which are what? Three millimetres in their size. How about a pound so each? Good. So, so good. That design, Claire, is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely. And look, and look how many different, you know, when you, again, because you've got all of that colour. You've got all that colour palette, so you could, you know, I've kept them separate. You could absolutely do that ring and keep it so that it's it's all joined up. But, you know, you think you could have all your, your you know, sort of your ombres, you know, your, your greens and your yellow. You could have, like, your purples to the pinks, the different, you know, the, the darker tones, the more sort of, like, gothic tones. You've got, you've got so many different options there. You by really just having have. those colours. <clears throat> That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Can you believe that we've just taken a carrot of st gemstones? Uh, for under ten pounds. Under ten pounds. Crazy. Yeah. Actually crazy. Yeah. Make sure and you if, check out. If, if that is the, if that's the, you know, maybe you haven't uh, done any tube setting before, and there's not, there's not that many, you know, you need to obviously you get your tubes, which we, which we do. <coughs> but honestly, when once you've tubes that, you'll be so, you'll be so thrilled with the results. It's a lot easier than you than you think. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Claire! They're absolutely amazing. Thank you. They're lovely, uh, but you know, it's, that is about the colour, isn't it? Look how simple the settings are. Nothing, you know, the, the ring shank isn't isn't um, decorated. That's all about the colour of the gemstone. I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, even if you sold those for what do you think? They're sterling silk. So, uh, no, I'd, I'd even go as say twenty. You got sapphires, tanzanites, yeah, peridot. You know. Seriously, for all that precious metal yeah. and the quality it's of those great, stones. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Love, love, love that design. Um, and you can make it too. You did a demo on this, didn't you? Yes. When was yes. that, do you remember? Um, I think was that, I think maybe last week. Last week. So have a little look back on was our YouTube Friday? channel. Maybe Friday. I remember. I remember seeing your post. Yeah. Um, have a little look on our on our YouTube channel and yeah. you'll be able to find uh, Claire's demonstration if you want to recreate that look. But obviously get hold, uh, get hold of the stones. Now, oh my goodness, what a Friday. I'm about to make my way over to lovely Claire for the first of your kit hours, but not before I show you um, this amazing, historic carving. Now it comes, as you can imagine, beautifully packaged. And I'm going to just show you on the reverse. You get you get a really gorgeous uh, card. Oh my goodness. That is done literally by hand. It's a work wow. of art. Coming up at 11 o'clock today. Um, and as you can see, comes within the card, your majesty, the master carving. Each of one of these, much like if you were to get art or a limited edition art work, piece of work, uh, then they come numbered as well. Um, so if you just have a little look at the, uh, the card itself, so it says, Your Majesty, this is what, number 37 <clears throat> out of 200 that were ever actually made. This certificate, uh, this is a, a genuine master carving by the famed lapidary artist, uh, Ida Oberstein, Hans Ulrich Pauli. Um, and you keep hold of that, obviously, because it is like your certificate of authenticity. These are coming up with Jake at 11 o'clock today. There has never been in the entirety, I believe, of Gem, uh, Gemporia partnership anything as exciting and, uh, and as historic as that opportunity. Now, stay with us. I'm going to make my way over to lovely Claire. We'll be back after this.
I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. I can't wait for every single one of our collectors to join us for what is going to be one of the feature showcases of the year. Um, you've seen us bring those incredible naturally lavender pearls and the papaya colours, but in this showcase what we aim to bring our collectors is this kind of rich, beautiful ombre shades of the natural colours in single pearls. Uh, a little bit less saturation than the purple flash, but what you get is the marbling of the colours on each of the incredible pearls that we're going to be bringing you in the showcase. We've got some huge baroque strands and single pearl opportunities. This is going to be one of the biggest shows of 2022. Hi, I'm Abby and my brand is Melrose Makes. I specialise in polymer clay jewellery which is inspired by nature. So I've been doing my business for about two years, started in July 2020 um, and have really refined that process and working with polymer clay, which I love because it's really versatile. Anyone can pick it up. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, whatever stage you're at with your jewellery, um, you can give it a go. So jewellery makers, I am really hoping you will join me for my first show on Monday the 30th where we will be exploring something brand new with polymer clay. See you then! Ah, that's Abby I did her screen test yeah, That's exciting. Isn't She's it? lovely. She's really lovely. Yeah, yeah I think you're gonna you're gonna really uh, really really uh, gel with her. She's wonderful and incredible as well with polymer clay. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Speaking of incredible, exciting. take a look at Claire's in amazing necklace. Oh my, and, and bracelet, and earrings. Yes. Claire, these are amazing. Uh, do you know what? These are really, um, I don't know if these kits might, might have been meant for somebody else because I've never had kits like this. They are lovely. Really, really lovely. I've never had these why big jump we, rings. Why wouldn't you think they were for Because you? I've never had big jump rings like this. They are, I, I, I tell you what, it's like, um, like I really, really like intricate, intricate work. You do dainty, don't you? But this is some, I really, really like them. I liked putting them together um, and the, uh, they are very durable as well because I did a few different, I thought, what am I going to do with them? So you've got several, it's not like it's a, a one, you know, <coughs> you've only got one shot at um, working with them. They are lovely, really, really, really lovely. Gorgeous, and the fact that you've got the gemstones that complement them as well, you get so much. Yes. Sorry, Ross, which one? Either of the hematites. Well, let's start the one with the, with the, with the ones with the, um, I don't know how to describe it, the ovals. Here we go. So look, take a little look, and look how much you get in. So that's there is loads. four different yeah. sizes, right? Yeah. Is that right? Four different sizes of these lovely textured open jump rings. I love it. The EXO selection. Oh, yes. That's yeah. amazing. Um, so if I actually grab my tweezers, I'll hold a couple of these 
on the tweezers to actually show you the little selections that you get. I mean, wow, it's literally a case of what, open and closing jump rings then? Yeah. Look how gorgeous they are. In quantities, by the way, you're getting 20 of each. Um, and they are, in terms of sizes, 13 mil, 14 mil, 16 mil, and 22 millimeter internal diameters. So you're getting all four sizes. Then, as you can see, you've got your lovely uh, um, coated copper hematite stars, and then the lovely textured um, pyrite. It's like a pyrite color um, hematite in those gorgeous ovals. Look a little bit like a vintage frame. And what's that? Bare copper texture finish square wire open jump rings. Which one are those? What am I looking at? I'm so they're all the square. If you have a look at them, they're oh, not they're, they're not square. round. I yeah, they're, they're all square. They're so you're all... getting four different sizes of your jump rings and two strands of amazing hematite in both your stars, which are seven millimeters, um, and then your lovely ovals, um, which are uh, approximately eleven by eighteen millimeters. So I mean, if I'm brand new to jewelry maker, I might mm -hmm. look at that piece of jewelry that you've uh, you're showcasing, Claire, and think, yeah. oh, I can never do that. But you, you can really, really easily. Um, so it's just a case. It's just a case of putting them together. And I would say have a um, have a play with that. I'll, I'll show you some of the different um, techniques of, of, of the different because it just links. So it's, again, it's like in the same. I treated it in the same way as, as wire work almost. That if you're going to make a big piece like that, just think about it's it's compo repetitive components, repetitive links. Yeah. Um, and then you just you know it's just it's just repeating them. Um, but I would look at I would look at these as well as you know if this is the, your bare copper if you work with I mean bare copper is absolutely is lovely um, you know you can uh, um, you could use these as you know your base for um, you know if you're going to net net cabochons and you've got a circular yeah. cabochon your tree of life it'd be a, gr a great um, uh, framework for that so. Yes, they are connectors, but they are, you know, so many other things as well. Can I oxidise them as well? If they're bare copper, then yes, you should be able to, yeah. Ah, so you yeah. can actually create that lovely aged look. Yes, 24 yeah. 24 yeah. 99 um, Those two strands are brand new. I know you've seen versions of, but never seen those lovely colours. Um, absolutely amazing. £24.99. Mm. Now, the bundle of jump rings, never been on our screens. But if we were to bring them on their own, they'd be nineteen pounds ninety nine pence. That means you're getting the two strands. That's an awful for lot. Isn't it for... <gasps> it's a lot. Should we give you the whole kit today for under twenty pounds? That's really that suite really of jewellery would never in a million years look. I love no. those earrings, Claire. Those earrings are absolutely gorgeous. You know, never in a million years would you think that any of these pieces were under twenty pounds. Never in no, a million years. No, and that, and I mean, if you look at like the most simple, <laughs> if you look at say maybe those ones. Yeah. So okay, it's a different different colorway. Um, that is all that is is just doing a wrap loop and popping um, your two jump rings in there because they're those focal textured square jump rings. So yes, they are. Yes, they are the jump rings, but they're also um, you know those those focal pieces themselves absolutely gorgeous you know how how easy is that is that to do you can see so all i've done is i've put the the the, the round onto a head pin you yeah. just do an oversized <laughs> loop when in your wrap loop and then you can just thread your um your jump rings in love this absolutely love this really clever i'd be very surprised if this kit doesn't sell out really really clever kit um this one's in the in the bare copper we have got it in in two other colorways as well so another one with bare copper but different hematites and then we've got the silver um in terms of quantities how many do we have of each of these kits a hundred of this one the silver there's only 50 sadly what about mixing them up what about using the copper the rose gold yeah it would look really nice the silver. yes yeah and i'd also think as well about um i keep seeing um you know little little toe rings as well so oh. it, it's really nice to do stacker rings in your um sterling silver but maybe have a think about with your with your bare copper so yeah little toe rings or large toe rings you could you could do or um, stop it i'm allowed to because i've got the same toe issue as, as you so i can i can take the mickey out to ask you about that these aren't big enough for our toes <laughs> we could put a few together um yes <coughs> if, you, if you wanted um uh, you know you, your, your stacker rings um and, and maybe work with your plated your plated metal as well claire these aren't going fast enough so there's a clock ticking away on our screens we've got a quantity of 100 
Um, massive crash, says Ross, in my ear. OK, I like the idea oh, of mixing gosh. them up together. Um, yeah, we've got so much to going on today, honestly. Really exciting, uh, really exciting show. Both your deal of the day, but it has to be really, really 11 o'clock. It is the most historical opportunity that we've ever brought to air um, here at Jewelry Maker um, and ultimately Gemporia. Now, we are going massively lower. Lots of you multi buying. I love these jump rings and I love your designs. I love the idea of actually sort of mixing the colours together as well. Yeah, it looks really nice, actually. Look, if you Ooh. put them. Um, put the them together like that would that I fit think, i think that would that fit on your toe <laughs> no no <laughs> absolutely not definitely wouldn't fit on mine definitely not everybody pays that final low price i've made the mistake of sharing with the teams that when i was in school my nickname was sumo toe <laughs> i know yeah it's a good job i got broad i shoulder. think on that 14.99 yeah. yeah that's yeah that's my dad said no one would ever marry me because of my big toe. Ah. Oh. And, it, and it's true. I don't think it's because of the big toe, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. then some people call me uh, Toffee Penny. Why Toffee Penny? Because it resembles the Toffee Penny in the, <laughs> in the Quality Street. <laughs> I bet you didn't realise, you didn't realise that you'd find out this much about Claire and I, would you? Oh, but then, <gasps> that's not big then, that's very flat. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine to get hold of this amazing kit. I love the idea of mixing these together. And again, you can oxidise both of them because they are um, what silver plated and also yes, bare copper. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is your XOXO. Trisha, Sharon, hello to you, Wendy. Alison's got six. Well done to you, uh, Alison in Suffolk, Lincolnshire, Carolyn, uh, Karen Essex, Maker in Devon, Wendy, Trisha, Staffordshire, London, Lincolnshire, Patricia, new customers, Jill, Louisa, Julianne. Hello to you, Renfusha. Hello to you, Angela. <clears throat> so many of you getting involved. And fourteen ninety nine. Well, those little those little stars. Ooh. So if you see, so I've just this is the, so I'm just uh, prepped for the demo. If you look at something like that, you know, it, 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 because of the different sizes of them, there's nothing to stop you know. If you maybe make little. Um, wreaths or um you know so doing like wire writing <coughs> going across them you could do a lovely tree of life there whether these um uh the hematites are going to be flowers stars there's lots and lots you can do but i mean that's a really that would be a lovely link um i mean i and i filled the area with the, the hematites you'd have good impact if you you know even if you use maybe half that amount no you could use that it's fill lovely. that for use those for like resin and things yeah you? yeah yeah Sh should we do uh, let's do a different colorway and we'll leave the silver for last um, again, the only difference with this one is the fact you've got a slight variation on your hematite. So uh, this one includes a, a really lovely matte uh, <coughs> hematite star. In one minute, the clock is ticking away. We are going to match that price tag. There we go. We've said it. We've got, what, 100, did you say, of these? 100 available. Um, are they manual? Look at the difference as well. If I hold those together... <gasps> Yeah, have you not seen them. them before? No, they've got a, a, moon, and a, Brand new. a moon and a star on. Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they gorgeous? Celestial theme behind these. Oh, I'm going to hold so those nice. two jump rings alongside one another as well. And can you see the difference? One slightly narrower than the other. Yes. You've got different, yeah. different yeah. girths. Yes. Yes, you have. So you maybe different weights that, that you wanted different. Um, and I'll show you when it's sort of like just putting them all together into a like a little twist or a rose effect. Yeah. So, oops, I'm trying to show them all together. You've got the, the different uh, thicknesses of your, uh, of your jump rings. How beautiful are these? Literally just opening and closing yeah. them, literally creating those wonderful layers and textures, big statement pieces, very catwalk. Mm. Um, we're going to match that price. <clears throat> Lots of you getting involved in this one. Again, the silver colour is imminent. Um, just, just know that we have less of those available. Uh, 50 of those, That's sadly. That's so good. <coughs> it really is. I mean, That's can really... you pass me those earrings? These ones, yes, yeah. yeah. Look at those. I think that. I mean that. I mean the, that is so good for the. You could. Ha I mean, you've got a lot of individual charms there of the, of the gemstones with that that celestial pattern on them. And celestial is it's massive, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. I know yeah. we've got we have got cord coming up as well um, uh, in the uh, the twelve o'clock kits. So I can show you how to do a little sliding knot as well in those. Oh, that, that, might be, that might be useful with You could with actually the use the Mobius and actually have the cord from either side, yes. couldn't you? Yes, yeah, you could. I read yeah. an article yeah. not so long ago, Claire, and I think I shared it with our lovely viewers about how it was a 2021 article mm. and it was talking about, you know, the popularity of celestial theme and, and how 
it's always, always uh, very much relevant, but um, in particular at the moment, and it might well be, you know, where we're sort of seeking comfort mm. um, with everything that's gone on over the past couple of years. And, uh, and yeah, the popularity is still very, very, very much apparent. 14.99, um, you've got that celestial inspiration within your hematite as well, but I'm just really loving these jump rings. These jump rings, I don't normally get that excited about jump rings, I'll be honest. I don't, because I'm not a chain mailer. Um, yeah, no, me, I me don't, neither, me no. neither, but I think that you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to know very much about chain mail at all to get a real impact no. on pieces. No, yeah, I totally. That's really, that's really, you know, important. Let's do the silver, and it's gonna melt the phone lines. Uh, uh, this is why I'm, I've been very, well, open and said there's 50. It's not enough, it literally is not enough. Um, this includes shell pearl. I knew it. I knew the phone lines would light up with this one because you love silver as a colour. And the loveliest strand. This is, it's such a lovely, lovely strand. Do I know what Ross is going to do, he says. Labradorite. This, by the way, should have been more because they are silver plated. So these are mm. precious metal plated. It's not just your copper and, and silver is more expensive than copper, of course. Um, they're big jump rings, so they're going to take a lot of plating. So it should mm. have been £29.99. Um, we've taken £5 off because what we did with the previous kits, there are only 50 of these available and they're on the verge of oh. selling out. So I'll leave that one with you. Good luck. Any questions that you have um, for our lovely... Oh, they've gone. There we <laughs> I'm go. not surprised. I'm not surprised either. Um, yeah, any questions you have for Claire, then feel free to text us because we are live here in the studio. Um, Claire, which of these amazing so designs are you going to show us? I'm going to show you how to make some of the different um, components that I've made um, uh, in, in the necklace and then in the earrings as well. And then also a technique with, if you're going to maybe work with wire, um, of, of, of wrapping, uh, wrapping rounds around, around, uh -huh. or wrapping... Um, different shapes around around so um the first thing i did on on, on the the component so um i've got That's amazing. it looks really good doesn't it yeah. so if we look at um so i'm going to show you how um I, I started off like i say so it's repetitive things with uh in the process of making them and then um and then putting the all the different um the different uh components together so you get different looks <laughs> depending on um the size um of the of the rings that you're going to work with and also the thickness so i have got more in this one but you can see so you can see the difference in the uh the thickness of the um so not 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 so much the diameter this one the, the actual thickness of the of the wire that's used you'll get so you can use the same techniques but um if you're working with the different different rings you will get um a different look so the first thing um i'm going to do is so i've got one of my um uh, one of the um, one of the uh, the circles there, the jump rings. So I'm going to have um, a couple here, and we'll see how different it looks when we add more and more to them. So let me just find the. And what I really liked as well, yes, you can use your um, your pliers as well with these, but I also had to go with just um, just my fingers as well. So I've got um, I've got a, a flat closed one there, so I'm just going to pop that that through. So I've gone um, into it and then underneath. And then I'm going to close that up. So let's just give that a wiggle and let that sit on there. So I'm going to take another one. Again, I'm going to go open it up a little bit more. Let's go underneath, keeping those flats coming out at the top. And then again, close that and let that sit. And we can start to see we're getting that twist. I'm going to take another one. And you see how I'm just going to keep adding up through the middle out at the top so that they sit on each other and starting to get that and again what i really liked with them is you have to even though they're this size you really have to look for that you know the saw marks yeah it's very very you know, really good because they've got that nice texture and again just bring it back a little bit so you can just keep adding and you get going to get that nice almost that that rosebud um, effect so the more you add um the larger that's going to um going to happen so for something like the earrings so if I just um if I sort of show you those so I'd made with the larger rings here and then we can add in um to you, you know because all the time I guess when you're working with loops <coughs> and things like that you're thinking about um direction so what we could have is I could take one of the other rings so if I take one of the I'm going to have um one of the slightly smaller and lighter ones so if I take this one Again, just find the, the opening and we can go up through. So I'm going to lift all of that up and then close there. 
and then we can let that sit and let that go flat. So you could, to make the earrings, you just, um, I got um, a plain jump ring in my stash and then you can just have that coming down. So if you wanted to start adding on to, maybe adding your um, gemstone embellishments to, um, to maybe the larger ones. So if I just move this out of the way, and this is where you can start to add in um, and, and uh, sort of, so I've got different components there. So we've got the, the rose maybe spiral here, and then we can um, add that into um, if we make another component. So I, I would say um, have a play about with them and, and sort of make different components and then maybe layer them up and see, see what you think. So with the, this is the same principle whether you're working with the, um, the hematite here to create that um, almost like that, that, that wreath, a larger maybe flower or um, almost like a sun maybe um, effect. So it's the same way and you'll get a different look if you work with smaller gemstones. So if you look at the, um, if you look at the necklace, um, so this is the same technique, but because you're working with much smaller stones, so you can see here, um, we've actually got, so I've, and I've stepped down, so I've got one labradorite, then two, then one, then two, you're gonna get that effect. So same techniques, um, but it'll just vary with whatever shape you're working with. So I've got some um, 0.4 wire, and I'm just being quite mindful of where, if you're thinking about where that gap is, because I, you know, you need to be thinking, do you want to be um, opening and closing it uh, after you put all the embellishments on? If you're happy that you don't need to, um, uh, you don't need to open it again. What you could do is you can just lose that into underneath the wire work. So if we have a, if we keep an eye on that, the, um, the saw mark is here. So I'm going to start about here. So with the, with the Labradorite ones, what I did, I didn't do a complete um, uh, full embellishment, not like, not like that one. This one, you can see I've gone all the way around. The Labradorite, I did so maybe like two, two thirds of it um, because I knew I wanted it to hang. So I'm going to, wrap through a couple of um, maybe two to three wraps all the way around just so that I've anchored on properly. So I'm going to keep that tail just in case. So then we're thinking about because what you have got in the kits is you've got these again, so you've got focal rings and you've also got lovely shapes of, um, of stones. So I'm going to let that fall. So what we're thinking about now is we just want to have a bit of control. If it was a, if it was a round bead, it's just going to sit, almost sit uh, flat like that. So you, maybe you'd be thinking about the direction that you're going to view it in and you'd be thinking about the drill hole. So what you want to do is you want to have a, a, a bit of control as you're wiring this down, um, this section here. So I'm going to hold here and I'm just going to come all the way at the back there. So I want to get a little bit of... Um, tension so it's sort of sitting standing proud so I'm going to come back up through the jump ring and then you're almost going to do a bit like a, a tiara twist but we're not going to twist it we're just going to wrap so if maybe like a wrap loop as well once around that that 0.4 wire and that then gives it a lot more it's a lot sturdier we're then going to go th back through the jump ring and to give it because I want a little bit of space so I don't want to come straight out here because then with a, with a, a, a gemstone like this I'm you know you can see we've got that star effect we don't want it coming too close so that they overlap so we're going to go one wrap around just to give it that space and that then leads us at this point which is a nice we've got a nice gap in between the the different shapes so let's take this again we've got this one I'm going to add in I'm going to hold here. So again, you're holding next to it and you can see how beautifully that fits in. Turn over. I'm going to come at the back of the, of the stone and keep that nice and, um, and neat as well. You can see that just it gets hidden away. And again, so I'm going to wrap around there. So same principle, whether you're working with rounds or whether you're working with shapes in whichever size. So if you were going to... Um, do the, um, with the, the, the tiny Labradorite, what you don't need to do is you don't need to do that wrap. So if we pretend for a minute that this is a round, so this is gonna come on here, all you'd need to do with the round is, we're gonna hold, be coming around, and then you could just go straight into like that because you haven't got that that round which is just going to sit and it's not going to um it's not going to move as much and then you're ready to add the next one in but you can already see so that saw mark is hidden in here now so that's absolutely you know it looks like it's a complete 
ring because that saw mark is about somewhere about there. So you can see, so you can work your way all the way around. <laughs> all the way around. I'm having a lovely Brilliant. time They're here. They're so good, aren't they? Yeah. So, so good. <coughs> Just half so good. baking away. So if you think that, so we've got, we've created these different um, different pieces. There's nothing to stop you. If you've got, uh, the, can, you can use some other wire that you've got in your stash. <laughs> Adam said, oh, that's unique. That's polite for... But see, see, something like that. So you could put your cord through that now, couldn't you? You could put your, um, uh, you could rosary link into that. And that's a really, really fancy, lovely link. I was going for an earring. Well, but yes, it's light enough, isn't it? Nice, yeah. nice chunky... Sorry. Um, yeah, I was going for the big uh, See, yeah. That's nice. Lovely play. I know, that's, that's, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> <sighs> that's lovely, I know. So if, so something like that, so you could um, add, add those in, um, add those in there. So again, so different, your different components we could add in. So I've got a couple of these different, um, sort of these different roses and we could add in different bits there. So you can see really it's, the world's your oyster really. You can add in, in any, any way that you want and to be making those, making those links there. Um, and I think, I think that is about it. Oh, sorry, get my head out of the way. So you can see in that, so that's how, it, that's how it's worked with, um, so just creating those, uh, if you've got a round and you've got the small Labradorite, you can see I've just framed, um, framed the shell. <coughs> Love it! Uh, with the These wire there. These kits are so beautiful. They're really, they're really, really good. Um, they're lovely, just it was a really lovely project yeah, to do. Yeah, and, and really quick, lovely. quick make. Yeah. At the same time, making yeah. very much catwalk makes. Yeah. Um, I should perhaps put that one back there, actually, because uh, it might well, uh, uh, yeah, there's so many of you on those phone lines for that one. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah, enjoy those. Um, yeah, they're beautiful. The beer copper kits are also extra popular so don't leave those in your baskets um amazing amazing now oh, claire you're awesome and the kits coming up in the 12 in the 12 o'clock hour are amazing <gasps> too you love them don't you i do love talk them. to me why do you love them i love them because they're sterling silver yes and they're heart shaped i know so that yeah but i've done loads with them um, absolutely low. i love, love it on. they're gorgeous love aren't it. they heart yeah. jump rings heart jump rings yeah amazing yeah. so they're coming up at 12 o'clock today um you know your deal of the day is some beautiful beautiful strands amazing quality ethiopian open we've got it in uh, wonderful colors um green you've got pink you've got tangerine orange you've got midnight blue black as well and also your natural color so 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 popular the colors of ethiopian opal because it is like a hydrophane quality it really responds well to that level of treatment um we had it i remember actually launching it on what was our usa channel probably about nine years ago um, and it created an absolute frenzy. They're one of the most popular collections, certainly that I recall uh, launching. They are brand new colors, um, super affordable. So you've got really lovely midnight blue, green, pink, orange, and also a black. I love that pink. They're amazing, aren't they? Uh, that's midnight blue and it, the, mm. the color itself that that injection of color really emphasizes the the, the beauty of your play of color mm. like i said these Ooh, are that's lovely isn't it amazing oh. it's it, it's like chrysoprase i think mm. uh chrysoprase but with an injection of play of color oh that's oh. my favorite i it's love it it's beautiful i remember launching this collection on rocks when we uh, when we had the usa channel uh it was about eight nine years ago probably even more um and it still sticks with me because Ooh. it was such a i love the orange um oh, it was such that. a popular collection I and bet. we had it in in lots of beautiful designs um flew out the door now they are quite limited by the way we've got about 75 of each of those colors amazing absolutely amazing don't forget as well uh, coming up at 11 o'clock some might say i absolutely believe this is probably the biggest and most historic opportunity that Gemporia, not just jewellery maker, that Gemporia has brought to you. And I don't want to say too much about it because um, your wonderful gem investor, Jake Thompson, has he was the one that got on the flight. He was the one that negotiated this opportunity for you all today. But historically, there has never been anything as remarkable as this. In recognition of 70 years for a platinum jubilee, we are launching at 11 o'clock, Your Majesty, the carving master carving wow. there are literally 200 of these 
ever, ever created. They are hand carved by one incredible artist and you can get yours today at 11 o'clock. It's, 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 it's incredible, you know, absolutely incredible. Um, <clears throat> okay, but between now and then, I did see what happened with the two meter strands in the first hour, did you? Well, we've got some more two meter opportunities that we're gonna bring to you in a start back. Always so popular, mm. Goldstone. It's a lovely sparkle, isn't it? It is. It is. A wonderful man-made component that... Um, yeah, I do too, Ben. Ben's just said I love Goldstone. It's gorgeous because you get these wonderful re reconstitutions, basically, where they take wonderful mica, beautiful sort of glittery uh, <coughs> additions that they reconstitute into an idyllic shape, basically. They work so beautifully across lots of different mediums. I'm thinking about your kits that you've be just perfect had. Perfect with mm. those, wouldn't they? Absolutely um, perfect. And, and things like bare copper. They mm. will. They ha tend to ha be blessed with quite generous drill holes, so they'll breeze onto many of your wires and threading materials and strands. It is so popular, particularly, uh, particularly I think in the summer months because you see that wonderful magic literally come to life. Now, I, I did a little showcase of this not so long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and the four mil in particular always sells out. Um, because they're a great alternative to things like spacer beads. Yes, yeah, they would. And because they've got that metallic, um, almost like the metallic flex, haven't they? But beady beads are a love. I've made um, oh, yes. beady beads with this strand. Beautiful with your beady beads. Yeah, yeah. Spacers, stretchy bracelets, macrame, all of the above. Now, mm. Ross, just because it is that popular and I feel like I need to make it, you know, uh, completely known to everybody, how many do we have of these? Seventy-five. No, it's not enough, is it? Mm. Seventy-five. And by the way, we shall also be bringing you. Mm. I know. I mean, it. The sparkle there. It's wonderful, it, isn't it? It really is yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful goldstone. You get a full meter long length of goldstone in your four mils. A hundred carats in this gorgeous, gorgeous man-made created gemstone. Um, but yeah, a really beautiful opportunity of bringing that sort of Vincent van Gogh, that starry night inclusions mm. uh, within your beautiful creations. Great with bare copper. I mm. think it's. It, I think that's a must to go with and yeah. the and the um, the hematite strands. Both yeah. of them, that matte colour and the. Um, yeah, the perfect yeah. for the kits that you've just got. If you've got those yeah. kits with clay, I think you need this. It needs to, yeah, definitely. Needs they to need go to go together, that. don't they? Because yeah, they are perfect. Yeah, yeah, literally the perfect addition to yeah. it. It's a warmth that you get mm. from your goldstone, and it can be created in your uh, in your uh, sort of midnight blues. It can be created in a really wonderful deep emerald green. But the most popular, without fail, is this really beautiful, almost like a terracotta gold, isn't mm. it? Um, like a terracotta warmth, but then the gold really comes to uh, comes from those wonderful mica inclusions. Now at nineteen ninety nine, again you are getting a full meter long strand. Even if you just literally sat and did like almost a production line of stretchy bracelets, these will this, these will be incredibly popular because you can just layer them up beautifully. Mm. They're going to complement all of your gemstones. I mean, we had that turquoise strand earlier on. It would look lovely with yeah, them. yeah, really. Not. I'm thinking about you know when Alison, lovely Alison, does her great stuff on the, you know on the loom. You've got that. Ah, oh, aluminum. Yeah, aluminum. <laughs> Looming. Looming, looming them, sorry. Loom what, them. A, what a what a um, Yes, <laughs> looming them, not aluminum. That's Loomin the same. They don't, they don't let riffraff like me in what and what uh, 99 only, but we're not closing there. We've got a big price crash on your screen. So if you're a big fan, I'm, I'm, I'm not posh enough to go to what and what and Ben. No. If they've let me in, Al. Well, I'm good. not just saying you palmed me off last time, <laughs> didn't you? Meant to, we were meant to be arranging a little a little get together. <sighs> Brushed me off, didn't you? <laughs> Orcs. <laughs> Going lower. I can't say anything. Nine ninety nine. We've taken a full ten pounds off that price tag. This is not for a thirty eight centimetre strand. It's a metre long length. I'm only joking. Um, metre long length. I love your idea of looming them. There yeah. So go. when you've got that many, you, uh, I think it's doing techniques like that, isn't it? Where you'd almost like you've got, you know, you have that big surface area. <coughs> you know, when I, um, you think about that. Do you remember that incredible cuff 
that you and I really liked? Was it the rose quartz? Yeah. One? I mean, you could do, you know, different, maybe you're like autumnal tones with that, couldn't you? But if you've got that many. Tassels. Yeah, make yes, tassels, tassels as well, couldn't you? As well, yeah. Really lovely yeah. tassels with this. Now, we had 75. It's been on our screens once previously. Oh, and Ross has just realised he said they took it lower. Okay. Well, we don't like to be outdone, Ross, do we? Okay. Um, we'll give you a 60 second countdown though. Don't, we don't like being outdone. It's not, uh, it, it, it just, let's just do it. Okay, let's just do it. We're not gonna dilly dally, there's only 75. Imagine your marlas, imagine all your, you know, your tassels that you can create out Ooh, of these. Yes, yeah. So maybe, um, eight, nine, very nine. Good. That is incredible. So maybe like a long line, if you've got the kits, long line chain link. And you could put your larger stones maybe into the um, into the frame of the of the loops, yeah. and then your gemstone tassel at the at the end. That'd actually be very very quick makes as well, wouldn't yeah. it? If you didn't want a knot in between them. And you were you mentioned autumnal, but this is all year round, isn't it? Yes, yeah. particularly with the gold yeah. I think uh, it, uh, yeah. coloured. Yeah, because it sort of brightens <laughs> it, doesn't it? But I can see, you know, I think this if you've got if you have got, uh, you know, maybe you are looking for, you know, that that. Maybe like a warmth autumnal, you know, like your carnelians, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the citrine lovely. that we had earlier, you know, you're looking Garnet. for Garnet. Yes, yeah. Warm It'd be great tones. with those. Um, let's bring you the eight millimetres then. I've given you, uh, sort of flashed them on your screens a couple of times, but I, I feel like they need to go together, mm -hmm. don't they? Yeah. Um, again, if you want to take inspiration from our lovely in de uh, design in-house designers, Anne and Sue, they quite mm. often incorporate sort of that, that graduation, be that sort mm. of larger to small or small to large. Uh, 400 carats that you're getting, even though we have actually doubled the size. Yeah, what are you doing, Ross? Should we still take it under £10? Wow. These are bigger. Yeah, you're, you're right, Ben. They're, they're, you know, they're double the millimetre in size. Still a metre long length. Yeah, absolutely. And we're it's still taking it under £10. It? It's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. They're magical, aren't they? Yeah. So hang on, for a pound extra, where's the sense? Where's the rhyme or the reason? Oh, look. They're gorgeous. They work great yeah. with sea beads as well. Look at that. The most beautiful reconstitution, man-made, created, otherworldly, some might say. I love it. They are magical, mm. aren't they? $9.99. Elaine snapped up a couple of these, as is Essex, as is Bristol, as is London. Angela Trina, mm. hello to you. Barbara, new customer getting involved. In, that's a full metre long length. I'm just going closer uh, cl on a, on a close-up shot for you so you can really appreciate how magical these stones are. They're beautiful. And, of course, they work across all your mediums. Just I definitely think your kits. D definitely with the kits, but also, um, you know, I think a lot. Both of the kits today are um, you can use them as connectors or charms, so things like that. So to have where you, you know, these uh, the deals now where you've got the gemstones. So, if, for example, if you wanted to do um, mm -hmm. uh, lots and lots of stretchy bracelets, yep. you know, we've got the charms coming up, haven't we? If, you know, if you look at look at some of these coming up here, these are some of the ones that we've got coming up later. You could just add in. Oh, but you need the, um, you know, you need the, you how need good the, are that? Yeah, well, you need the, um, the gemstones to have your. Uh, the, yeah, no, literally you're getting heart, heart, heart jump rings today. I know they're gorgeous. So how aren't great they? does that look? So you've got your elastic and then you're just adding on. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, they would be perfect with mm. your gold stone. Yeah, so grab hold yeah. of the gold stone. These are coming up at 12 o'clock today yeah. um, in your masterclass. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, the gold and the rose gold. Looks really nice, work. isn't it? Yeah. Really work. Yeah. Um, well done. Hello, Caroline, Jean, Marie. Hello to you, Alison, Manchester, uh, London, Trina. Make sure you check out those baskets, everybody. Congratulations. Um, okay, 10 minutes of beautiful, beautiful hematite. Did you know this gemstone is actually actually been dated back as far as uh, 1,600, uh, one, sorry, 164,000 years of age. Um, it was actually the oldest form of, yeah, oldest form of writing material um, known to man because in its rough form, it's actually a quite a reddish colour. Now, we're going to do last of stock on and gone auction opportunities. I don't have any here. Okay. 
Uh, on and gone opportunities. Um, we love hematite for lots of different reasons, actually. It is a genuine gemstone. Um, you get a really beautiful density with this gem, so it's great for creating sort of drop or weight mm. um, to your design. Always very popular. Yeah, because it, and it oh, perfect. I was about to start to say, yes. it's, it's about the shapes as well. Really, really <coughs> You crisp, can cut it into really shapes, good shapes. Yeah, I mean, look at, look at those. Those hearts are amazing. Aren't they? Now, do you think that's what a few different strands, and this is a big bundle, it's a massive yeah. bundle, isn't it? You'd think uh, it is, wouldn't you? You'd think, you'd think. What a clever, that's very clever, isn't it? We've, well, yeah, we've put them all together. So that means you get the silver heart hematites, you get the gold heart hematites, you get the gold stars and the silver stars, all in one amazing that's 330 so carat opportunity. Um, hematite, for those of you that are into uh, so the beliefs of your gemstones, many people think hematite will aid uh, blood disorders um, as well. So uh, um, much like, you know, copper is to sort of your arthritis and things like that. Many people believe this will assist with blood disorders, uh, disorders and also fevers. Fourteen ninety nine. these are last in stock opportunities. I can't guarantee that we will be recommissioning this. Let's hope so. Um, because That's they're so, so good. You said the word precise. Yeah. They are precise. Ice. They really are, yeah. Down yeah. to the last twelve. You need to, you can't it's a it's a completely pointless exercise adding it to your basket and they're not checking them out. There are twelve of these. Oh good luck, good luck, good luck. Dagmar, see where you are. Angela and Lydia, Janice, oh, well yeah, done. yeah. Um okay, let's do what, sorry? The rose ovals. These I just find it absolutely amazing. Uh we launched them, didn't we, Roscoe? Literally hundreds of these sold. On they look so expensive, don't they? Well, do they're like think? a vintage frame. Yes, yeah. Can you imagine, as a, as a lipidurist, you go, OK, can you take this beautiful gemstone? We want you to, 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 to drill a whopping great hole out the centre mm. of it. And then, because we're not quite happy with that, we want you to drill two further holes at the top and the bottom so we can put it onto yeah. maybe your yeah. cords and things like that. They are on the verge of selling out at five ninety nine. We had five ninety nine. Yeah, I that's know. madness, Mad isn't it? It is. That, and that'd be lo a lovely ring as well. Yeah. It? So you could use your wire, you know, if you didn't want to work with your beading threads. These are really clever. You've got to be quick with these. Let's do the silver. Let's do the silver colour. There are only eight, eight of them left. It's pointless us having eight in our vault. That's just that's just going to cause stress to our warehouse manager. Yeah, it's taking up a, a huge, what we call a, a, a location. There you go. Is that what they say in Wooten Bowen? <laughs> I think they probably do, yeah. 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 So are you allowed stickers on your bins? Uh, yes, I have a sticker on my bin. I have a permit, actually. Ooh! My, what? My bin. Why do you have a permit? It's so that, so that they'll pick it up. Isn't that kind of what council tax is for? It's a green bin. <coughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, look at this. They're gorgeous, <gasps> aren't they? What? Gone. Right, okay, okay. All this talk about... You, why do you have a permit for your bin? For your, for your green bin? Don't you have a permit? No! I don't just have a bin. Well, they just pick up your green bin. Yes, yes, I do because that's what I pay council tax for. For your, for your do you recycling for the and the and the your recycling and then your dirty bin, <laughs> your rubbish rubbish bin. Yes, that all comes under and council then a, tax. And then a green bin is extra. Oh, you mean your your rubbish waste? Anyway, five ninety nine. We'll continue this conversation afterwards. I'm sure it comes under council tax. If you're talking about if you're talking about uh, about garden waste, yes, yes, my, you my, can pay for yeah, that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So that's the permit one. Yes, we're just talking about recycling, Claire. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> With your third of an acre, you probably need a, a, a you know garden waste bin, don't you? Most of I do. Just chuck it in the normal one. <laughs> I do. Um, it's sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. They'd be lovely with a goldstone, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. Um, look at these opals, they are coming up in goodness me. Where's time gone this morning? They are brand new. Oh, gosh. I know, they're gorgeous, aren't they? 
Look at how amazing these are. Um, because Ethiopian opal, because it has that wonderful hydrophane beauty, um, it responds gorgeously to treatment and you don't, you don't lose the ability of witnessing the play of color, quite the opposite, it almost enhances it. These are premiering today. You've got pink, you've got green, you've got orange, you've got natural color, you've got blue, and also you've got black. They are coming today, you won't believe how low they're going. need that pink to go with my bracelets. You do, that, literally that look. Yeah, that's what I need. On your slider. They're coming up, not just yet, about five minutes time as your deal of the die. Uh, deal of the deal of the die. Deal of the die. Um, should we do some more hematite, shall we? Royal blue hematite rounds, like gold dust, literally. The, 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 hematite and rounds full mm. stop are like gold dust because again, they're a fantastic alternative to your precious metals. It'd be nice they? with the silver, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. If you've got the um, the silver kit, that would look lovely. Ridiculous prices, Ross. The only rounds that we actually have on the show in your hematite, yes, they are. We've got, we've got Buddhas, we've got Hamza Hands, we've got Hearts. But this is the only rounds that we have. That's so good, isn't it? <clears throat> Electric blue, 3 .99. Yeah, that's nothing, is it? Absolutely nothing, because it's a lovely colour. They're beautiful, mm. really beautiful. Yeah. They'd be nice, actually, with the, um, with the Ethiopian opal that are coming up as well as yes, the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, I think that royal blue would go with everything, again, with the... Um, Oh, your, your 12 o'clock kits. Yeah. 12 o'clock kits as well. Pauline, Lisa, Susan, new customer, Karen. Hello to you, Dawn. Uh, Nicola, hello to you, Catherine. Hello to you, new customer, Alison, Maker in Devon, Pamela, Eileen and Elaine. Hello to you all. Uh, 3 99 How many did we have, Roscoe? 20. Oh, yeah, that looks lovely. Really beautiful. 12 o'clock oh, today. These are precious metal plated. Heart jump rings coming up in the mm. masterclass today amazing 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 there were only 20 so well done there we go should we do some buddhas double carved buddhas as well so you don't just get the face <coughs> on the one side you get it on both these are the only buddhas that we have currently within our entire vault um, again, immediately you feel the weight to them. Amazing detailing within the actual carving itself. Even if they do sort of roll over, you're still going to get mm. uh, uh, sort of the, the Buddha himself. Um, and lots of us wear these literally as wish bracelets. I know. I know. I remember us first launching these. Gemma Crow was m with me on a show. She w and it would become quite a sentimental and emotional show where we were mm. talking about the meanings of, mm. um, um, well, beliefs attached to Buddha himself. Mm. <clears throat> and she made the whole crew at that time little little wish bracelets with oh, just lovely. one of them onto some yeah. leather cord. Every single one of us still has that piece. Oh, that's nice. And wear it all the time. It's that's just lovely, one, yeah. literally on a knotted cord. Four ninety nine. How many do we have of these though? 30 is what we started with. We've got 19 of them left. And this is the only Buddha strand that we actually have in hematite. The only one. Um, it, makes a, it makes sense, a, a perfect progression actually onto the, the Hamza hand as well. So the Buddha, the Hamza hand and the all-seeing eye, I think, are mm. some of the most relevant uh, images, whether that's for faith, of course, or whether it's because um, of fashion, which I'm not going to tell you what's right and wrong, um, but it's everywhere at the moment, aren't they? All of those symbols. Mm. 4 99 only. Carol, June, Eileen, Elaine, uh, Manchester, Janice, Susan, you're there. Sharon, hello to you. Norma, hello to you, Essex, hello to you, Merseyside, Elaine, Maker, Andrew, Shropshire, Katie, um, hello to you. Christine, congratulations, they are flying out. We only have 30 of them available. Can I also just mention that Margaret, I got your letter just in case you weren't with me this morning. I did speak to you then. I got your letter and I'll be getting in touch with you, my lovely. Um, so thank you for writing and good luck as well. Good luck on your, uh, on your forthcoming charity event. But I will get in touch with you, my darling, because I've also realised that you're only a, a stone throw away from us. So she lives here, local. Oh, that's local. good. That's so we good. can definitely help you out. OK, um, right then. The copper colour. These will be perfect with your gold stone, don't you think? Oh, I haven't seen these. The hams wow. Are the hams are hands. Oh, I like that you've got the two um, textures. Yes. Yeah, literally flip them over. You've got... These are amazing. To ward off evil spirits. Uh, they're flying, so I've got to move it on. Mm. We have also uploaded the, the gold, but there's only a couple. So... Oh, look at the colours on that. Oh, they're lovely. <gasps> oh, 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 sorry. 
squeezing something in. There we go. I love this strand. Natural ruby, natural sapphire. Uh, right, right, brace yourself. The quality of the ruby, oh. the depth of the sapphire, no enhancement whatsoever. It would be fair to say that we should assume ruby and sapphire undergo some kind of diffusing, heat treatment or fissure filling. Not the case. Mm. The glow that you are getting from both the sapphire and the ruby in this opportunity is amazing. If you want to separate them out, you absolutely can. Or if you want to keep it with this very much jubilee mm. inspiration, I mean, what a piece of jewellery you could create yeah. in, in a recognition. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, yeah and, and I can't even pass the buck here. We launched it at that price tag. Oh my gosh. Natural ruby and sapphire. I'm thinking about with pearls for so maybe your jubilee. How yes, beautiful that'd be would that red, be? Yeah, red one. And a piece Lovely. of jewelry that you could you could keep as a you know as yeah. a, a as a memory for the platinum jubilee. Let's not forget this is one of we're about to venture in one of the most historic. Mm. It's a really historic occasion, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, seventy yeah. years. So make a, a wonderful piece of jewelry like we saw on the Wall of Fame um, to, to to celebrate that. Twelve pounds ninety nine. How many do we have left of these, Ross? Ten. Oh. Oh my goodness. There was 23. Uh, yeah, you, again, if you've got them in your baskets, we've got single figure quantities. Pauline, Cheshire, Beverly, Barbara, London, uh, Multibore, Alison, Kathleen, uh, Essex, Karen, uh, Devon, Samantha, Catherine, Jane. Hello to you. Uh, Cere is that Cerelia? What a pretty name that is. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sharon, you've just got yours as well, and Cheshire. Um, we've only got we've only got a couple of them available. So good luck to you oh, all. Lovely. Beautiful ruby and sapphire. Stay where you are on those phone lines. No, you haven't got too long to wait because your deal of the day um, hour is upon us. Now, this collection again. It must have been about I don't know eight nine years ago when I first saw um, Ethiopian opal with these beautiful colours, and it was on our. I didn't. I wasn't on jewellery maker at that time. I was literally on our USA channel, and never before have I seen such a deluge of interest. And I can understand it because they are literally sunshine and a gemstone but then you get that aurora borealis play mm. of color performance as well um so that's coming up after the break but don't forget historic occasion for us all here at jewelry maker um your majesty the master carving is launching at 11 o'clock today only 200 were ever 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 commissioned claire and i will turn after this <laughs> I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension.
I can't wait for every single one of our collectors to join us for what is going to be one of the feature showcases of the year. Um, you've seen us bring those incredible naturally lavender pearls and the papaya colours, but in this showcase what we aim to bring our collectors is this kind of rich, beautiful ombre shades of the natural colours in single pearls. Uh, a little bit less saturation than the purple flash, but what you get is the marbling of the colours on each of the incredible pearls that we're going to be bringing you in the showcase. We've got some huge Baroque strands and single pearl opportunities. This is going to be one of the biggest shows of 2022. and my brand is Melrose Makes. I specialise in polymer clay jewellery which is inspired by nature. So I've been doing my business for about two years, started in July 2020 um, and have really refined that process and working with polymer clay which I love because it's really versatile, anyone can pick it up. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, whatever stage you're at with your jewellery, um, you can give it a go. So. Jewellery makers, I am really hoping you will join me for my first show on Monday the 30th where we will be exploring something brand new with polymer clay. See you then! show you these makes by lovely Anne and Suze. And I, I, I don't think they'd mind me saying, but super simple. Look how gorgeous they are. Literally so, so gorgeous. And you wouldn't want to overcomplicate these, No, because it's about you? the colour, isn't it? On yeah. These, the colour and the lovely gems. Now, it's, it's lovely. And I, I know I've said this repeatedly, but I remember the launch of coloured Ethiopian opal across Gemporia and it created quite the frenzy because, you know, we've we, we, all right, we've brought you black opal on occasions. And I always say if you let a firework off uh, by day, then you're not going to see as much beauty as if you were to let a firework off by night. The colour, the depth of colour within an Ethiopian opal enhances our ability to appreciate um, play of colour, which is one of the most beautiful, beautiful phenomena that occurs naturally within a gemstone. Um, but uh, and it just in my in my preparation for uh, today's show, it just got me reading obviously more about Ethiopian opal, not specifically about the colours as such, uh, but about the location itself. Because I'm quite often asked the question, what's the difference between Ethiopian opal, apart from the obvious, obviously the location. Um, you know, why is Ethiopian opal maybe slightly more affordable than that of Australian opal? So let's just dive into that for a second. So the birth of Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal, we, what we need to appreciate literally began in 1994. Mm. So um, comparatively speaking, that is not that long ago um, in the gemstone world. In 1994, Ethiopian opals were first stumbled upon. This eventually became quite a large discovery, especially when talking about the history of gems. And Ethio Ethiopian opals soon enter, entered the market. Up until this point, Australian opals dominated the market worldwide. This stunning revelation changed everything. And that it literally was almost overnight and yet still to this day they are more affordable than Australian opals we're going to get into that however 1994 wasn't the only breakthrough for Ethiopian opal game uh, subsequent discoveries occurred in 2008 and in 2013 in the country these later findings helped Ethiopia even more and now these opals can be found in different varieties such as precious opal black opal and also fire opal um, <clears throat> So what are the aesthetic differences, firstly? Well, there are several notable differences between these two origins. Ethiopian opal comes in a variety of colours and shapes, whereas Australian opal, yes, it does, but not so much. Ethiopian opals are generally larger, yet less expensive than Australian opals. And this might surprise a few of you. Ethiopian opals are considered rarer. 
because many of those main seams are actually deplete. So that first discovery in 1994 is now deplete. So they're actually rarer than Australian opals. Which would you'd think then it would be more... Why, yes. why are they not more yeah. expensive? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Well, let's, let's read on yeah. and find out. Yeah. Um, because at the moment, Ethiopian opals range from $10 to $250 per carat. However, this doesn't mean that they'll stay at the same price forever. In the world of gemstones, anything can happen. About 30 years ago, Australian opals were the only thing that you could buy. Now, that's not the case. Ethiopian opals have gained quite a lot of visibility in the gemstone industry since they were first discovered in 1994. Because of this attention, many gem experts believe that the future is nothing but bright. Now, I, I, my, passing my own experience on to you, when I was over in Tucson, I saw hardly any Australian opals. Hardly any. I saw a lot of Ethiopian opals, um, top quality. But if you remember that video that I showed you of the opal strand, they were expensive. Mm. Very, very, very expensive. Certainly not the prices that you were seeing um, above. And this article was actually written a couple of years ago. But again, the future is looking nothing but bright for Ethiopian opal. We're going to read, uh, I'm going to show you a few things. Is it any wonder that it's going to be bright when you see otherworldly beauty within this gemstone it's Magical, rough it? without single polishing not a sphere in sight that's an ethiopian opal oh. um, in its natural form it is known as well documented as having one of the most amazing uh, um, patterns uh, within the opal world so you can get harlequin one of the most sought after you can get uh, patchwork you can get pinfire oh. all of which within this gemstone um, check this out yeah it's literally like looking at another planet isn't it <clears throat> it's incredible. Uh, can I just show you something else? That, yeah. Gosh, look at that. <gasps> now, I'm not saying, I don't know if that piece of rough is natural. I don't know, probably. Um, it would be worth a lot if it is. But we can, with technology, uh, technological de developments and advancements, we can replicate that beauty. What's lovely in the blue? These aren't man-made. It's a simple process that deepens the colour. And in, uh, uh, the play of colour we can't change. That's got, it's either mm. there or it's not. In this case, it's there. Yeah. But the colour, the body colour of your Ethiopian opals is enhanced so we can, you know, it really aids our ability to see that. Now, every single colour of your deal of the day is on pre-order. The future is bright for Ethiopian opals. It is rarer than Australian opals. And yes, currently it's more affordable. However, that could change because many people will uh, do say that they prefer Ethiopian opal, not just because of the price point, because they are visually stunning. You see more play of colour, not just that on the red's surface. red's amazing against yeah. the blue, isn't well, it? Well, that's it's another like a... thing. You get more red within a play, uh, within, uh, within Ethiopian it's opal. It's insane. I can't, you know, it's, look at that. The, the red flashing there, that's wonderful. This is, a, this is quite an old article, but I'll quickly read it to you now. It's the new opal heavyweight. Australia has been the dominant force in the opal market for over 100 years. During that time, as much as 95% uh, of the worldwide opal production has been mined in Australia. Today, Ethiopia is on its way to becoming the second heavyweight, heavyweight in the opal market. Well, listen, again, from my experience, um, there was more Ethiopian opal within the market than there was Australian opal. And for me, uh, you recognize it immediately. They are more mesmeric. Now, these are limited opportunities. We, every time, uh, historically, every time we've actually brought you Ethiopian opal in these colors, they fly out the door, literally fly out the door. Because whatever color it is, be it orange, be it green, be it pink, be it blue, uh, be it black, be it natural, you have the ability to see those almost like um, colorful snow globes of natural treasure. Now I'm going to start with this midnight blue. You've just seen a, a, a piece of rough, that midnight blue color and how it literally looks like you're, you look, you're under in a magical underwater kingdom. All those flashes of red, all those beautiful blazes of greens and yellows literally migrating across the surface of these gemstones. Eight carats, the graphics are live, go, 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 go. I'm just gonna make, give you a heads up. There are what, how many? 75, 75. Um, have you got any mind? 
Have you got, have you, have you got any, uh, any idea, Claire, sorry, um, what these are going to? No, not, not a clue. Not a clue. I don't think anybody is going to imagine that it's going to be as low as what we are taking it to. We are already under 50 pounds. Three millimetres through two six millimetres and it comes... Look at those. Deep midnight blue. You said earlier on they'd be really lovely just on your slider bracelets, wouldn't they? Mm. What a wonderful difference to somebody that is an October baby. Yeah. To acquire something that is... Yeah, otherworldly. Twenty nine ninety nine. I only have to trace my steps, Claire, what, three, four years ago? And a strand like this would have been hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, definitely. We're not even stopping there. Definitely. We have multi-buyers getting involved. Are you going to mix these colours together? Because I'm going to put this one out there. I think some of you are going to be absolutely treating yourself to the kaleidoscope of colours um, that were being brought to you. Yeah, developments of your wonderful gemstone treatments mean that we can bring you this same gorgeous natural gemstone um, enhanced uh, with that injection of midnight blue colour. See how it absolutely elevates our ability to appreciate that magical aurora borealis display within the gem. Coming from those tiny silica spheres we can enhance the body color what we can't enhance is the play of color there's no way of us alter, uh, uh, altering that um <clears throat> that's all the quality that you're getting from mother nature but that beautiful midnight blue um oh yeah i mean it's so so sought after and it really does elevate the flashes of greens the reds now you can shop ahead there are less than 50 of your midnight blue this is one two three four five six one of six so lovely. When we say deal of the day, though, Claire, incredibly, that's not it. I know. For Ethiopian opal. Rounds. Rounds, yeah, you're right, rounds. So four years ago, five years ago, I don't know, when Immediate had us, mm. would we have been able to... Get me any no, Ethiopian no. opal for under. I mean, that is like that's like a, it's looking at a galaxy, isn't it? It's like a. Is that it's that, that is, image that we just yeah, showed earlier yeah. on? Yeah, and in each one as well, each one of them. Look at that! It literally looks like it's some magical underground kingdom, doesn't it? We are going to take this. I've said it under twenty pounds. It's just down to who's going to be successful because 75 is not enough. That's the only downside to this opportunity. They're beautiful. They're incredibly affordable for what we're actually getting. But sadly, we could only purchase 75 of them. Uh, Lisa, Cardiff, Kath, Nicolette, hello to you, Patricia, Karen, Lynn, Wendy, Vanya, uh, Pat, Wiltshire, Penny, Pauline, Claire, Bridget, London, that's 1999. So good. Goodness me, that's amazing, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. For something as beautiful as that, and all the colours that you've got in there as well, and that it's a birthstone. Look at those. Look at how amazing they are. A party of opal. Yes. I want to join that party. Yeah. Looks amazing, doesn't it? It's hard to choose a favourite, whether it's the green, the pink, the orange, the natural, the midnight blue, the black. Let's not leave the black out. Look, here we go. All of those are coming your way. You can shop ahead on each of them, but again, um, very limited quantity. Margot Tracy, Lincolnshire, hello to you, Merseyside, Claire, London, Cardiff's just up the quantity, Christina in Channel Isles. Um, hello to you, Pauline in Berkshire, Penny in Bucks, uh, Joy in Cornwall, new customers, Linda in Nottinghamshire. Um, it's joyous. And we remember as well, always remember with Opal, that we are actually looking at it at its, at its worst right now. Mm. You know? Yeah, so when you get it, yeah. When you, when get, you it, yeah. get this home, you've got yeah. to remember, Dave said it the other day, we've got floodlights 
Uh, listen, there's no little pretty twinkling spotlights like in most of your, your, your luxury high-end jewellers. Look above us. Literally floodlights. Now, that benefits Claire and I. It does. does. It? Well, apparently. apparently. Does it really? Apparently. I remember once a producer said to me, um, it's, 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 it's an, and this is word for word, an attempt to make Elle look better, but it doesn't have <laughs> the gemstones. I was like, oh. Have a guess. No, it wasn't Liam. Yes, guessed it all in one. Guessed it one. Um, I was like, wow, okay, wow. brutal, <laughs> but brutal. But um, it doesn't benefit your opals at all because it's too no. uh, sort of well highly saturated in this in this room. Yeah. Um, opal, of course, likes natural lighting. You know, a single source like the sun or um, a single light in your in your lounge or kitchen, whichever it might be. Nineteen ninety nine. So this beauty, this magic, is going to look even more incredible when you actually get it home. Michelle, Margaret, Ben, hello to you. Bridget, you've got yours as well. East Riding of Yorkshire. We only had seventy five of these, and again, if you want to shop ahead, you can. Um, we cannot go a single penny lower. It is Ethiopian opal. And again, that That's article so, that yeah. we showed you was, was written prior to me going to Tucson. Um, and, and my passing on my personal experience of Ethiopian opal over in Tucson, the gemstone city of the, uh, of the world, um, it was still expensive. Mm. It was very, very, very expensive. It's okay. a wonderful gemstone. It's it? I prefer it's Ethiopian opal. Fasc yeah, fascinating. Now remember, all the others are on pre-order, the black the green, the pink, the tangerine. I love this one. You, you know the deal now, don't you? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And that's really lovely, isn't it, to see something new, new and different? It's been about eight yeah. years since I have. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've brought you uh, your coloured Ethiopian opal. That's wonderful. It's, it's like imagining the best chrysoprase. Mmm but yeah. with play of colour. Yeah. I love this strand. This would just literally be with gold-plated sterling silver know. spaces on yeah. a slider bracelet. Yeah. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look up here. So do we substitute the ability to see play of colour? Definitely not. Oh, it's wonderful. And it travels. Tiny microscopic spheres within this gemstone. Here we go. What is inside an opal? Well, it's, not, it's a gemstone that doesn't actually have what we call a crystal structure. Um, it is made up of silica water, basically, that over millions of years has uh, filtered down between cracks and crevices of the rock. Here we go. So opal is made up of tightly packed silica spheres. Each sphere is only 0.0. .0 Nought, 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 one inches wide. Microscopic. But do you see how they, that looks like some kind of game, doesn't it? Where they are so, so, so tightly compact that they are literally almost uh, so like bricks. Literally perfectly, perfectly aligned. That's when you see play of colour. When they are not perfectly arranged, you get nothing. You get opal, but so you don't get just, that performance. That's mad, isn't it? Amazing. Wow. And they take millions of years, millions of years to form. That you know we are not stopping at 49.99. You've just purchased something that's millions of years old for twenty pounds, and you—I mean, you could, couldn't you? you I mean, uh, the designs are lovely. There, when the, when you've got these vibrant colours, you could have very, very delicate, just one of them. Yeah, one of them on, on a chain, and it, that, that you know that'd be. It looks lovely with the orange, doesn't it? I love. Oh, sorry. Bright colours. Hang on. Bright, bright colours. Look how gorgeous that is. Yeah. So really simple, but so wearable. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, all of us are going, yeah, we like that. Love that. Yeah, and in the sunlight and with movement, you're going to see, you know, so you've Even got... Even more. The, yeah, you're going to see all the other colours as well. That's really lovely. Love it. 
absolutely beautiful. The green, that, that it is chrysoprase green, isn't it? But with even more magic because, of course, that perfect mm. alignment of your silica spheres. Mm. Um, orderly pack uh, packaging um, of the silica spheres uh, in that picture that we just showed you um, turns into um, very much a precious opal and that's what we're looking at right now when the shows uh, the silicas show disorder there we go Ooh, disorder uh, and uh, not align silica spheres it basically turns into uh, a potch what they call a potch opal potch opal, potch opal so no play of color at all yeah um, you have the first you have the, the first opportunity beautifully aligned that's why you have those blaze uh, blazes of of uh, of red and yellow and orange all within this amazing gemstone um let's do the pink and i think the pink is going to be incredibly popular this is so beautiful I'm just going to bring it over if I can. Look at that. I love this one. Me too. Oh, I love it. <gasps> amazing, amazing translucency. Again, that's one of the, the, the characteristics that I really enjoy about Ethiopian opal. It's because I'm not saying, oh, I don't mean to be gosh. disrespectful. <gasps> oh. oh, I want to watch that all day. Oh, look. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is gorgeous. <gasps> Ethiopian opal. It's not just about play of colour on the surface, is it? No, you that's, get it. That's, that's, that you is, get it yeah. right the way yes, through. through into the heart of it, isn't it? That is wonderful. How quickly do we think this is going to sell out? Oh gosh, very, very, very quickly. We're going to do it in one price crash because, for that reason, so many of you Beautiful. there. Beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. It is like you can see that that perfect water. Beautiful it's translucency. Like a bubble, isn't it? Just not a beautiful magical bubble. Pink bubbles. Yep. With a bit of aurora borealis trapped inside. Yes. Magic. Something like this. Fairies. Something a little bit like that. Yep. Or something a little bit like oh, that. Oh yes, it's oh. that section, isn't it? It is. <laughs> what about a little bit of this? Yes. It's all of the above, isn't it? Oh um, my goodness. Oh, oh yes. It is magical, absolutely oh, magical. Gosh, that's a wonderful one, isn't it? <gasps> Amazing. Oh, and look. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Uh, love the pink, Al. Is the drill big enough for a stretchy bracelet? Let me just show you. I'm going to say you'll probably need your point three. What would you say, Claire? Yeah, I would imagine so. You'll probably need your point three elastic. Yes, they're very fine. But it's not, it's... I think, yeah, your point three or your point five might go through there. Yeah, look, if you look, actually, looking, when it, you held it then, you could see there's quite a bit of light coming through. Can you see there? Yeah. So if you're thinking, let's have a look. Should I just have a look at this one? Sorry. <laughs> she was itching to do that, you know. <laughs> Who asked that question? I can't resist. Who was asking that? Who? Sorry. Oh my gosh. Hello, Joanna. Do you know what, Joanna? You've. It, it's, it, Claire was itching. I was like this the whole time. <laughs> oh, pass it over there. I'll do it for Joanna. Try. Only you don't for need Joanna. To try it on, though. Yeah, I would go with. <laughs> I'd go with the yeah the your finer. I think some of them you could probably get definitely a point five. Give yes, it a whirl, if lovely. not your point three, which you're a longer elastic, I think it's yes. called. Yeah. Um, that we have brought to you. Which one now? <gasps> I love the orange. I absolutely love the orange. It's hard to choose a favourite, but this one is definitely talking to me. Um, it is that really beautiful, well, it's tangerine orange, isn't it? What are you doing, Claire? What are you doing? I'm trying to um, sit on myself. I absolutely love it. You're a, you're a. Bag. I love pink, but also so I've got I've got my opal on because so it's um my opal is a uh, are there hair bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take the hair bubbles off and show it with your watch and your bracelet. So take it off. Yeah. Um. So I've got my opal on at the moment because it's so it's it's my daughter's um both of my daughter's birthdays, but I'm mi really missing Ellen at the moment. So I wanted to make something that was just a. You know, because I think sometimes like that, when you make pieces of jewellery, it makes you feel a little bit closer, doesn't it, to, to people? There's like an emotional... <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. There you go. Oh, that's Look, perfect. Show everybody, show everybody. Thank now, you very that much. That doesn't mean you can keep it, Claire. 
I mean, it's not mine to give. Oh, oh, I love it. It is beautiful, <gasps> isn't it? Oh, that is gorgeous. It goes so well with your beautiful oh, slider bracelet yes. as well. Um, <gasps> right now for the orange, I'm loving the orange. I think it's absolutely joyful. That lovely, rich tangerine-like colour. Um, at these kind of prices, I think there's a few people that are going to be sort of doubling up on this quantity. Definitely. I mean, can you imagine doing um, like a, 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 a rainbow? You could, you know, if you could take out one. Yeah. Let's go back oh, to the nice. Aurora Borealis. Do we see yes. orange in the Aurora Borealis? <gasps> oh, yes, we do. Most wow. definitely. Yes, definitely wow. we do. Um, it's almost actually on the horizon too, isn't it? You get the sunset and the Aurora Borealis within, uh, within that image. And it's literally like, like we've gone, yeah, okay, yeah, mm. let's do that. Mm. Let's literally capture that. In a genuine gemstone, and it is credit to both of those, isn't it? Because that green, that green opal was so vibrant. Yeah. But next, with the orange next to it, you know, it's really it holds its own, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. The, you know that, you know, they're really, really vibrant colours. Oh, I love it. And I love it. Doesn't get lost at all, does it? Not at all. No, not at all. I'd be. I. Oh, I you know wow. what? Look at this. Imagine all of those on the back on your wrist. Imagine having all of those and. Listen, it's what, 80 pounds for all of those? Oh, I think. Is that right, Ross? I, I've just, is it 80 pounds for all of those? Sorry, not that one, I've picked up the wrong one. This one, 80 pounds right there. That's lovely. Oh my gosh, the orange and the blue look really nice, don't they? Yeah, uh, beautiful, oh. absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's do the black opal now, shall we? Whilst there is no grading system, I want to read this to you, this is from my notes. So whilst there is no grading system for Ethiopia's uh, Ethiopian black opal, largely due to its newness um, in the market, things to consider are the blackness <gasps> and the brightness of colours and oh the patterning. Oh my gosh. The translucent internal fire of these opals have a property that makes the fire almost three-dimensional. This three-dimensional colour aspect is rare in most opals from any location. Australian black opals often have hid hidden colour spectrums deep within. Due to Ethiopian opals' translucency, colour flashes and patterns are strikingly bright and visible to the naked eye. With new innovative treatments that have been developed to enhance an opal's black appearance, um, Ethiopian opal has an astonishing hydrophane appearance and it responds beautifully to these processes. Because of that translucency, we basically can, oh yeah, encourage our ability to appreciate, remember what I said earlier on, that firework being let off mm. at night time as opposed the to the day. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you can see there, so if you, um, if you turn it the other... That's it that way. If you have a look, so that's the same techniques as you know we did in the on the demo. Yeah. So just separating out them and working, going around your loop. So that's your hoop earring, and they work so well for that. And just just introducing like a little bit of light as well either uh, side. It just it works really really nicely. Get to see those colours. Black opal. The popularity of uh, of Ethiopian opal went through the roof on the back of the Adam Sandler film as well. Uncut gems, but but can I just point out if you're looking for a nice chilled out movie, that's not the one to watch. It really stressed me out. It stressed me out with just how anxious it is the whole way oh, through. Really? Oh, oh, no. It's, uh, oh no! It's the whole th it literally. Ooh, it's like anxious tense, the whole time. Yeah, is it? tense. Oh gosh. No, not like a thriller tense. Not at all like a thriller tense. It's just stressful. Oh, he stresses me out. Okay. Yeah. Oh okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole way, you're like, for goodness sake, man, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Anyway, but the price per carat of Ethiopian opal, be that natural, be that, uh, be that treated, went through the roof. Because you think about it, Amalite with Kate Winslet, that film, the price of Amalite went up. Amber with Jurassic Park, there's a new Jurassic Park film coming out soon, the price of Am uh, so Amber went up. Um, the same applied with your black opal. Now, we have, again, a limited quantity of these available, slightly more than the colours that we have 
had earlier on. And with every single one of those images that we showed you a few moments ago, of course, you have that beautiful depth, um, depth of black, the blackness of the sky. Yeah. That's why you see the aurora borealis, because of that, that midnight uh, dark sky behind. Any of the makes that we have shown by Anne and Sue, and the one that Claire has commandeered. <laughs> Should be at twenty nine ninety nine. Mm. Should be. But it does look lovely on you. I love it. Yeah, nine carrots. Look at those colours. A beautiful graduation we are going to match the price purely because we have a slightly larger quantity of these black opal um, it's going to complement the pink in fact let's do that let's do that Claire why haven't I thought of this mm. sooner oh yes that looks lovely what about yes. black and pink together yeah, yeah. what yeah. about with they'd all work wouldn't they black yeah. and orange black and green all of those three, uh, all of those strands together. Can you imagine that? that again, that's, we are going to take it lower. We are going to match that price tag. So that means you could get all four strands for £80 today. That's a lot of opal for that £80. Is, pounds. isn't it? Opal rounds as well. That's, within you know, within that article and the blue, let's not forget the blue, all of that for under £100 today. Okay. Um, can we just go back to the article where I was reading uh, about, you know, black opal, uh, sorry, Ethiopian opal, um, because it's often the question, should I go Australian, should I go Ethiopian? Personally, uh, personally, it's down to personal preference. Um, yes, it's more affordable. Yes, it is far, far, far more affordable. Uh, far more affordable, but that could change because many of the deposits uh, that were only discovered in 1994, you've got to remember that the Ethiopian opal is, is competing with a location that has been the dominant force for literally centuries. Uh, 1994 was the birth of Ethiopian opal, uh, where we, they were first stumbled upon. This eventually became quite a large discover, a discovery, especially when talking about the history of gems. And Ethiopian opal soon entered the market. Up until this point, Australian opals dominated the market worldwide. This stunning revelation changed everything. However, 1994 wasn't the only breakthrough for, Eth for Ethiopia's opal game. Subsequent discoveries occurred in 2008 and 2013 in this country. Uh, these later findings helped e Ethiopia even more. And now these opals can be found in a different variety, such as precious opal, black opal and fire opal. But the days of, in the next article, sorry, the one after that, at the moment, Ethiopian opals range from $10 to $250 per carat. So first off, when you, when you sort of scan read that, you go, ah, oh, $10? No, that's per carat. So mm. straight away, and that's the lowest price yeah. point. Yeah. Straight away, you're talking about, what, $90 for this strand. Yeah. Not too bad. But this was actually before. Mm. This, was, this was written a few years ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to remember, it is dwindling. It is dwindling. Many people actually will favour Ethiopian opal at the moment because it has that hydrophane beauty that we were discussing a few moments ago. Twenty pounds and get the entire showcase for under a hundred pounds today. It is madness. It is absolute madness. Uh, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Beatrice, Flincher, Pat, Nicolette, Caroline. Hello to you, uh, Sashvinda. Hello to you, Wendy, Cardiff, Patricia, Pauline, Anne. Hello to you, London, Lynette, Diana, Claire. Hello to you, Samantha, Lisa. New customers getting involved as well. Lovely to be with you. All about that beautiful, beautiful mesmeric black Ethiopian opal. I have one more strand to bring you, but again, limited. Opal is limited. So, so we have, uh, it was discovered in 1994. That main seam is now mined out. Uh, then in 2008, we found just to the west of that location some beautiful hydrophone uh, um, opal, and then again in 2013. But they are coming out the ground in tiny amounts. Now, in 20 minutes time 20 minutes i don't think it would be an exaggeration to say that historically there has never ever not just here at jewelry maker across the entire partnership been an opportunity like this such a historical moment 
and one that I don't think we could, we could beat in terms of the achievement of what you can get hold of. You can buy your commemorative crockery, you can buy your, 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 your coins. They're literally made by the hundreds of thousands. 200 of these were ever commissioned. Have a little look. It's your master cameo carving being brought to you in 20 minutes time. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. Every it? single piece is hand carved, all coming with the certificate of authenticity. Literally 200 of these exist. Now, we don't have that 200 quantity, um, and we'll explain why. In fact, we'll let Jake explain why we don't have the full 200 quantity. Um, let's just say you will own something that the lady herself also will own. Coming up coming up in 20 minutes time but not oh look at that mm, that is yeah unbelievable and, and and i don't want to sound disrespectful to the royal mint or uh, you know to the likes of wedgwood and all of those companies that do your commemorative pieces um, to royal weddings and jubilees and uh, 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 and birthdays and all of those things. Oh my goodness me! Sorry. Um, yeah, I don't. But there's literally thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of those coins and and crockery and things like that mm. actually created. Two hundred of these exist. That's it. So when we say like pieces that we will see uh, on future antiques roadshow, mm. yeah, and it's a limited edition like that. I don't think that could be any more apparent. 11 o'clock today. Do not go anywhere. Please, please, please don't. Um, I mean, look, literally, just thrown on the board before me. Not, not thrown, but... But... I'm not trying, am I? I'm not no. trying to show you play of colour. And yet... It delivers... <sighs> Even in these coarse, ugly lights that we have here in the studio. They are, though, aren't they? They don't benefit gemstones. They're bleaching out, or they would do normally. They'd bleach out the play of colour from this gemstone ordinarily, but not the case. What a strand, Claire. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a fabulous stone, isn't it? It's a fabulous gemstone. This is natural Ethiopian opal. Without any addition of colours, without any treatment, no smoking, no sugaring. There's, again, lots of developments in how we, uh, we treat gemstones. Um, the same applies with lots of gems. Diamonds, rubies, sapphires, tanzanites. Um, that this didn't need any of them. The quality of this opal is just amazing. Wow. And Claire, you've just passed me. These are uh, you know, slightly smaller mm. and they're actually more of a rondelle shape, but so much potential with you yeah. know with Ethiopian opal because it is one of those really visual gemstones look at that you've got flashes of blues going through wonderful warm reds um, but it is a gemstone of movement so really nice to incorporate it into something like a bubble star yeah design. bubble star is perfect isn't it but yeah. can we show your bracelet as well because yeah that's taking probably a proportion I know they're smaller but yes it's a proportion isn't it yeah so you can see you can see there Oh. Uh, and yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's like I was saying earlier, so it's, it's, it's an, an emotional thing for me as well. And I just, and, and the fact that it's, it's something so beautiful, all those colours. 
Love it. All totally natural. Absolutely love it. Totally. And it's really simple, you know, whether you're going to go bubble style or brace, it's really, really simple technique. Now, I wonder, how does Elle show you the quality of these stones through a TV monitor? Well, this recording is the exact same strand that I have in my hands right now. The exact same strand, just under one single light source, as mm. opposed to the hundreds that we've got mm -hmm. here in the studio. But if I roll it towards you, You start seeing that magic, don't you? That's amazing, isn't it? This, oh, look at that bit there. This has been on your screens before. However, it has been under lock and key since February. We are not going to mess around. And we're going to show you in February, this is where the opportunity launched and closed. It was a deal of the day. We remember it vividly because of the quality of the opals. Ah, do you know what, Ross, I do remember, because it was one of the Ethiopian opals from when I came back from Tucson, wasn't it? Wow. It was a Tucson strand. £29.99. pence. I wasn't expecting that at all. We've got 10 carats of genuine Ethiopian opal. Okay, I mean, even if we go back to that article that I showed you a few moments ago. At the moment, Ethiopian opals range from $10 to $250 per carat. This is actually years ago this article mm, was written. Mm. Um, however, uh, this doesn't mean that they'll stay at that price forever. In the world of gemstones, anything can happen. About 30 years ago, Australian opals were the only thing anybody could buy. Now that's not the case. Ethiopian opals have gained quite a lot of visibility in the gemstone industry since they were discovered in 1994. Because of this attention, many gem experts believe that the future is nothing but bright. When you look at something as mesmerically beautiful mm. and naturally beautiful as what is on your screens... We said $10, from $10 per carat. Never been lower than the price that's on your screens. However, I've, I, I, yeah, I, could, I sense that Ross is going to change that. Shall we what? Purely because we've brought you an hour of Ethiopian opal. If there's enough of you, if we can see there's a 100 that these could potentially be an on-screen sellout. And I think you need your natural Ethiopian opals to go alongside yes, all those I think lovely it would get, colours. It, it looks would gorgeous go, with your pink. It would go very, very nicely, wouldn't it? With all of them, all of them. Oh, yeah. Simply adding to a slider bracelet. Yeah, two together. In 25 seconds, we are going to match that price tag. People straight away saying, well, I might as well get a couple there now. I might as well look at that. The, the, the fact that it can perform at, like this within the studios, sometimes with Ethiop Ethiopian Opal, I might do this. I might double it over. Oh, gosh, look. And then I might oh, shelter it ever so slightly just to take away a little oh, bit gosh. of a, the glare of our studio lighting. But to be honest, I don't need to That's... do this, do I? You can still see the flashes of red, yeah. the greens, the yellows, the oranges, the blues. We're matching that price point. Well done, everybody. Wendy, Sashvinda, oh, Janice, so Diana, good. Julia, Penny, Lynette. Brand new low price tag. We literally just swooped on in there, snapped a third off that price, um, purely because, well, we can. It's, it's Friday. That's brilliant. That's so good, isn't it? So wait, wait, wait. <gasps> that tea bar, that selection, you can, so black opal, natural opal, blue. Midnight blue, wasn't it? Yeah. Orange, Incredible green orange. and pink, yeah. six strands we can get for £120. That wasn't even the price of one strand about five years ago. This strand wouldn't have been that price. No, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. Because, because we couldn't buy the quantities that we do right now. We've obviously got uh, an amazing, you know, it's a large partnership, obviously, across the jewelry make, uh, uh, Gemporia partnership. So we've got that much more leeway. Um, 
£20 is ridiculous, though. Absolutely ridiculous. We had 100 of these available. Jeanette, Karen, Fiona, Margaret, Carolyn, Lillian. Hello to you, Jackie, Gabrielle, Diana. Uh, hello to you, Vanya, Veronica, John. You've got yours. Fiona, new customer, Lisa. Hello to you, Cardiff, Morag, Jane, Karen, Sue, Samantha, new customer. Uh, um, if I'm not saying your name, by the way, you do need to give me uh, uh, permission to speak to our call centre about that. Um, and if it's sat in your basket, it will be allocated on a first-come, first-served basis. We can't see any fairer than that. What I mean by that is, if you've got it in your basket, we aren't, we aren't ASOS. We're not going to go, oh, did you forget something? Um, did you forget something? They will have probably sold out at that point, by the way. So check them out. You still only pay that one postage and packaging. This should have had an extra digit in front of it. Yes, definitely. It's Ethiopian yeah. opal. Yeah. And amazing quality, isn't it? And, whilst and we can't... rounds again, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you good know, point. You know, beautiful, beautiful rounds. Perfect bubbles. And whilst we're saying, yes, Ethiopian opal is currently more affordable than Australian opal, that's, they are rarer. Can we just show that slide where it talks about the three points that we need to consider? Mm -hmm. um, there are several notable differences between these origins. However, I literally pinpointed the three most important. Ethiopian opals come in a variety of colour and shapes. Amazing. You get more, you get more of a selection. Mm. Um, Ethiopian opals are generally larger, yet less expensive than Australian opals. Ethiopian opals are considered rarer than Australian. Most people think Australian opals are rarer. No, because the main seam that, uh, that was first discovered in 1994 is no longer being mined. The ones where they literally used to abseil in groups uh, down a vertical terrain. Um, they have to go to uh, a location just to the west where that's where you see this beautiful hydrophane quality. They are literally like magical snow globes mm. um, in, in, in a gemstone that formed millions of years ago. Remember, the more perfectly aligned those silica spheres actually are, the more display of play, play of colour that you actually see within these. These are magically aligned. It's like they're moving inside, yeah. isn't it? So there's a real energy to them. That's it what, is. That's what I love about opal. You know, it's, it's, you know energizing is beautiful. And, and it will go with lots of things as well. Or, and, you know, thinking about whether you're going to put it with your silver, mm. your gold, your rose gold, because you've got all of those colors in, that, in the gemstone. It's going to work really beautifully with all of them. Unbelievable. Well done, everyone. Congratulations, congratulations to you. So oh, lovely. So gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. Now, the countdown is on. Your Majesty, the Master Carving, two, 200 were ever, ever created. This is probably the most memorable opportunity that I will look back in years to come and say, gosh, I was part of that. Um, in recognition of the Platinum Jubilee, we have Jake joining in the studio for this unbelievable opportunity. Once in a lifetime, without doubt. 200 of those exist. We don't have 200, but I'll let Jake explain why. It's happening at 11 o'clock today. Uh, uh, just utterly incredible. Um, okay, but between now and then... I do have some more rounds green firing wellow opal so i said earlier on you've got if you can imagine you've got the main seam which literally is almost like a uh, it's almost like a canyon um where uh, where miners used to literally abseil uh, off very dangerous of course they used to mine in groups um to actually source this gemstone now that was in 1994 and obviously at the years thereafter it is now but deplete thank goodness uh, just west of that main location they found a, a few small pockets um, of opal and they know that we know this now as wellow opal it is blessed with what we call hydrophane performance which is if you can imagine like a, a, um, a snow globe where it literally has that liquid solution inside now replace the snowflakes for something that maybe is beautiful and colorful and you might come up with something like this um, this is your green green firing wellow opal so there's an, a, an abundance of the green color um wow, what color I've is visible it's amazing Gosh, isn't it, it? Is, isn't it 
The, the, what colour is visible equates to the distance that the light actually has to travel. So I, th I believe red's the rarest because it actually travels the furthest distance. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, that right. Uh, but to actually have such a dominance of green colour mm. within one opal is amazing. But look at that. You almost get, also get the midnight blues running through. We don't have many of these available. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, anything over 80% play of colour with, uh, within a single opal is, is regarded as acceptable. Well, they are, aren't they? They're yeah, absolutely every exceptional. single one. Look at them. <gasps> Just choose one. Play of colour. Does it have a, a over eighty mm. percent? I, I, I don't. There's, I don't see any that I have that have. Okay, maybe that one. A bit less there. But every single else, every other one has an amazing play of colour. But don't. Again, there's different patterning varieties, mm. aren't there? Also, when you twist them, says Adam, it, it might not look like it's got play of colour. It might just be looking at, we're looking at it at the wrong angle. Yeah, that's true. It's a really good point. Oh, wow. £24 and 99 pence for that fiery green dragon flames within these beautiful natural treasures stay where you are stay where you are on those phone lines bringing you an amazing ethiopian opal showcase um this one is a little bit more limited it is a complete finished piece of jewelry which i love listen as jewelry makers i know you have the ability to actually um to create this yourself i know that but is it worthwhile? Because quite often um, it might be the case where we can bring you that complete piece of jewellery without you buying the sterling silver slider bracelet, without you buying the Ethiopian opal strand. Um, if you want to, if you want to cut it up, if you want to separate it, then you can absolutely do that. If you want to literally save yourself the hassle, then here is that luxury piece of jewellery. So slider bracelets in nine two five sterling silver. It's what you've made. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what you chose to make yeah. with your Ethiopian opal. It is, yeah, yeah, and and you you know you can add, can't you? So you could add in the we've got the the um, heart charms, the heart jump rings coming up later. So you could add. Oh, those they'd if be you lovely. There's 26 of these available. Not entirely sure of this price point, but we're going to match it. Yeah, every single penny closeout deal. That's very good. You isn't can't it? buy our slide very, prices very for that, good. can you? Can you clear? Can we do, do we do those slider bracelets? And that's a quite an unusual one, isn't it? That with that box chain, I'd be thinking maybe you could, if you could, you know, maybe two multi buy and you have one as your bracelet, and then I'd take apart the other one, rosary link because you've got an awful lot of opals on there. Yeah. Maybe space them out and then use that as a, have your necklace like that. Well, Claire, if we just divide this by two, mm. that's nine pounds. Are you ever going to buy uh, Ethiopian opal? Eight carats of Ethiopian yeah. opal for nine pounds. No, no. No. Are you going to buy sterling silver slider bracelets no. for nine pounds? No. So this is this was my point. You know, yes, we know you can actually make something like this. Yeah. But is it as components? Yeah. Yes. But is it even worthwhile doing it? Yeah. And you've got to factor in, of course, your time. Yeah. Um, embellish it absolutely. Take it apart if you want to. Should we do a trade show deal? One more opportunity. Is it all of this? It's a huge parcel. As Mother Nature intended, literally without a single facet, without a single calibration, you're about to get 80 centimetres. You said earlier, didn't you, about um, with, the, with the jump rings, about working with resin. I mean, that, I, I do love that look when you, if you, you know, encapsulate it in the clear resin, because, you know, we're, we've been talking about angles and um, seeing light, for, you know, how it catches the light. If you suspend it in the resin like that, especially with the... The chips it does look beautiful well, well look at the photographs that we showed you um of so uh, of opal without a single in its rough form yeah and we were saying it's otherworldly it's like mm. a sort of an underground kingdom isn't it where oh. um where you have these beautiful <gasps> magical flashes of reds and greens and yellows and oranges and that seems to be amplified by the fact that you have um these gorgeous uh, um, we describe them as chips, and which is quite unjust. That's how Mother Nature mm. wanted us to appreciate this yes. genuine gemstone. That's wonderful texture, isn't it? I mean, if you have had it like that, and so you did maybe your wax wire cone, did your, you know, your, your coil at the end. I mean, stunning, absolutely stunning. 
I mean, and um, chipper hemo as well. You could that would be that would be a lovely look, wouldn't it? Using them with your your kuma hemo. Nine ninety nine. A trade show deal. Yeah. Again, in passing on my experience when I was over with, and I we spoke to a few different o uh, Ethiopian opal traders. There's no way, there's no way I'd have been able to actually purchase this gemstone at those kind of prices. Mm -hmm. No way. Um, again, that article, which was written a good couple of years ago, that was at the very least talking about $10 per carat, and that would be Ethiopian opal without that performance, without the play of colour, the aurora borealis displays, Lynette, Elizabeth, Elizabeth sorry, Valerie, Judith, Sa uh, Sashvinda, uh, Janet, Jeanette, Janice, London, Lynette, Morag, Wendy, you're all there, lovely to be with you. What about, and I know some of our viewers do some really well, at that price tag anyway, what about creating like an opal tree of life? Yes, be lovely. I mean, yeah, it, and maybe like multiple and have you could have a sculptural one, couldn't you, if you're going to do that? I would almost think of this as well if you wanted to create something bigger. So maybe you've got the, um, you know, the different colours of opals. You might want to have something that as your base, and then you just scatter the colours, oh, wow. you know, the, the, the rounds through. Because that could be quite a nice, chunkier piece of. Well, at ten pounds. Yeah. You know, yeah. No. Uh, not no disrespect, but we do certain quartzes and certain agates and jaspers yes. for ten pounds. But you wouldn't usually associate thinking chunky jewellery with with opal, not would with you? Opal, if you've got that, it, yeah, that base, because of its rarity. Yeah. And remember, Ethiopian opal is rarer mm. in Australia. Do stay where you are, jewellery makers. Um, what an amazing, amazing opportunity you have before you. Now, Claire, you're going to join us back. I am. I'm coming back, yeah. For the masterclass I with am. your heart-shaped jump rope, yes, which I'm yeah. very excited about. But I'm so excited about this next opportunity. To say this is historical, I think would be what probably one of the um, biggest understatements of the year, definitely across the entire partnership. And launching this once in a lifetime opportunity, the master carving itself, 200 ever, ever created, is Jake Thompson. I can't wait for every single one of our collectors to join us for what is going to be one of the feature showcases of the year. Um, you've seen us bring those incredible naturally lavender pearls and the papaya colours, but in this showcase what we aim to bring our collectors is this kind of rich, beautiful ombre shades of the natural colours in single pearls. Uh, a little bit less saturation than the purple flash, but what you get is the marbling of the colours on each of the incredible pearls that we're going to be bringing you in the showcase. We've got some huge baroque strands and single pearl opportunities. This is going to be one of the biggest shows of 2022. and my brand is Melrose Makes. I specialise in polymer clay jewellery which is inspired by nature. So I've been doing my business for about two years, started in July 2020 um, and have really refined that process and working with polymer clay which I love because it's really versatile, anyone can pick it up. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, whatever stage you're at with your jewellery, um, you can give it a go. So. Jewelry makers, I am really hoping you will join me for my first show on Monday the 30th, where we will be exploring something brand new with polymer clay. See you then.
I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dürer and Holbein, the very famous portrait makers of German art, and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that, I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. I mean, wow, this opportunity is so exciting. And I remember, I literally, I, I spoke to Jake about this potential opportunity, and I know you went on that trip, made it possible. History in the making. Jake Thompson, everybody. Thank you, Al. Good morning uh, you, to you at home as well. This is a show unlike I normally bring you. My name's Jake Thompson, and I come here to tell you about gemstones, about the market news, and give you trade deals. All of that has to be set aside. All of that has to be set aside this morning because I don't want you to think of yourself as a crafter. Mm. This morning probably isn't even about jewelry making. I'm not here to talk to you about hobby craft. I'm here to talk to you about heritage heirlooms. And I'm here to talk to you about something we've been incredibly proud to have been in a position to work on as we approach the single most wonderful event in any of our lifetimes. As we as a, as a nation pull together and celebrate the service the dignity, the leadership and stewardship of our majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. And what a wonderful moment and place in history that we are all so fortunate to be here for, to recognize it. Just the very fact we are here and able to recognize this moment. I've got a wonderful five-year-old daughter. She's getting excited about the Jubilee, but probably doesn't quite recognize how fortunate she is to be in this historic moment. What we're going to offer you today is something that we've worked on so that you can talk to your younger generations. You can talk to your wider family. It is a piece that really is going to, I hope, perfectly encapsulate the service, the dignity, the leadership of our most blessed monarch and inspire future generations to, to live up to the ideals that she has made her life habit. So as we approach the, the Jubilee event, I want to offer you something that's so collectible. I'm going to go out on a limb here. It's so collectible. It is arguably the most significant piece of memorabilia available anywhere in our country. And of course, the Jubilee is about celebrating um, Queen Elizabeth. So how do we capture her grace? How do we capture her dignity? I have no qualms in saying that we, we aren't equipped to do it. You want me to facet you gemstones? No problem at all. But Her Majesty is so great, I wouldn't ask our team to be able to try and, and create a tribute, create an homage, create a celebration of this historic moment that we're in. By the way, I'm not opening a memorabilia up yet, no. So I scoured the world for the best. And I mean the best. I scoured the world 
for the gentleman who taught Glenn Lehrer, who we've had on this show, Master Carver from, and, and, and Lapidarist from, from, from California. I went for his teacher. I wanted to go back to the greatest craftsman who is living today. And so this isn't our art. This is a collaboration between ourselves and the wonderful visionary that is Hans Ulrich Pauli. Hans Ulrich Pauli is a master craftsman. In fact, is the master craftsman in Idar Oberstein. Now, I've talked to you about Idar Oberstein before. It is the mecca of gemstone cutting and carving. And within Idar Oberstein, Hans Ulrich Pauli is the figurehead. He is the patriarch behind which all the other great German cutting houses can get behind. The house of Pauli is renowned for its carving. They are known as master carvers, the art of carving. That is literally what the Pauli family, spearheaded by Hans Ulrich Pauli, have dedicated their lives to. Capturing the grace of the lion. Capturing the craft of the cat. This is Hans Ulrich Pauli's legacy. He's also a world famous cameo artist. And here it is in the black agates that made Edar Oberstein so famous. Visionaries, independent commissions, all done by hand. Including artists such as Dali. And of course, some of man's best friends as well. I sought out Hans Ulrich Pauli. And if you want to try and understand the impact that Hans Ulrich Pauli had in the gemstone world, well, I've got pictures. I've got pictures here of a, of a much younger Glenn Lehrer, back when he was learning from Hans Ulrich Pauli. You'll have to excuse me, my copy of this book, I, I read this quite a lot, so it's a little bit dog-eared, but there's Glenn and Hans Ulrich Pauli. This is Glenn in Idar Oberstein, learning from Hans Ulrich Pauli. And when Glenn is asked about Hans Ulrich Pauli in this book, you know, Glenn says, Glenn talks about it here, and he, he says, where was it that he, you know, he wanted to go, and, and, and things like this. He says, the whole concept of the artist, the whole concept of the artist adding value to their gemstone work started, did not start until masters like Irvin Pauli, Hans Ulrich Pauli's father. And he goes on. He goes on here when he's talking about his training. He says, I was completely unaware of the tradition of master carvers of the day in Edar Oberstein, such as Irvin Pauli, master cameo carver, and his son, Hans Ulrich Pauli. Later on in the book, when Glenn talks about his thank you, you know, his acknowledgements, Glenn thanks his wife for a lifetime of support and companionship and inspiration. And the second person he talks about is Hans Ulrich Pauli. And I tell you all this because I really think it's important for you to understand who the artist is. There is a great tradition in the art world. Some of the, some of the most celebrated capturings of the monarchs of our great country have been done not by British artists, but by German artists. It is German artists that have the boast, the claim, to be the ones who capture best British monarchs. And that really started with Thomas Holbein, um, Thomas Holbein the Younger, uh, who, who, who captured Henry VIII. 
And we've shared this, we've shared this particular piece of art, our piece of art, not Thomas Holbein's, our piece of art, the art of carving, we've shared this with an art critic. And th that art critic went on record and said that this is the most significant contribution by a German artist capturing the British monarchy since Holbein's Henry VIII. The greatest German contribution to British royal art since Holbein and Henry VIII 500 years ago. The art critic is talking about your majesty, the carving. By Hans Ulrich Pauli himself. Each one carved by hand by Hans. Or as he's known to his friend, Uli. Now, because this is such a momentous occasion, because this is so significant, of course there are going to be other ways of commemorating, having a collectible and commemorating this moment. The Royal Mint have done one, and here it is, the Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen 2022, a quarter of an ounce of gold in a coin. Limited edition, a thousand of them. Okay. I'm going to ask you right now, how important is this moment in history to you? How important is building that heirloom and that legacy to you? Because you've got this coin, and this is an option by the Royal Mint. One of a thousand. Or, would you like the mother of our nation enshrined, immortalized in Mother of Pearl? This will be, I've got it here in my hand, your first glimpse of the carving. Wow. Forgive my fingerprint. Look at the detail you have here. Amazing. Now, there are other coins you can get. That one was one of a thousand. If you want something a little bit more limited, here's one. One of limited edition of 200. Um, Limited edition of 200, over four and a half grand. Um, but what they all three have in common is that they're here to celebrate the Jubilee. Now, if you've wondered where, do we, where, did, where did Hans Ulrich Pali find the inspiration for, for his master carving that you have an opportunity to own today, I'm going to share it with you one more time. Look at the detail. Does it remind you of anything? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's perfect. And I really want to talk through the detail here because I think Hans Ulrich Pauli has captured Her Majesty and indeed, our majesty, she's our queen, wonderfully. See, the, see, if I come back to the picture, you see the crown with the, the, with the cross, the, you know, the yes. crosses, the gemstones? And you can see them just inside there. By the way, it comes in this presentation box. Look at the crown in the Mother of Pearl there. Can you see her hair? Yeah. Flocks of regal hair. Just as in the coin, the detailing in the coin. 
Have a look one more time at the coin for me, the profile. Her famous pearl earrings. Class absolutely personified. Here they are. And even in microscopic detail, we're talking microns thick, a pearl strand around Her Majesty. Each piece is going to come certified for you. I'm going to open our phone lines in exactly 60 seconds of time, please. Each piece is going to come certified, not once, but twice. Let's have a 60 second clock till we open our phone lines on the most collectible heirloom mm. we have ever been able to acquire for you. Each one comes with this certificate. It gives you the name of this piece of art, Your Majesty, the master carving. You've got Pauli recognized here. And on the reverse, you see limited edition, all serialized. This particular one is 53 of 200. So the first, it's a genuine master carving by the famed lapidarist of Ida Oberstein, Hans Ulrich Pauli. And there's that quote, the greatest German contribution to British royal art since Holbein and Henry VIII over 500 years ago. Signed by Hans Ulrich Pauli. Your limited edition, remember that coin, one of a thousand, your limited edition is less than two, well, 200, but we don't have 200 of them. We don't have all 200. In fact, for this show, we have about 80 of them. That's all. The phone lines are now open. I'm gonna continue talking you through this piece of art. Look, we've never offered anything like this. If you want to have something to remember this moment, we have never done anything like this before. This is not a print, this is not a copy. This is actually, if, if you are owning a print of Thomas Holbein's Henry VIII, if you are owning a print of that, think about how much that'd be worth. This is the original by Hans Ulrich Pauli. Yeah. This is original art, but we have never offered anything, anything like this at all. Now, I need to be really honest with you. I don't think, I can't stand here and recommend Ross, no multi-buys. Tell the contact centre, no multi-buys. The reason I'm saying this is because some traders, are antique dealers, art collectors, they will know what a huge moment this is. Now, I'm recommending you don't do this, by the way. But Ross, you need to make sure no multi-buys, please. This is, this is for your family to treasure for generations to come. <coughs> A monarch like we will never see the likes of again. And we're celebrating her in all her dignity with this incredible carving. Now, but what I will say is that the reason I'm banning that kind of behavior, the reason I'm banning multi buys in this particular auction, we just don't have enough of these, is because this is the kind of piece I see sitting in an auction house. Mm. There's no doubt about that to me. Bonhams, Christie's, Southern. However you want to be. They did a royal collection, okay, so they went through an English country house and it was a collection from the Pally, from the Pally family, if I remember rightly, uh, which had vague links to royalty. And it, it, I believe this particular auction raised nearly 13 million. Wow. Okay, so imagine for the original artist, imagine the value. Some of these will have been prints, okay? You've got an original commemorative uh, commemorative cameo. Now you can decide at home, are you gonna gallery wire set this? You, know, uh, uh, you can use tube. However, if you want to craft this into jewelry, you absolutely can. You have mother of pearl and then on the back, the, 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 the canvas, if you will, the protective frame, if you will, is solid black onyx wow. from Ida. So, so you've got both of them there. We have never offered anything like this in our history. By the way, it's also going to come with a second authenticity certificate. And, and the authenticity, for some reason, it's not quite coming across here, but this one is actually issued by Hans Ulrich Pauli himself, and it testifies everything here. So you have all the documentation. You have Hans Ulrich Pauli, for some reason, the formatting here hasn't, hasn't come through. Ross, I wonder if you could fix that for me um, on, 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 the, on, on the slide. You get two layers of documentation to or testify to what you have in this auction. But I need to tell you, think about this. Tens of thousands of people watch this program. Yes. Tens of thousands of people 
watch this program. We know Uli Pauli only carved 200, 200 of these. Mm -hmm. I didn't get all 200. Okay. So Uli Pauli, here you go. Here, 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 is the, here is the authenticity card. It tells you all about the artist, Hans Ulrich Pauli, when he was born. He's a master carver since 79. He's actually the head, he's head of the German Gemstone Carving Guild. So you, there is no finer artist in the world you can go to for something like than that. Than the man himself. Than the man himself. He has exhibited in Germany, Europe, USA, Japan. He was in the UK last week for an exhibit of a very famous artist, but I'm not allowed to say who. He does a lot of work for him. He guarantees you purchased an original Pauli there on the documentation. Amazing. The authenticity, the provenance is unheard of. Wow. Jake, 200. 200. We don't get 200. Where, the deal where I did, are? The deal with Uli I did mm -hmm. was he got to keep 10% of them. Okay. And that's quite a regular thing you do with an artist. They keep 10% of the work so that they can go and benefit even further from it if they want to put it into a Bonhams a Christie's, a Sotheby's. They want to gift it to friends. In our case, we took ours. We've actually sent one down to London to join the Royal Collection. You have an opportunity to get an original Pauli. Where do we start on something like this? I have to be really honest with you, Al. I have no idea how to value something like this. Yeah. I've been to your gem investor. I've talked to you about appraisals. I've talked to you about the market. But you never see the likes of this in the market. No. In fact, could we please listen to Uli one more time before we even start to talk about how we value something like this? I'm very happy and very proud to be able to get the tradition of Dura and Holbein, the very famous per portrait makers of German art and become uh, in that footstep as a carver who follows uh, giving the German view on the Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, for that I am very much uh, engaged into the idea of getting the ideal expression in a small dimension. Fifty years of carving excellence in Ida Oberstein. Seventy years of the most inspirational leadership, in example and dignity. That's what we're celebrating here on this jubilee event. This will be with you by the time of that jubilee weekend. But how do you value something like this? If I go to the Royal Mint, where they're simply stamping gold, a limited edition of two hundred is there for £4,775. I can't tell you how to value something like this. I simply don't know. We have never experienced anything like an original Pauli celebrating such a historic occasion. I'm going to start where the Royal Mint starts. £4,775, please, Ross. Even though this is in pristine carving grade mother of pearl that only Idar Oberstein has access to. They have a limited edition of 200. We do not even have 200 of this. Ours comes authenticated as does theirs. It's a special commemorative portrait of Her Majesty the Queen. But ours isn't immortalized in gold. Ours is immortalized. The mother of the nation in mother of Pearl. I'm 
I'm looking at Anne. I'm looking at Anne in South Yorkshire and in the West Midlands as well. I'll tell you, I need to show you. Look, we've already got a full column of names on this one because people are making decisions today. People are making decisions that's changing. Remember, I opened this show telling you this isn't hobbycraft. This is, we're talking about heritage yeah. heirloom auctions. Yeah. This is something very different. I'm not going to apologise for breaking out of the norm. This is out of the norm. But I want to say huge congratulations to Anne in West Midlands, to Anne in South Yorkshire, Jane in Worcester. Jane, you might get a call from our contact centre. I have banned multi-buying. Blessing, Linda, Jacqueline, Suzanne, Yimai, make her endorse it, Pamela, a London investor, Mary, all across the nation, people are changing their families. Jewelry boxes right now. Now, now, they've confirmed. I do want to say, see this line here? Look, this is the line of fate. And if you're on the right side of it, you are on the wrong side of it, okay? Amy, Andrea, Demetrius, Chantal, Gillian. I get it. You, want to, you, you don't know how to value something like this because I don't know how to value something like this. But Kath, Fiona, Claire, Barbara, you are going to have to be quick, okay? I hope you're poised because we aren't stopping where the royal mints stop on their commemorative coin. We aren't stopping here, even though this is an original Hans Ulrich Pauli se stepping into the footsteps of Thomas Holbein himself 500 years ago, capturing the grace of a reigning British monarch. Ross. I'm really clear on this. I don't know how to value it. I don't know. I'm not. A Bonhams auctioneer. Never profess to be. Okay? I don't, I'm not a Christie's or Sotheby's or, or any of those places. So I don't know how high the limit is on something like this. Nor do I need to. Nor do I need to. All I need to ask myself is how low can we go? From the Powley family to yours. So you could be a custodian of arguably the most rare piece of British royal art to have landed on these shores. Ross, I want you to take us to £670, please. Wow. Over 4000 off the price, please. Wow. Now I'm looking at that and I'm seeing those names. I thank you for your trust. I see the names of the people who aren't sure. 670, and I'm stopping here quite deliberately. Do you remember the smaller coin I showed you? Mm. The one where there are over 1,000 of them. Well, sorry, 1,000 exactly. The one where there were five times as many chances as your original Hans Ulrich Pauli art form. They're saying 670 for this coin. So obviously, completely two different, different, two completely different products. Obviously, two different ways of celebrating this jubilee. But one is objectively far rarer, far more irreplaceable than the other. Now we've got your split pays open on this. One hundred and sixty-seven pounds fifty on split pay. Well, Al, I'm here to tell you, I'm not finished here. Wow. It's five times more limited than this. There are 70 million people who are pulling together to thank Our Majesty for a lifetime of service. Mm. 70 million. The question is, are you going to be able to set your family out amongst that crowd of 70 million. Each one sequentially ordered. You can see that there. That's, this happens to be 37 of 200. Ross, 60 seconds until I go to our final price today. Wow. In partnership with the House of Pauli, remembering remembering the service, the dignity, the grace of our incredible monarch here, celebrating the unique moment in history, your future generations, okay? They will get a chance to go and buy rare gemstones. They will get a chance to go and buy seed beads. But this opportunity right now, it falls on you and you alone. You've got 30 seconds to decide. 
Do you want to seize the day and acquire the most significant contribution to British royal art from a German artist for 500 years, as one critic has put it? 15 seconds to go. We are not stopping here, but I, I'm telling you now, I don't know. I don't know where the Bonhams auction values something like this because I'm not an auctioneer, but I have seen pieces that are more replaceable for far in excess of this. Four seconds till your moment of history arrives. Ross. Two nine nine. Pardon? What? Three hundred pounds. Which is significantly lower than what I thought we were going to. Wow. Yeah. We uh, just to clarify, two hundred made. Two hundred made. One hundred and eighty for yes, us. For us. One has already gone down to London. That leaves one hundred and seventy-nine. Wow. So. If, if you are one of these amazing people that have got hold of this piece of history, yeah. you own the same item you have as... The, you have the mother of na the nation immortalised in Mother of Pearl. One has already been sent down to hopefully join the Royal Collection. We have a full column of names. Remember, oh I am banning goodness. multi... Now you see why I banned yeah, multi yeah, 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 Now you see, because I don't know. I don't know where Bonhams land something like this. No, no. And, and listen, I, I, we were talking some, some a few days ago, Jake, about the about the platinum jubilee, and you know, it's like, okay, you you know, you look at the the coins and things that you might have. Yeah. My family have got one for the for the, the royal wedding of Charles and Diana and things like that, which is fantastic. These stuff. are commemorative it, things; they hold their value over time. Absolutely. They're rarity. But think about: have you Nothing ever seen? Think like of all this. the coin bullion people in the world. Have you ever seen? anything as rare as this no. it's an art form it's an yeah. art form and we, 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 all we've done here look ross i'm seeing a lot of people try and multiply on this i must show, we cannot multiply totally multiplies on this simply because look you've got 179 chances across 70 million people let me try and just do the maths for you on that because you know when people talk about one in a million chance i, I want to be really accurate here 70 million Divided by the 179 chances that we have, uh, yeah. you've got a 1 in 390,000 chance. Of being successful. Mm. 1 in 390,000 chance. If you are succeeding on this, those are your odds. I mean, we, we, we're building close to a second column of names right now. Because this is, this is and you can craft jewellery out of this, by the way. You absolutely can, you absolutely can craft jewellery out of this. Uh, my own personal recommendation would be to try and source a platinum gallery wire. Same. Platinum gallery wire, just simple. Bezel set the whole thing, stick a platinum bail on, and you're marrying platinum, platinum the metal with the platinum jubilee commemorative piece. But let me show you, let me show you, you've got two full columns of names. We're racing to a sellout on this one. The question is, are you going to be quick enough? But you know what, Jake? Even if you do absolutely nothing with this, it's a work of art. This oh is God. a work of art. So even if you put it under lock and key and keep it within your family's legacy, that, which is ultimately what I would do. That, that's exactly that's what, what I, I would do. That's exactly what I would do. I, 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 I wouldn't want to wear it, to be I, honest. I, I, I would have this. It, it's going to come, by the way. It, it comes in. And look at... These are collectors. I, I have addressed them in the multi buyers. We're probably going to expect a phone call back saying you're not allowed to do that. Um, now, now, have a look at, at, as it is with our... So this is how it comes to you. It comes in a luxury presentation box. It comes in a luxury presentation box. And it's going to come with two authenticity certificates. Elle's showing you one of them here. They are sequentially numbered. You happen to have sample number 37 of yeah. this, the, the article number 37. It certifies it is a genuine master carving by the famed lapidary artist Ida, uh, of Idar Oberstein, Hans Ulrich Pauli. It has that quote from the art critic, the greatest German contribution of British royal art since Holbein and Henry VIII, 500 years ago. It is signed, and you can see that at the bottom. Now, the, the, the carving itself is protected by a very diligent luxury packaging, and you can see that there. It's got the window in, so you can appreciate it. And through that window, you can see all sorts of detail. And have a look, you, you know, you, you can see the pearl earrings. Oh, you can see so the pearl necklace. You can see the crown. Uh, a collector from Hertfordshire, 56 seconds, and I, uh, literally a minute ago, okay? A collector from Hertfordshire. I'm going to see if I can find your name in a moment. Uh, choosing to remain anonymous, but they said, wow, unbelievable. Take a look at the piece for me, because this is what they can't believe. I truly thought 
it would be in the four figures mm. and out of my price range. I truly thought it would be in the four figures and out of my price range. Now, I've been really clear. I've been very transparent. That collector in Hertfordshire, I can't tell you <laughs> this isn't a four-figure <laughs> yes, piece of art. It might well be. Okay, I can't tell you that it's not. Because it probably, your instinct, you're savvy, your instinct is usually right. I have no experience in this fine art world. So I've not asked myself, what's the going rate? I've not asked myself, what's the potential value in a couple of years' time? I've simply asked myself, what were we able to do with Uli Pauli? We take a tiny proportion on top, and then we offer it to you. Jake, it's £75 on split pay right now. That's amazing. I don't know any gallery that could possibly, any museum... That for the would, original. For the original. For the that original. would say, here, yeah, have 70, 75 quid and then just pay us, pay yeah. us back. We, we, we are right now, we're making one of the most exclusive pieces yeah. of royal art. Yeah. We're, making one, we're making one of the most exclusive pieces of royal art and we're making it accessible. Those two phrases shouldn't go together. It should be in a Bonhams. You don't go and get split pay with Bonhams. You get buyer's premium with a Bonhams. We're making this accessible. Now, I've got to be really clear with you. Over half of these are already allocated. Yep. And, Ross, you're telling me we've now got more in baskets than we have available. OK? More in baskets than we have available. This is your time to act. We're, I've probably got another five minutes or so with you. This is, this is your time to act because we've had so many messages coming through. Mm -hmm. You're loving the detail, the, the provenance. You know, the provenance of what we have right now. In our, now, I'll be honest, you can take it out of the box. And I would urge you to, to take it out of the box. Try and wear some gloves or a cloth yeah, or something. You don't really want to get fingerprints on this. You want to keep it in that mint condition. That, you know, when, when they talk about here, they talk about it being a gold proof. It's striking standard. The moment you touch something like that and you, 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 you put a fingerprint on it, you lose that level of condition on there. So my recommendation, you've got the window, so you can appreciate it. If you want to, carefully open the lid, try not to let any dust get on it. M really appreciate the detail and the contour because it's just extraordinary grade. It's almost, and you can see it's got translucency to this piece here. Now, okay, we've got about four minutes remaining on this piece, okay? Because 180 people with it in their baskets. Well, L, I started with 180. Across well, 179 across our partnership. Yeah. Half of them are here at Jewelry Maker. I'm bringing the other half over on our sister channel, um, Gems TV, shortly yeah. uh, tonight. Same same value, by the way. If you want to secure it, it's gonna be now. Now is the time to act. Huge congratulations, everyone who's done this, acquiring a genuine piece of royal art, the greatest contribution by a German artist for the last 500 years. Years. You've got about three minutes or so to act on this jewelry maker before this deal. This historic moment. You've got, sorry, Ross, less than 20 chances remaining. Wow. T Ross, yeah, it's, it's... let's pop that on screen. Let's do a quantity and then you know your deal is gone. You know, then we're, you know, rather than me giving you constant updates, look, we've got the last 20 chances now. This is your opportunity to act. So I'm not talking to Vicky in Cornwall. I'm not talking to Linda. I'm not talking to Cheryl in Pembrokeshire. You've already got yours and I'm over the moon for you. I'm looking at Brian. I'm looking at Linda in Staffordshire. I'm looking at Donna, at Andrea. I'm looking at Gillian, Fiona, Claire. You are at risk of missing out right now. I mean, you are at risk of missing out. Like you said, you said earlier on, Jake, you know, you've got children. Um, I've got children. Lots of our viewers, of course, will have extended family as well. What a piece. Yeah. And, you know, that you can say, like, fondly to, uh, to your children, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, whichever it is, do you remember that occasion, you know, where there were flags and, we, you know, we all celebrated as one nation? Yeah. Look, look at this. So I, I sat with my family last night. We, 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 had, a, we had all our family round for dinner last night. Um, my wife went up into the loft and she got a wedding album yeah. and a family holiday album. The wedding album's from about 50 years ago. The, the holiday album wow. was about 25 years ago, 30 years ago. And the whole family were just reflecting and memories. Lovely. Memories are incredible, powerful things. They bring yeah. us together. But my question to you is, as you reflect with your family, 
about this incredible occasion. I mean, think about those, you know, on the Antiques Roadshow, and oh, I, yeah, I, got, I just got it from my, my, my grandmother gave it me, or my mother or my aunt gave it to me, <laughs> my great aunt gave it to me. Um, you know, she, she got it around the time of the Platinum Jubilee. Uh, you know, think of that moment in two, three generations' time if they want to. Although I said to you, I wouldn't be putting this in a Bonhams just yet. I'd be just patient, yeah, same. wait, let you know, let the the legend really of the of, of the Hans Ulrich Pauli original let that disperse through the artwork. Let this become a myth, a legend within the art world. And, and, and also, I just I find it a real shame to lose it. I think once you've got this in, once you see the detail, when you see in the mother of pearl, micron in size, incredible, measured in microns, the pearl strand, the pearl earrings, the level of detail. What one of the first things you'll notice, and it's really not coming across. In quite glad actually because it means that you will be even more impressed when you get this home is how the mother of pearl is of such high grade this is carving grade we never really see this grade it, it usually goes straight to the Oberstein. how the mother of pearl itself is almost translucent it is it's almost translucent and it gives you this uh, you know, a sheen if you will that you've never experienced a luster a naker you have never experienced as mother of pearl before. To, a truly unique artifact, this it, one. It's literally the wave of her hair. It's absolutely incredible, that detail. Absolutely amazing. Literally nine of these are left. You can get it home today for 75 pounds. Literally. 75 pounds over four monthly split pays. How amazing is that, Jake? I mean, I, I mean. I remember, I remember you going across on this uh, on this uh, journey and an odyssey, really. Yeah, exactly. An odyssey, a mission to try and find something to live up to the moment of history that we are we are all living through right now. And, and it was a big. How do you find something that can stand up to the requirements of mm. recognizing the the, the the moment in history? Well, this does exactly that. I want to welcome Brian in, who has taken exactly my advice, checked out his basket to ensure his. Look, we've got seven chances left. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave those last seven with you. You, you. I would say they stay online for an hour. I don't think they will, because the seven aren't going to last an no. hour. No. Huge congratulations, everyone. I'm going to wish you right now, and it'll be home with you in time for the Jubilee Bank Holiday weekend. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. Have the most wonderful time. And do share share it with your friends, share it with your family. Let it become, let it become that article. Let it become that item, that that really sets you apart and and also brings you back to what what will be one of the most wonderful, wonderful weekends in in living memory. So thank you so much. I want to thank you and thank you, Elle, as well oh. uh, for, 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 for 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 sharing this hugely historic moment with me. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
I can't wait for every single one of our collectors to join us for what is going to be one of the feature showcases of the year. Um, you've seen us bring those incredible naturally lavender pearls and the papaya colours, but in this showcase what we aim to bring our collectors is this kind of rich, beautiful ombre shades of the natural colours in single pearls. Uh, a little bit less saturation than the purple flash, but what you get is the marbling of the colours on each of the incredible pearls that we're going to be bringing you in the showcase. We've got some huge Baroque strands and single pearl opportunities. This is going to be one of the biggest shows of 2022. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi, I'm Abby and my brand is Melrose Makes. I specialise in polymer clay jewellery which is inspired by nature. So I've been doing my business for about two years, started in July 2020 um, and have really refined that process and working with polymer clay, which I love because it's really versatile. Anyone can pick it up. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, whatever stage you're at with your jewellery, um, you can give it a go. So jewellery makers, I am really hoping you will join me for my first show on Monday the 30th where we will be exploring something brand new with polymer clay. See you then. Oh, wow. Well done, everybody. Well done. What an ama amazing achievement. Um, I did say it was going to be huge, didn't I? I did say that it was going to be massively historical. Um, and I, and, I, and I loved just listening to, to Jake talk about that amazing piece. Like I said, I remember him going across to Ida Oberstein to make, hopefully, or discuss making that opportunity possibly, um, or possible. And he succeeded, and you succeeded. And I'm, I'm very envious for those of you that managed to actually secure one of those. What a work of art, what a piece of history. Now, if... You're thinking, listen, Elle, I, you know, I want to get involved. I absolutely want to get something that is, that's, that's a special, limited edition, that's incredibly rare, um, that recognises as well uh, the, the, the historical event that we are about to embark on, and that is, of course, the Platinum Jubilee. But I don't quite want to spend, you know, triple figure prices. Okay, well, listen, we can address that as well, because what I'm about to bring you, we launched only a couple of weekends ago, and it absolutely flew. Now, with such an occasion that the Jubilee is, where you're going to be seeing, you know, scenes like this, which makes you, uh, for me, it just makes me incredibly, incredibly uh, proud to be, uh, to be British, where you see uh, wonderful, wonderful Union Jacks and, of course, the Royal Welsh Guards. Um, and the, the, uh, Jake talked about it earlier on, where, where the nation literally comes together. I heard, I wrote somewhere where they're actually um, hoping to create the longest street party in history. Um, I can't remember. I read it somewhere and I was like, oh, what a wonderful opportunity. But look at that. Look at that. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Um, that occasion. So, and this is, uh, you know, on the Golden Jubilee, there she is, uh, Queen Elizabeth celebrating her Golden Jubilee on June the 4th, 2002 in London. I remember it. I remember that so vividly. And I remember thinking, you know, this wonderful sort of overwhelming, beautiful sense of emotion, um, you know, and pride. Now, platinum, the platinum jubilee, which couldn't be any more historical, I think we would all agree. Um, and I found a lovely article <clears throat> that was talking about this occasion. 
This is the first time a UK monarch has marked a platinum jubilee. Um, and only a handful of leaders around the world have reached the milestone. The last time, and I can't pronounce this, so I beg your pardon. Um, boom, say that again. Bumibol, yes, the late king of Thailand, who passed 70 years on the throne in 2016. Um, so what an achievement that is, 70 years. Uh, on February the 6th, 2022, the Queen will become the first British monarch in history to celebrate a Platinum Jubilee. Seven decades have passed since she uh, ascended to the throne at the age of 25, following the death of her father, George the VI. Uh, in the intervening years, she has advised 14 prime ministers, met 13 US presidents, and acted as a steadfast figurehead as the nation navigated countless crises. To mark this unprecedented milestone, events will be organised throughout the year, uh, accumulating in a four-day weekend. And I'm not going to... I don't want to sort of mention those, you know, those uh, crises or, or, or his, historical events, but, you know, just think about over recent years, for example, uh, um, what with the, the pandemic, you know, um, different occasions, she has always been that figurehead, that comfort, I think, to most of us within the nation. But thankfully, let's read on, thankfully, the celebrations won't just end there. From July, three special displays kept commemorating the most significant moments of the Queen's reign, from her accession and uh, coronation uh, to her previous jubilees, will be staged at her royal residences, at summer openings for the state rooms at Buckingham Palace. Early portraits of the Queen taken by Dorothy Wilding will be shown alongside the spectacular jewellery she wore uh, for the sittings. At Windsor Castle, visitors will be able to see her coronation dress and the robe of estate worn at Westminster Abbey in 1953. Meanwhile, at the Palace um, of Holyrood House, the Queen's outfits from the silver, golden and diamond jubilee will go on display. This really is something that, as a nation, we are incredibly proud of and proud of her ultimately. Now, like I said, if you, don't, if you want to get involved and you want to have that very rare, that limited edition collection, of course, um, then we did commission a couple of different, uh, different pieces to mark this wonderful occasion. One of which, I mean, one of the gemstones, really, that the Queen has become very much synonymous to. Um, are of course her pearls so we've taken pearls or a single pearl but we've gone one step rarer and we have brought this to you in a natural rare purple pearl these are not bleached and dyed this is completely natural of course it had to be perfectly spherical and then in recognition to the jubilee the, the platinum jubilee we have the beautiful beautiful crown now this was launched with dave Tross. Uh, not so long ago. I have the last, the 14th of this month. We did it early. The reason why we did it early is because we wanted these to land on your doorstep for you to actually be wearing it on that special occasion. Um, you can get this for that occasion as well. Or maybe, look how flawless that pearl is. You know, some, sorry, I to totally interrupted myself. I'm always really hesitant to use the terminology flawless when it comes to pearls. Let's not forget they are organic gemstones. They're expected to have, you know, the odd blemish, the odd characteristics, uh, much like we do as well. A little freckle here, a little mole there, a little wrinkle, whichever it might be. That is completely flawless and natural in color. Um, now, so yes, these have already been launched once and we are down to the last remaining quantity. You get everything. Can I just show you? It comes, as you would expect with something as commemorative as this, it comes within your black velvet box. It comes with the diamond cut chain. We did go so low, I know. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Ross has gone, oh, the price on this, we went so low, he says. Well, if you missed that occasion, here's your second chance. It's utterly beautiful. You'd, it is a finished piece of jewellery. It's, it's a complete finished 
piece of jewellery, whether you choose to put that under lock and key, um, whether you choose to wear it on that occasion, generate some more amazing memories, much like Jake was just saying a few moments ago. You have beautiful, round, brilliant cut topaz, um, creating that beautiful, beautiful melee sparkle. Um, it is a flawless spherical pearl, natural in its color, special commemorative piece, an opportunity for, um, for each and every single one of you. I bought mine. I bought mine when it first was launched to air, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I've got every intention to wear it over the, over the uh, Jubilee celebrations. And I got two, um, and one is going to be for obviously either one of my girls. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, we've discussed during your um, the pre-Jubilee weekend that we had here at Jewelry Maker. I was saying, you know what, well, Tiggy won't have a clue what's going on. Bless her heart, she's only eighteen months, but Willow, she'll remember. She had a school event yesterday, and she went, I want to do another Jubilee, Mummy. You know, it was so exciting, and she's five years old. To her, this is a really really exciting opportunity opportunity to mark that with something as special as this is just a cherry on the cake we have the last remaining quantity the crowning glory yeah the pearl well as an estimate I'm going to say it's over 12 mil it is a big pearl it's a, yes, that's 11 millimetres. There we go. If I actually put my hand next to it, you can get an idea. It's a big pill. 11 millimetres on its specifications. It's gorgeously round. It's completely and utterly natural. Um, we commissioned how many of these? It was only a few hundred. I remember that. Uh, only a few hundred of them. That's got beautiful, flawless white topaz. Melee set within that amazing crown. Hist history, a special commemorative piece and a beautiful design that you could wear, even if you're not sort of into maybe the celebrations. I don't think anybody could deny that this isn't beautiful. Hello, Sam. Wow, the reflection in that pearl is unreal, isn't it? That's why, Sam, you know when I was saying I don't use the terminology flawless very often? I've seen some incredible pearls. But look, you can even see the reflection within the studio. It's beautiful, unreal. The next price crash. Natural topaz. Stunning sterling silver. All beautifully packaged within the most luxurious box that we could possibly source. I'm trying to remember, Ross. Yeah. Do we actually do that? Even without the history, even without the beautiful design, even without the diamond cut chain and the, and, and the fancy box, what I've just heard is far too low. Catherine, hello to you. I bought two when they were first on, one for myself and one for my sister. She was so speechless. They are just beautiful. They are, aren't they, Kathy? I totally agree. I've got two, like you. Um, I intend to wear one on the, we on, the, on, the, on, the, on the Jubilee itself, and then they're literally going to go into lock and key for the girls when they're older. Because this is... They, they are going to be, yes, pieces that then they can inherit when they're a bit older and say, this was purchased for you in celebration to the Platinum Jubilee an occasion that I don't think any of us will ever experience ever again. We took it incredibly under 100 pounds today, an 11 millimeter natural lavender pearl with all of that beautiful precious metal detail and with your topaz, with your diamond cut chain, with the box in celebration of the Platinum Jubilee, 79 pounds and 99 pence. There won't be an occasion like this, I, th I, I don't believe, for us in the future. I mean, something like this is so special. 70 years committed, committed to our wonderful, wonderful country. 70 years 
Oh, do you know what? That's £10, just over £10 per year for this amazing piece, isn't it? How amazing. What a beautiful design. There was only a hundred of these available, um, but stop it. Now, stop it. Really? See, Ross, I knew you were pulling my leg. I, I, I was with you. I bought them and I can't even remember. That wasn't the price. Oh, how, ma how many have we got? If you didn't, if you missed this opportunity, if you, if, if, if you weren't with me on that Platinum Jubilee weekend, that yes, we did early. We did early so that you can actually be wearing such pieces like this um, on the occasion. Then, uh, goodness me, we're about to shock you. We are about, look at that, every single millimetre of this pearl is, is utterly flawless. And we would never use anything, any, you know, anything but perfect. We didn't even stop here. I'm sorry, I, I bought two and I can't remember. It was all about the excitement of the piece of jewellery. We took it under 50 pounds. Under 50 pounds. That's the flawless natural pearl that I'm looking at right now. Naturally coloured. That's the regal crown that sits perfectly on top. That's the diamond cut chain and, of course, this beautiful box. $49.99. It's a huge size. An incredible opportunity to get a natural pearl. Do you know what? Do you know, I'm just thinking. I've brought natural pearls of this quality individually before to wear. I have. Without any of the sort of the history, the sentiment, the, the the design aspect, the box, and all of that, I've never, I, you know, I've done that, and I've brought it at more than what's on your screens right now. Never, it wouldn't have been a single pearl of this quality. I shouldn't imagine have ever been lower than fifty pounds. But because of the celebration, Did, did we take this to what I'm imagining right now? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The perfect spherical pearl. I'm not saying that out loud, Ross. I won't say that out loud. I'm not saying it because it's madness. It's actual madness. You have 20 seconds to pick up the phone, to get involved on the web. For those of you that bought it the first time round and you're really realising just how exciting this is, and you say, oh, you know what, why did I only buy one? Why did I only buy two? I don't know why I only did. I, I can't stress. We're going even lower than 49.99. We put the clock back on your screens because I don't think people are quite, it's not recognising that we are going lower than 50 pounds. There were only a few hundred of these commissioned, just over 300. I am down to the double figure opportunities, even outside of, the, of course, the Jubilee celebrations. It's still a, an amazing design, but it was literally from sketch to this opportunity, this wonderful occasion, a natural lavender pearl with the diamond cut chain, with your beautiful, beautiful topaz, um, melee topaz within the crown, with that beautiful luxury box. I can't believe we're saying this. I don't think you'd buy the box for what you've just said to me, Ross. I generally don't think you would buy a box. If you go to Cartier and Tiffany's and Co, you don't get a velvet box. Uh, this is amazing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And look, viewers who have actually got this home um, have uh, felt compelled to message in and share their feelings. You're going to love it. I bought two and I'm frankly kicking myself for only buying two because really $39.99. Look at the quality of the pearl. That's totally and utterly natural. Natural. And it's huge, 11 millimetres in its size. Judith, Sue, Trevor, Donna, Catherine, Frida, Chris, Rebecca, Susan and Brian, Helen, London, 
Uh, I can see you there, Gabrielle. You're there with me as well. Derbyshire, congratulations. For some reason, my call screen's gone a little bit wonky woo, but I can only see a handful of you uh, dialing through. But Arthur, you're there as well um, with, I, I don't blame you, getting three of them. Why wouldn't you? Rebecca's bought three. Frida's bought two. Barbara's bought three of them as well. This is our opportunity to, to you know, to, 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 to gift to future generations. You know, and we're thinking about, we were talking earlier on about opportunities where Antiques Roadshow, for example. So can you imagine generations, uh, generations to come when something like this is presented and you could literally take, get your certificate of authenticity and of course you could put the date and maybe actually pencil something on there purchased one of only 300 um 300 ever actually commissioned in commemoration to the platinum jubilee how exciting is that how exciting is that but even if you're just thinking about you know what it's a nice get it's a nice piece of jewelry that i can pass to my uh, to my family don't, not forgetting yourself um to my family in uh, uh, in this royal celebration that we are all going to enjoy. How amazing. 39.99, Jacqueline, Mary, Marcella, hello to you, Grace, Victoria, uh, Anne in London, Geraldine, Alison in Suffolk, you've got three, Sally, Moira, you've got two as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. We commissioned just over 300 of these. That's it. That's literally all we ever commissioned. Um, it's a very, very limited edition, absolutely. But what a crazy, crazy price point um it's the final few yes it's a finished piece of jewelry um a presentation piece absolutely natural lavender pearls now if you love this color of pearl then dave is joining me tomorrow because we have an absolutely incredible show susie and dave bringing you jadeite and natural pearls well done everybody what an amazing piece of jewelry um don't go anywhere though because i'm about to make my way over to the gorgeous claire mcdonald for your masterclass. <laughs> I can't wait for every single one of our collectors to join us for what is going to be one of the feature showcases of the year. Um, you've seen us bring those incredible naturally lavender pearls and the papaya colours, but in this showcase what we aim to bring our collectors is this kind of rich, beautiful ombre shades of the natural colours in single pearls. Uh, a little bit less saturation than the purple flash, but what you get is the marbling of the colours on each of the incredible pearls that we're going to bring you in the showcase. We've got some huge Baroque strands and single pearl opportunities. This is going to be one of the biggest shows of 2022. a second um yeah claire's just sorting out a wire work basically she'll be back in a minute hello sally hello to you wow i can't get over your price for this fantastic pearl happy days uh, are here thank you jm and that's from sally oh, and sally honestly it's even more beautiful in person wait until you see it it's absolutely incredible. I love that design. Like I said, I got a couple myself. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, like I said, more beautiful pearls coming up tomorrow. But what a masterclass. Bear with us because Claire's literally like this. It's all, gla all the glamour. All the glamour. glamour. She's having to lift a skirt up and all sorts. Um, but she'll be with you only so she can speak to the gallery. Now, a lot of you have been excited about, uh, about this masterclass. It's heart jump rings, which I don't know if we've ever done before. I don't recall. Um, and yeah, you could possibly make them, I suppose, out of your wire. But to actually have them uh, consistently and also at the price that we're taking them to, I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing. Look at that. Literally a lark's head knot. I love these. That, that, that beautiful ring. I'm going to show you around the designs. I'm going to see. Look at those. Ah, oh, Claire, you're ridiculously good, aren't you? She's so clever, isn't she? She is so clever. Thank you. I think I can speak. Can you, know? but you can talk, oh, yeah. Yes, I can talk. 
Thank you, Al. It's just, it's just, it's just that they are absolutely unbelievable, Claire. And I know a few of this, there's a bit of soldering in this, but you could literally just connect them, couldn't you, with a little bit of wire as well? Yes. Yeah, you absolutely could. Um, and so you can work with your cords as well with them. Um, <gasps> yeah, that, that absolutely. I love these. So excited by them. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Oh my goodness me. Wow, Claire. Now we are going to put the sterling silver uh, heart, heart jump ring uh, kit available on pre-order. It is going lower than the price that you can see. And then you've got the rose gold version, which is in your base metal. They are going lower, but you can pre-order and shop ahead. Also, if you actually uh, look to the right-hand side, so you've got a base metal jump ring bundle, which is round ovals. Um, comes with the actual box. It's a huge stash, to be truthful. Yes, I asked for that because this is so good. It's so, so good. And it's been really useful for this. And she's back. Hello. Yay! So sorry about that. That's all right. That's all right. It might be some wires poking, poking out. It doesn't matter. Here we are. We've got your gorgeous face in these amazing kits, Claire. Um, you're excited about these kits, aren't you? I am. I, I am because, um, well, I love, I love hearts. We know. Um, I think they're a really popular motif, but because you're getting so many of them, yeah. you don't have to do the hearts. So that means, you know, you can do your petals, your flowers, things like that. Oh, these, I mean, you, this was the first piece I think you showed me. Can I just borrow it a second? Oh, it fits, Claire. Ah, look at that. It's so lovely, isn't it? It's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, all available, all getting snapped up on pre-order, Claire. I'm not surprised. Uh, no, I'm really I'm not. not surprised. These are lovely. All of them are lovely kits. Now, we're going to start with, with the silver. Now, in terms of quantity, we've got a very exciting 210. Brilliant. Of the base metal, 200. Um, so, and I think, can I make it, can I assume? Can I assume something? You can, although you know what it does. I, yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> Take a few letters away and all of that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to assume people are going to get both. Do you reckon that's a, a safe assumption? I think, I think it's, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, think, I, think it's, I think it's really good to have... Um, your precious metal and then your your, your plated. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. for sure. Um, oh, you've got little rings out of the, uh, the base. Yeah, so ones. this yeah. is, the, so all of that, I mean, that's the thing that all Ooh. of this is your, is your sterling kit and then all of that, and I'd still got left over, is your, um, that's, that's, the, that's the base metal. Oh. So yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Lots, so lots, beautiful. So nice, when you've got that many, it's really, really good. Amazing. Really okay, now we the clock is ticking away, and that's the countdown for the sterling silver kit. We have got a big quantity, but you've raced in on this. And, and you asked me prior to the show, which seems like literally five minutes ago, Claire, isn't it? I know, I know. Um, you were like, on. what the what the kit's going to today? And I showed you like, and you went, oh, yeah. You were you were very surprised. I was surprised. I was surprised because I think maybe that would be I don't know one of the rings. Well, yeah, because that's precious metal and that's a lot of weight yeah. that you're getting, all of which you can make your hearts, but to actually make them consistently, I guess, is the challenge. Yes, and I think with this one, it, it's, it's time as well. It's, um, it's the time. Yes, yes, you, you probably could do, um, oh, could do it. Oh, wow. I, don't forget as well with, with um, your soldering, there'd be quite a lot of clearing, you know, cleaning up, uh, repolishing, you know, there'll be a lot of time involved as well on different processes. So Save it's good that that is all done. Yes. Save yeah. yourself the hassle. Yeah. That ring's absolutely gorgeous. Now, love is in the air. Now, of the 15 mil and the 10 millimeter hearts, you're getting three of each. Then on your eight millimeters, you've got a pack of 30 of them. Then you also have a meter of your one mil nine two five sterling silver wire. So that's what you're using for things like the the, the, the actual shanks yep. just here. Yeah. Um, if you want to do your wire writing going across them, that would oh, work really well. Yes. There's so many different things you can do with the, with these. So many. I Amazing. Love it. Big quantity love it. kits. Yeah. Do you want, uh, and I think there's going to be people that maybe have a go at soldering on the back of this kit. I really hope so because. 
all you need to concentrate on is, is the soldering, really. N nothing else. You know, you don't have to worry about shaping the wire. And people don't, people automatically assume that soldering is something like, I, I, well, I, I did. I imagined it to be literally flash dance, you know, like kachung and like massive flames. Like welding. Yes. <laughs> it's not at all Which like is that. really difficult. I've yeah. had to go at that. That's hard. It's, not it's nothing like, like that. that. Look, Claire's only got a few little tools in yeah. front of her. Blow torches yeah. you can buy from most, uh, from most yeah. establishments, possibly even ours. Um, a little bit of your um, of your solder and a block, which Claire will tell you what the technical yeah. term is. Now, nobody is paying £69.99. pence. Lots of you loving this kit, though. Love is in the air. What have you done, Ross? It's no, it's always worrying when your producer says in your ear, See, oh, no. I mean, that's, that is. He was meant to go 49 99 He went, oh, no. It's always worrying when you hear that in your ear, isn't it? It is a bit. See, I, I think, you know, the, the, they are, I think, you, you know, you'd be paying that for, um, for one, of the, <laughs> one of the rings. I would say, Ross, um, did you have sausage fingers? But you, def you haven't got sausage fingers, have you? He's got, he's got very elegant hands, does our Ross? Oh, I've never noticed. I'll have a look. Yes, £34.99 for That's so good, tramway. isn't it? That's so, so, so good. So good. Yeah, yeah, really good. And I think because, like, so like I was saying, because you're getting so many of the... That, so all of this is like, out of one yes, kit? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one kit. And if you look, and that, so this, the ring at the front, if you look at that one... That's gorgeous, that, that is. is. That is all the way around. It's not just that the detail is at, oh, the, at the front. I love you know, it. That is all the way, all the way around. Ben likes that one. Oh, Ben, you can have that one then. I owe you a piece of jewellery, Ben. Um, and I owe him a coat. Um, excuse me, do you want to... Oh, yes, Elsa, you can have um, whatever you'd like. That one's quite a large size. I'll so make I my think... own tank. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely... <laughs> People would think we're not friends, you know. I know. That's I know. absolutely gorgeous. I won't, Ben. Would I do that to you? That is amazing. Um, we'll be bringing the base metal kits in in a few moments. It's available on pre-order. Such and a again, lovely, the fact that we're lovely, lovely kit. That's so. I love that necklace. Uh, where is but it? Look how many different different um, sorts you can you can do. Is that it? There. Yeah. Yes. There we go. I couldn't see it then for a second. There we go. All of that. All ninety-five sterling silver. Make sure you check out your basket. Um, so again, base metal is coming up. Take it away. Okay. So should we have a look? Models. We'll have a look then at how what I'll do show I you. Need? So it. If you're going to do um, the soldering, what I'd say is um, I'm going to work with the paste. You can work with the sheet if you want to, absolutely fine with your flux. Um, and I'll talk through some of the different ways of um, uh, that you can solder. So don't forget, these have already been soldered. So I did I did use some um, hard solder uh, and it works, uh, it works absolutely fine. And then if you work with your... Um, you can work with your medium and your easy as well. And I'll talk you through, uh, if you are gonna solder, I'll talk you through how you put some of the, the different components together. Mm -hmm. So, cause you've got the uh, the plain wire, if you wanted to do, so the, the ring in the middle, so if we have a look at, I'll talk through some of them and then I'll demo the flower one. So this one here, if you have a look at that one, which is the largest heart. Um, so you can see there, so we've got the large heart. And so what you're gonna get with these is, um, they are the round wire and they're actually soldered at this at the at the cleavage point so you can make you can make that look different again because so if you hammer it uh, that's going to give it angles added luster so you can um, you can work with that so if you if you wanted to do that ring what you could do is so I've hammered the heart and then I've taken done two plain stacker rings so if I just show you them here yeah, so you've got your two plain stacker rings and so you'd solder and so if I just hold that up here and then you'd be putting it on like, ugh, there we are, like that, okay, there we are. So that's how that one would work, okay. If you want to do the, um, the smaller, just the, so this ring here, so if I show you that one. I love there. that one. So what we do with that one um, is you, you make your, your full, and you can actually see it there. Can you see, uh, that's poor finishing, I'm sorry, on my part. Can you see the, you can see the little bit of the ring shank. I could probably have filed that a little bit better. So you would make your, um, you'd make your full ring shank. Yeah. <laughs> we would never think that. 
<laughs> and then uh, and then you're going to pop that onto here. So we've got two nice contact points. So we can see on there and then you go in and you'd um, you cut that the section that is going to. So if I just sort of show you there, you cut out the middle section and file it down and do a better job than I have there. And so that's how you would do that one. <laughs> Zip it, you. Then. So if you wanted to do the, the, the long ring that uh, Ben is going to have where you've got that sort of that oh, row of hearts. It in now. <laughs> rub it in. This is where you would you would obviously size. you can size up. Um, and get the work out the length of your uh, you could alternate ring. them as well couldn't you you could have hearts going in different yeah ways. so so having like this do you mean that type yes of, yeah that would look really nice really really pretty so something like that yeah the other Tessalated. thing you can do is if there, if there's um you know if some of them maybe need you you can absolutely go in with if you wanted to maybe make them like a sharper point if that's the the look you were going for you can absolutely go in lovely soft sterling, sterling silver wire so you could go in with your pliers um, is it better to do that before or after so i did a bit that? of both i did i did do a little bit of both um so if I just take, if I take one of these and we'll have a look now. So you can see, so it's quite rounded here. So if I go in and these haven't, I haven't annealed these or anything. This is just straight out of the, out of the packet. So you can see we can go in and we can just sharpen up if you wanted to. It depends what sort of look you're going for. That might work quite well if you were going to uh, alternate like that. So that's how you, you would then solder all of the... Um, so I sort of like laid them out like that. So I measured the, the size that I wanted. That's like I say, that's quite a large ring. Um, so if I just put them here. So what again, what you want to have is good contact. So you're just making sure that these, these little points do touch. And then I just so line them up. Then I got my ruler and just sort of slide up so that they're all sort of sitting and that they're flat like that, okay? then you're going to go along and, and solder. So I'm going to use the, um, if I just set this one up here. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to show you, and then it might get a little bit repetitive. So it's up to you how, um, how much you follow me on this one. So I am going to, if we, if we think about the soldering that's already been done, so we've got, we, I'm going to assume that it's a hard solder that has been uh, used on the, them already. So I've laid them out. So let's have a look. So you're going to lay them out like so, and you just keep going all the way around. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and, oh, sorry, my big head in the way, and I'm going to then, ah, see, that, that was a really good, um, could you go back to that shot? Is that, no, that's not possible, is it? Sorry, the, um, where you're seeing it. Yeah. Um, you know where, where you looked at the flower there, you can see where the solder is. Ooh. Can you see on there? Yes, oh, yeah. brilliant. Yes, yeah, so you can see there where, where they're um, soldered together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them down. So I'm going to use now uh, a medium. And I'm just going to put little bits in between. And this is the bit that probably takes the longest. But don't, don't rush this. You're just going to take little elements little tiny little sausages and pop them pop them on don't worry if it Sold goes the sausages solder sausages there we go so i'm just going to take little bits here and i guess it's better not to over put too much solder is that right no it's yeah you don't but also with these i do think because of the the shapes that we're working with it's going to like it's just going to fall into almost like the the gaps in between uh, you can clean it up afterwards um, but yeah just just have a little a little go oh you have to be ever so dainty with this don't yeah you? and it, you know don't forget I, I'm always it always sounds like an excuse but the way we work here is a really it's not a natural way that you'd be working at home you know I'm trying to like not get my big head in the way of everything I'm working at a distance you would be it it's getting a balance, isn't it? So that hopefully yeah. you can get the best view, but also to be aware, sometimes it makes it look a little bit more complicated than it than it actually is, because it's just not a... Are you making excuses? Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. As I, as I always <laughs> like to do in a demo, just to cover my cover my back. <laughs> For when it all goes wrong in a no, minute. No, I can vouch you know me of old. pretty much doing this at arm's length. Which yes, is... yeah. 
um, yeah, yeah, which can't be easy. So uh, all I'm going to do is let's see how, and you can see now, so I've put the... Oh, well, we can the, see your noggin, there you Oh, go. can you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look how that's going. Okay, so I've just gone round, let's see how this goes then. Give it a whirl. Okay. You know, Ben just came on in and swooped that ring. Did he? He literally did. Oh, I hope you would like it, Ben. I hope yeah, you... Yeah, swooped on in there. So this is what, just a normal okay. torch? Yeah, so normal torch. So if we just, if we watch along here and let's see how this, let's see how this goes. Sometimes with the, um, sometimes with the, the paste, I find it can, it's, it's quite exciting because it sometimes it, it does like a, you get a bit of a flame with it, which is quite exciting. So let's see how, so I'm going to start at the back and let's see how it goes. So I've got good contact with some of them and not with others. So oh, let's yeah, see, can we see like that? Liquid, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do this one as well. Let's see, because I've got slightly bigger bits on this one. Can you see this one here? So there if I go. move that in. They make really beautiful little flowers too, don't they? Yeah, really nice. Look at that. Let's see if this one's going to go. Right, so I can already see. That one went really well. Oh, there we are. So if you feel, I think this one here could probably do with a little bit more. Probably a little what, bit more. What, more heat more, or more solder? More solder. I think what's happened is if we look at, so I don't want to touch them now. Where are we? If we look at this bit here, mm. I don't think very much has actually gone onto that one there. As you see, the majority of it is on, is on here. Yeah. So let's have a look. Over. Little pot of water. Yeah. And we'll then find out. So this is the one that I'm not too sure about. Yeah, so we can see. So if we have a look, so if you have a look there, can you see as I give I've, I've given it a wiggle. Okay. Yeah. So all we need to do is we just put that in our um uh put that in the pickle and we can just give that another another go. Let's see the other one. I haven't actually got any. Um... Should we bring the? Should yeah, the is that okay? I'm just going to dry this off. These are again very popular on your pre-order. You do get three spools as well uh, of your cord, which is a a light. You've got a light pink, a silver, and a white wax cord. They're one millimeter in their thickness, and you get ten meters on each. Um, also, you're getting the three different. Three, di two different sizes ac across the three different colours. Um, you said earlier on, Claire. Sometimes it's worthwhile having the base metals and the sterling silver because, well, I guess you know if you're gifting or if yeah, you're, and if I you're think selling yeah, and you know people, you know, you talked was it um, was it Margaret who's doing a uh, uh, charity? Yes. Thing? You know, you might want to just do really really quick mm -hmm. uh, wish bracelets. You might not want to work with your sterling silver. You know, it's. You know, it makes for children as well. You might not want to do um, precious metals. And the fact, again, you're getting so, so many in here. So I, I would say um, do things for different budgets if you're, if you're selling as well. You know, it, oh, I they're mean, they're beautiful. just, how, how easy is that? And they are, they are plated. They are gold plated yes. and yeah. silver plated yeah. and rose gold plated. So there is precious yeah. metal here Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Because look at, you know, if you think how many you're getting there, so that's made all of that jewellery. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, th th there's a real statement necklace in, in the middle, isn't it, with lots. And I've still got all of these, you know, I've got loads left loads in there. Left. We're not so, even yeah. stopping there, Claire. I'm taking it even lower. I love that necklace. Do all the hearts that are connected together. That's really so pretty, isn't it? All the. Um, yeah. Nineteen ninety nine. Um, in terms of quantity, you're getting ten of each. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. So ten of each of the colours and the sizes. Uh, so twenty of your silver plated, twenty of your uh, yellow gold plated, twenty of your rose gold plated. We're not even stopping there. Okay. Is that not what it says on my sheet? It does, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rebel Ross. It's gone rogue. Shall we? We got over two hundred of these. So should we do a, a close out deal? Oh, I love that. That's really beautiful. So simple. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine. So good. Pence. So good. That's brilliant. So 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 good. 
Amazing, amazing, amazing. We had 200 of them and you're not restricted. You can get as many of these as, as you like. That's, that's wonderful. What are you doing, Russ? You going again? Sorry, you just mentioned something there. Lower than 15 pounds. Well, you know what to do. 200 of these were available. Literally do lark's head knots. Macrame. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, just little, little, if you don't want to, you know, work with your soldering, you know, do your little stacker rings like I've done with the front. You just... In your chain mail. Yeah. Use them as little bezels if you wanted. Yes, yeah. Love it. I mean, seriously, we're at 14 99 for the cords alone. That seems pretty fabulous. Five pound a reel. Yeah, absolutely. And then you're getting all of your precious metal plated heart jump rings for free. I love that. That's this. so good. And that, that cord kit. works so well with the, um, you know, those sliding knots yeah. that I was talking about. Um, which, which so, so good. Demo, yeah, shall I do that? I can, I can do that in case, you know, if it, just that, so that something for everyone isn't a there. A Solomon's then. bar? I'm not going to do a Solomon's bar. I'm going to do, you know, the... Um... Wow. So if I show you this one, we'll leave, I'll come back to that one just to, in, so that you've got um, something That's both That's my hits. fault, I've distracted you. No, now. no, because I think this is really important because, um, I mean, it might be that everyone knows how to do this already, but this made a big difference to me because I did a lot of Solomon, uh, Solomon's bars, but this is a different way if you, um, maybe you, you just want to have a, just a two knots. So if, yeah. if we've imagined that that's our, um, the bracelet or a necklace. So all you're going to do is you're going to take it round and some people use a straw, um, uh, to help with this as well but I'm, I'm just going to use my finger so I've, I've crossed over the top and I'm going to go round so I'm going to go once twice so your straw would go in where my finger is and then you can just feed it through the straw and then and then pull it out so then I'm going to take that so it's going from the back and through and then I'm going to just start and pull and slide just get that knot so it's going tighter and tighter so it's smaller but then that means that that then slides so then we'll turn it over and we'll do the other side so again so I'm going around around going to the back not the front bringing that through and just let it just hold on to it while you're tightening it make sure that, that one tightens as well Just tighten that up and that means you don't actually need any findings then if it's if it's like that because you're going to you can just open that. and close it so it works really well doesn't it those really neat Genius. little little knots so that's that's the knots if you're going to work with the um well you could do that with the either of them couldn't you so if you want to finish off the um uh the ring that you've got um so we've now got we've got the flat all of the um the petals together so what I'm going to start to do, I can't actually remember which one I've done as the, um, we might find out in a minute. So I'm going to then just start to just curve these in. Because remember, you've got that flat shape. So we want to make it into that, the petal. So all I'm doing is just gripping across, not too hard. So I want to mark the, um, the jump ring. So that then turns it into, so if we look at the difference, by just giving it that little curve up. So if you'd actually, you know, if you've got the, um, if you've got the gemstones and you're going to have a go at your tube setting, you know, the ones from earlier, maybe have oh. a think about having that going on the inside there. That would, be that would look very, very pretty, wouldn't it? Very, very pretty. And you think about the time that you would save by making... Um, in no particular order. I'd literally have them in different places. Yes. The yeah, oh, lovely. That sounds gorgeous. Really pretty. So you're going to have something like that. So then what we can do is we're going to turn that over. And so this is where we might find out that I've actually used the wrong. So I'm going to use, so if I just set this up, let's have a look where this is going to go. So think about where, let's have a look. So I'm just going to hold this here and let's see. So I, I'm just going to look, go look across and look at the contact. And so I'm going to use my easy solder now. So then I'm just going to bring that in. So a couple more sausages. I want to try and avoid that one. It might collapse because I am right on another one of the 
So if I try and get it, sorry to stick my head in. Uh, I'm going to come uh, right over now. So you are going to see my head. You come from the, the front. Sorry, so, that, so I can see there. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm just going to come in. And let's just put, oh, it's quite a big blob. Oh, that was a oh, big blob. Oh, that was blob. a big one. It's, it's got, it's, it's come out. <laughs> no miniature sausages a, anymore, Claire. That's not a chipolata, that's is a it? That's a huge that one. one. Cumberland sausage. Wow. Right. Let's see. That might. Are those uh, rings. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at the stance. <laughs> right. So I want to try and get a bit of heat into the shank let's just see how this Ooh, goes it's going it might cut. can you see a little bit of the flame mm. try not to whoo it's on fire it's <laughs> on fire is it meant to be on fire <laughs> there's the excitement for the day there we are right so i can't actually see can is it going oh from the front <laughs> oh oh no what did you do i, I got I a mean, bit too that, excited that was meant to happen no it wasn't but you know <laughs> I'm trying to save you here, Claire. So do you know when I said one of them I'd done with um, mm. medium and one? one of them with easy? I think this maybe is the, the medium one and this is the easy. Let's have a look. Let's see what happens. You never know. I quite like the fact it's No, all... right, you don't have to be polite now. We're gonna be we're gonna be so, Higgledy, yeah, so it's been it looks like it's been <laughs> trodden on. <laughs> oh, that is you might be able, you can salvage that of course you can salvage that so all you do not, is all is not lost no, nothing is lost here so what all you do is you would then <laughs> throw it in the bin no, no you wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't so all we do is we put some more heat onto that and um separate them out again and we could just start again let's hmm. just see how it yeah see or silver's very forgiving isn't it claire yeah <laughs> <laughs> There we are. Hey, listen, it even happens to the best. Oh, things like that happen all the time. All oh, the time. There, we, there we are. So probably maybe That's need salt. to, where's the join? Let's, so that one you'd need to go back into and do that one there. And here's one she prepared earlier. <laughs> this, is, this is what it should look like. So, a little bit of jiggery pokery, Claire. Yeah, yeah no, that, that's that. Yeah, so genuinely, I no, think, all joking aside, that is not the end of the world, is it? No, it's uh, it's not. Um, and to uh, try and cover cover myself here, so that's a good example, which is what I intended to happen for you to see the difference of um, your if you're working with your solder, the difference it makes of um, uh, you know using your easy solder your medium and your hard so what should we be using so then? i think i think if you're thinking about the different layers of, of soldering this is the one that i'd um you know i did two so i did one with easy and one with medium um, and we should use the medium so then i used yes i would have used i should have used the one with the medium is that basically because it can go to a higher temperature? Is yes. that what it means? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry, you're talking yeah. to somebody that actually doesn't have Sorry. Yes. No, that's all good. So use, uh, use the medium solder or the sheets. Yes, you can use the sheets, absolutely, yeah. We've got sheets. Sheets are really good. So, you know, when I was putting the sausages in between, <laughs> you just put your flux and your, and your little pallions, you cut your sheets. Pallions in... Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Right. Pallions instead of um, sausages. The sausages, yeah. Right, fair enough. Yeah. Um, well, listen, solder sheet, you literally just cut it away, don't you? Yes, tiny, tiny, mm. weeny bits. Personal preference? Um, I like both. I think it's I think it's good to have both, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the sheets will last you a long time. A long time. There we go. Well, you get three yeah. pieces of your silver solder sheets, literally teeny, weeny pieces, literally in the same amount of precision that you were doing with the um, Yes, with yeah, tiny, weeny bits, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you can is. see there, so you can see you've got the temperatures on there. So, oh wow. So, so you this cut them up into... Genuine solder. So you got, I've got three three pieces, Claire, with different numbers. What does that mean? So that's, that's the temperature bit. So can you see, I wonder if I've got, what's that one there? So that's hard. So they're big chunky bits in there, but if you separate them out... They're the hard cut them, bits. Yeah. Okay, can you see, oh, not really. Right. That's my medium, and so you just you just pop them in. Whose mic? Mine or Claire's? 
Oh. Claire, we can't hear you. Oh. Unless you shout a little bit louder. So there we go. So when you've got them, if you, if you, when you're cutting them, um, when you're cutting them, yeah. Oh, I'm back. You're back. When you're cutting them, just cut them so that you leave that little number on them. Okay. And then you just just keep them separated. So you know so, which one's which. Yeah. So, so, so that 60, hard one yeah. is the seventy-five. So you'd use that one first, then you go to your seventy, then then your sixty-five. Okay. Yeah. Nine ninety-five for these, and they will last you, as Claire said, because you. Use yeah, a long, long time. Tiny, weeny, weeny, itty bitty piece. Tiny, weeny bits. Itty bitty bitty piece. You can still get hold of the sterling silver um, heart kits as well. I don't know about the base metal. Are they getting quite limited now? There's still a few, but they are getting very, very limited. Not surprised. Um, here's the silver kits. So if you wanted to get hold, I mean, you've made what? One, two, three, four, including Ben's ring. Uh, yeah. Five, six, seven pieces of jewellery. Yeah. I yeah. mean, wow. And, and they're, they're substantial hard. pieces, aren't they? Then, you know, it's not just like it's one, you know, and I still, and I had one of the heart, one of the large hearts left. Okay, so that could be another pendant. Yes, another pendant. I like the idea that you suggested with those little tube set uh, yes, mounts that yeah. we had in the eight o'clock hour. Yeah, that'd be really nice. I can't believe how quick today has gone. I know. Absolutely flown I by. Um, time flies and all that. And all that. £34.99 pence only to get hold of this gorgeous kit. We had 200 of them. Um, the gram weight, accumulatively, must be quite a lot because you've got, what, a full metre long length of one mil wire. Yes, so that's what yeah. you use to make that's so you do, Yeah, your ring shanks. And like I say, if you wanted to do your wire writing, you could... Um, uh, you know, you could you could do that. You could do any of your findings if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, really good. I think as well, you'd be looking at this for... Um, it's time, isn't it? If you, you think, if you wanted to make all those, you'd have to have... Um, uh, you'd have to have a, some sort of former to get that shape over and over yeah. and over again as uniform. Yeah, you're then not you'd be soldering. It's unachievable, but it no, would... but it's about time, I think, with this one. Because yeah. then, you know, it'd be the, the, the soldering them all, uh, the cleaning them up, the polishing them, then then making your designs with them. So there's, there's quite a lot of processes involved. That's a really good point, actually. You'd have to solder each and every single one of those hearts yeah. prior yeah. to you actually being able to put them together. Yes, so, yeah. Um, yeah, loving that. Absolutely loving that. £34.99. pence. Again, do we have the gram weight, uh, Roscoe? Just because there seems to be a lot of sterling silver within this kit. You get three of, of the... you Three of the 12 mil, is it? Um... Three of the 10 mil, sorry, 15 and 10. Uh, three, yeah, start again. Three of the 15 mil and three of the 10 mil. And then you get 30 of, what size is that? Eight mil. And then a full metre long length of your one mil wire. Brilliant. So it's a big gram weight that it you're is. getting it's across an awful all of these. Yes, there's an awful lot in there. Well, that's a collection right there. Yes, yes it is. So across the entire lot... And the, and the Ben ring is, you know, that's, I think that takes a lot of them, doesn't it? That's, um... Well, yeah, that would probably that be quite a, lot a heavy of, piece. Yeah, yeah. You didn't that... hesitate about swooping that out the gallery, did, did it? No, out the no. studio. It's disappeared. So your eight mils, you're looking at... 6.5, just here. Just there. 6.5. The 10 millimetres, just shy of one gram. Your 15 millimetres, 1.2, and then your one millimetre wire, eight. Wow. Has anybody done the maths? <laughs> <laughs> eight, six point something, 6.5, eight plus 6.5, plus just under a gram, plus one point, what was it? 1.2. Six, just over 16 grams. Yeah. Isn't lot, that amazing? Isn't it it yeah. is a lot. That's, a, that's, a, that's a, a, an amazing price point, um, yeah, 16 grams. It is. And, and the fact that, it, but it's not all just straight wire, is it? It's, no. It's, it's all the processes that it's gone through yeah. as well. And, how, and then how quick and easy it is to use. Amazing. Um, OK, let's now do that little, uh, little jump ring selection. It comes with it. Oh, the I love this. I just think, I think if you, so if you want to do something like, so if I move this one over. Well, you asked for these, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did, because I think if you've got, if you've got like the fancy um, links, it, you, you want to be able to, you know, to, to do something like this, you know, you need to have your, um, 
uh, your jump rings in your stash, don't you? Mm. And you'll get different um, different looks, whether you work with your round jump rings in between, um, your oval ones, if they're, if they're gonna have a texture on them. And when I saw these bundles, I just thought, I haven't, I haven't seen jump rings like this for so long. So I'd say if you've got any of the kits from, you know, this morning, they'd work really well with those, the larger jump rings and with with these kits now wow yeah absolutely you know we need them for all sorts of jewelry making don't we so 100 pieces that you're actually getting here yeah. and, and a selection so uh, we i don't know if people can actually see it from within the the container but you're getting a hundred of your copper textured round um internal diameter of three a yeah. hundred of your copper textured round internal diameter of five um, then you're getting uh a hundred of your twisted oval uh, which are five by three, a hundred um, of your twisted, sorry, plain oval, five by three. And last but by no means least, you're getting a hundred of your copper twisted rounds, three millimeters. Have I said that twice? I think I have. Um, so in total, what, how many, how many is it in total? 500. I think it is. 500 of each. Yeah. 500 pieces. Can you see the details of those? And obviously a little and pair, they, they uh, were, a pair of tassels. And the textured ones are, um, they're beautifully made in that, you know, they, they when you close Super them, up. you can't really see where the, um, where the, where join, the join is. Even on the tech, you know, the textured ones. Because sometimes like twisted. Um... Hang on. Hang on. I'm just going to, oh, these, oh no, she showed me the pliers, haven't you? <laughs> The pliers. I was going to go with the old delicate tweezers, but here we are. This will do. You get the idea, don't you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you don't. Oh, do you want some tweezers? Yes, I've got please. some. Yeah, there we are. Thank you, lovely. Just because then I can scoop up a little bit. Um, we don't see them very often, do we? No, and they're so, so good. So good. And it's such a lovely collection. And the fact as well, you know, you've got your, your rounds and you've got your ovals there. So you're going to get Use them in the same way, but you're going to get very different looks from those those strong ovals as what, well. Why do we? Why do oval ri jump rings um, prove to be so popular? I think because we don't see them very often, and they are really strong. I think because they're on that they're cut on that long, on the long length, aren't yes. they? So if you think about, um, you know, for example, if you were going to do um, uh, maybe sweetie bracelets, something yeah. like that, and you're going to work with your round jump rings, and then you use the oval one. It's going to hang down ever so slightly so you can put your charms in. It's not going to interrupt the flow of the um, of the line of the rounds, if that makes sense. You can see there, you can see how it's going to hang down. You're going to have that, you know, you can then add in. I know this that. is terribly displayed, but you get the idea, don't you? That's you, get the, you, can, you can You can literally see that, uh, that there's different designs. Yeah, yeah, because you see that lovely twist on them. They're yeah, really they're nice, aren't they? Really, really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. So you've got these are the round ones just there, and then you've got yeah a selection of your ovals, um, and even the fat the patterning's different yeah. on them. Can yeah. you see that one's twisted? Then this one's more of a brushed like effect. Twelve ninety nine. That's so five hundred jump rings across the different uh, sort of designs. Yeah. Again, it comes beautifully packaged within this lovely container as well. Um, but yeah, great addition to the kits. Mm, yeah, and to the kits earlier. Really, really good. That's true. Yes, really perfect good. alongside the kits earlier on as well. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Oh, we got quantity, which is a good job because there's loads of you there. Uh, good afternoon. Hello to you, Margaret, Suzanne, Manchester, Julie, Joan. Hello to you, Elizabeth, Susan and Brian, Yvonne, Jennifer, Kay, Ingrid, Wendy, Angela, Sarah, uh, Jean, Kim. Hello to you, West Midlands, Jean, Jane and Steve. Nice to see you. Shropshire, Emma, Pamela, uh, Mary. Hello to you all. I hope you're all well. What a lovely, lovely, lovely show it's been so far. Hmm. Yeah. That's been fun. Yes. Lots of fun. And yeah. something for everybody, I think. Yes, today. I've re I really like that. Definitely today. Yeah. So, yeah. Gorgeous really nice. collection. Yeah, and great prices as well. I know. Yeah. I know. Twelve ninety nine for yeah. all of these lovely yeah. jump rings. Um, and we've still got time between now and the top of the show to squeeze in just a few more of your deals. Do make sure you check out your baskets though, because they are very uh, yes, to be yeah. very very popular. These are silver plated, so again, we almost go ah, oh, they're the base metal. Why are we focusing on the fact they're base metal? Yes, they are, but they're also silver, mm. uh, precious metal yeah. plated base metal. Yeah, absolutely. You don't see other designers doing that, do you? They go silver no, plated. No, I think I think because we're sometimes a bit spoiled, aren't we? With if you look at lots of things that their things are are, are plated. Yeah, absolutely. All right, says Ross. All right, let's move on then. <laughs> 
Okie dokie. Oh, I'm just thinking back as well to the deal of the day. Um, should we do a nice little nifty bag? I love these. They're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. There's only 80 of them. I think I launched them the first time they were on. I love them. Oh, I remember now. You've got to lift up that little bit. You lift up the flap and then it falls down. So, great for, for those of you that want to maybe uh, sort out your stashes, maybe your drawers in your, in your workshop. So basically, look, you've got a really lovely love heart design. That's a pocket, by the way. Oh, no, it's not. It's elastic for you to put your tools on. It's been a while, all right, <laughs> since I've seen these. Um, and then they literally go, -choom! and then you go, -choom! hold that down. -choom! And now you can't go like that, can you? You can't no. go. -choom! Solid. Yeah. Rigid. Yeah. In there, there's your little uh, there's your little pockets that I was referring to. So, do you know, these are not just jewellery making for me. I've got one in. I've got the larger one in the boot of my car. Ooh, and I tell you what, idea. it doesn't move. It really, really doesn't move. So neat, and it's probably the neatest, tidiest thing about my car. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got something similar. This would be better, but things like baby wipes. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. All the essential stuff that you should have in the back of the car. All that. Yeah. Um, but you could, yeah, if you've got drawers and things. <laughs> Sorry, it says. Says the woman who has an 18-month-old. Yeah, you need to... Listen, am I right, Sherilyn? You need baby, baby wipes in your car, don't you? Absolutely. It's a crisis if you don't have them in your car. Because things happen. Bad things. Bad things. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Makeup. Your tools. Yes. Put them on your tools. <laughs> Oh, it's all gone wrong now, isn't it? <laughs> all gone completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> um, you, can have, <laughs> you can have these on your... Sorry, everybody. These can have these on your uh, workstation, you know, for when you want easy access to your pliers and your tweezers. We could do with one of these, And they're just actually. really lovely. And I love the design of them. And when you don't want to use it, Claire... When what? When you don't want to use it. Yeah, just... Pachung, 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 pachung. It's done. It's done. Job yeah. done. Sorted. Um, I hope none of the bosses were watching during that <laughs> opportunity because. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh, it's the last auction of the day. This. Uh, what a way to finish. Oh, oh my goodness. The clarity on these is insane. Mm. It's, oh, I love lovely. that. Adam's just gone, class, isn't it? I mean, Adam, you've seen this book before me, haven't you? Because you've done the recording. Now, you know what? Can we... Sh this look, this is so flawless. It doesn't look like a Mother Nature gemstone. You'd be forgiven for thinking that this was cut crystal. Oh. <gasps> It is like crystal mist, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That is liquid-like clarity. Gosh, look at that. Beautifully cut to literally play with light. Oh, my goodness, these are unreal. Two prize points for you. How many do we have, Roscoe? 50, okay. I still want to do a, an hour of colourless gemstones. Well, this couldn't be any more colourless. It also couldn't be more, any more flawless in its clarity. 19.99, I mean, straight away. How often do you see cl uh, clear quartz like this? We hardly ever see clear quartz and faceted clear quartz. There's a difference between in quartz rounds, yeah, yeah. and clear quartz. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that is, it's superb, isn't Try it? Try and find a diamond that's got yeah. that level of clarity. Because clear quartz should literally be like liquid, literally like water itself. It's our finale auction, Claire. We've got to say bon voyage. Ah. 9.99. Oh, my goodness me. Check out those baskets with rosary link in. They'd be lovely additions to Claire's kits as oh, well. Oh, yes, I'm yeah. Thinking, don't Put you? a heart charm on. Yeah, yeah, with your little heart charms. Um, amazing. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much, Claire. Oh, thank for you. Joining me today. Morning, thank it's been you. fabulous. Yeah. Do you know when you're back? Um, on Thursday. Oh, with me! Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Um, coming up tomorrow, I just need to give you a little bit of a heads up. I've got Susie joining me, and we've got some oh, of those amazing, amazing pills also alongside uh, fabulous Dave Troth. So tomorrow, your Saturday show is going to be equally incredible. But how much do we all love this lady?
<laughs> Even if she doesn't give me jewellery, I mean, it's fine. I still love her. It's fine. Thank you. That's, you are amazing. Sorry about the demo, everyone. Well, why are you sorry? Happens to well, the best yeah, of us, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we, intentional. It's okay. Yeah. We've Have a lovely weekend.